recording and hopefully this works. I don't know why it's lower blue, but we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> yes. I don't. You got the, it I got the memo. Like quid. It's just quid. But, uh, part oh my god. Part the part took use. Oh my god! We finally installed a jukebox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fingers crossed. Yes, jockey. Hello, Mr. One. Mr. One. Is he? Is he doing it's it? Insane. He's not playing Save. anything. Uh -huh. Come on now. Look at Shy. Oh my god. What the fuck? Yeah, we gotta turn that shit down. It was auto set to 100, I assume. Yeah, that was something. Okay. It was like, oh, I'm not playing it, am I? What do you guys set it to? I set it to 50. So oh, low. Like 10%? Oh, I put it to like 25. I'm a solid set to 8%. Ah, it's too loud. <laughs> okay, you're a little, a little late to the party. So right? slow, man. <laughs> well, that was an internet explorer response time. Yeah, yeah he's he's yeah. Old, uh, annoying thing. He's old. You the noise just you say me being late, so it makes me angry. <laughs> God. Anyway, um, <laughs> recap time, everybody. Um, <clears throat> where last we left our heroes. Uh, the party was split, with three of its members meeting with Lord Raylos Maliborn and Vivian Quid upstairs attempting to rob his father. Uh, Vivian Quid managed to loot a small hall from the upstairs master bedroom, as well as lift a very expensive magical watch from Lord Thorum's personal effects. While in the office, both Quid and Vivi scrambled through papers and files within Thorum's quarters and learned of Thorum's dealings with one Garathian Vringdeer, as well as uh, learned of his strong business ties to Kavasi, with a particular interest in weapon shipments via airship. Uh, while Raylos and the other three of the party were waiting for their comrades to rejoin with, with them, uh, Estella requested Br Bristlebrew, and Raylos, much to her surprise, happily obliged, sending a servant who returned shortly with a small box of Bristlebark, the frozen version of the cure. Uh, after acquiring what little information they could, the two successfully snuck back down into the main floor and were joined with the party to meet an annoyed and disgruntled Raylos Maliborn. There, Maliborn offered a job to the party, one that involved infiltrating a warehouse belonging to his father and securing the bristle group shipment, which he would then leave in the party's hand. Uh, he asked specifically to leave the Azurite in a separate warehouse, one privately owned by Raylos himself. Upon completing these set tasks, Raylos promised the party payment in total of 5,000 gold and gave the party half of that up front for a total of 2,500 gold as well as a bag of holding to boot. After accepting the job from Lord Maliborn, Raylos handed the party a red sending stone and promised to help with the job indirectly through favors and endorsements, uh, confirming that uh, if needed he would purchase horses for the group and seemed agreeable to the idea of acquiring disguises to help with the infiltration of the warehouse. After these negotiations, the party gathered their Gar and their Edric and left the ball to make for the Blind Tiger Inn. While on their way, Vivi had a brief run-in with a pickpocket, and the group swiftly incapacitated the lad with hold person, uh, but were lured in by shouts of dismay from a nearby alleyway that the kid had been running toward. As the party rushed in to investigate, uh, some more cautious than others, a wagon rolled in behind them to block the exit route, and a man leapt down, yelling at his comrades who revealed themselves to the party. The party then engaged in a harrowing encounter with these armed ambushers in the middle of the night, with Estella in particular having a close scrape with death. The uh, group received help from the city watch eventually, who cleared the exit route and helped drive the ambushers back to wherever they may have come from. The gang ended up at uh, the Blind Tiger Inn at the end of the night, um, but as they started to retire, Argo's surroundings began to change. All right. Um, real quick before we um, get to uh, Argo, because that is where we're going to pick back up, I would like to ask if anybody wanted to have taken any camp actions during the night, essentially, while in the Blind Tiger Inn, while I queue up some music here. I believe some people had some ideas. Fine, if not, by the way. Oh. Yeah, we went straight to bed that, this night. Yep. Okay. 
I, I told you guys what I was doing, so. I don't know if that's camp action. Uh, r remind me, though. I'm sorry. Uh, what were you wanting to do? Uh, she is yes, testing that's camp her action. stuff. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to take out a playing card and my magical quill and just describe a um, spell of uh, shield. Mm, okay. Spell skull of shield. Gotcha, gotcha. You can do that. Okay, I'll remove the money. Um, I was wondering if I could take a look into this uh, watch as well. Um, okay. I, I know you've described it for me, but there's only one thing I'm really looking at for, because it um, I'm, yeah. if there's any tracking magic on it. Oh, okay. You may roll an Arcana check. Okay. To determine that. Oh, no! <laughs> what is your roll? It didn't, it didn't pop up for me. That's about one, but... <laughs> you have no fucking clue. I have a lucky point. <laughs> Last oh, one. <laughs> for a 22. No. Wait, wait, wait. You re-rolled and got a 22? Sorry. I did. Okay, gotcha. On a 22, um, you do not detect um, any, like I said before, you didn't detect any schools of magic attached. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and that includes anything like divinatory or something to uh, add tracking into this watch. It appears to be just very, very expensive, fancy. Um, and you got those arcane pulses from like the blue metal uh, used for the watch hands themselves. Excellent. Yep. Um, and they're very strong, uh, but just have no school attached, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, on a I'll look into that later. Yeah, there, I, I would give you no more. I think on a twenty-two for that. Um, all right, let me cue some music and go over to Argo. Uh oh. Yeah, buckle up. Did it do the thing? Jockey left. Did Jockey? Left? Oh my god. Yeah, Jockey just dipped. Jockey, what the <laughs> hell, man? Jockey doesn't want to be here for this, man. <laughs> okay, Jockey's here. Hold up. Let me try that again and see if... I'm just gonna... I'm st okay, uh, that there kind it of worked for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. It, it's working, I think. It just This playlist slows up. Yep, there it is. Alright, so... Um... During the night, Argo, you were, I believe you said you were stationed up in your normal position, just like outside of everybody's rooms, right? Yep. So previously, when you were pulled into this strange dreamscape, even though you don't dream, um, you were in like a weird mockery of the room that you were like standing outside of, the hallway. This time, however, as the scenery begins to change, the light does as well. And you start to feel the walls encroaching in around you. And the light starts to slowly dim until it is pitch black and you can see nothing. What do you do? Um, so, did you say the walls were closing in around me? Yes, they were. Constricting almost like a snake. Is it, like, completely shutting me off, or is it giving me a path to go? You're not sure, so as this was happening, the lights were dimming to the point where now it is pitch black. I think he just... First things first, feel around to see if there is a way to go. Okay, you're feeling around right now. Um, how are you feeling right now, by the way? Like, what color would your ring be exuding? Uh, one second while I relook at the color yes. wheel. It is not, I would say it as a retcon, it is not exactly pitch black. You're exuding a slight bit of light from the ring. Right. That it passively does, unless you choose not to. I think... Is more neutral, but the closest is purple. Okay. Okay, I got you. Then you are exuding a faint purple light just from around your uh, hand that is wearing the ring and I assume like as you're like like grasping around in the dark you learn that you are in a circular pit like you can see that the walls go up high above you um, and you see a bit a bit of faint light up ahead um, and I'm gonna say that you don't need to roll any check you just remember this is about where you fell last time you were here you were in the bottom of the pit that you fell into last time you were in this area 
Does the light ahead of me look like a lantern? Like somebody's holding a light? Or is it just a light in the distance? It would just be the bouncing ambient light. Um, however, you did also say that you were droping around, right? In the dark? Yeah, looking for anything. You don't need to make any kind of investigation check. You do notice a handle that gets illuminated and then you just feel around and you see that you are there's an iron door, essentially. Iron wood uh, door on the side of this pit. I try to open the door. It opens. It swings open slowly. Outward, I'd rather. Uh, we'll say, oh, can I ask if I have my axe with me? Um, you do. You definitely have your axe. No other weapons. And the right. horn is not present. Yeah, so as a heads up, he will be having his axe out as he moves forward. Okay. Give me one second to roll something real quick. Okay. Um, sorry, repeat that one more time for me. Uh, he is going to move forward it, pa into the doorway, but he will he will have his axe out. Okay. You step out into the new room with your axe out. Um, <clears throat> the surroundings are only faintly illuminated um, by the ring, but you see that you are in a strangely familiar place. There is old Taldosi architecture, columns, pillars. You are in the interior of a large uh, a large room currently. You don't know how big the whole estate might be, but you recognize that this, you recognize this estate, essentially. Okay. Um, Did I try to dig for more information there? Um, yeah, so I was going to give you a little bit more information about the room itself real quick. Um, <clears throat> sorry. There um, appears to be several doors to the left and right. Um, one on the left, actually two on the right. Um, and there's also a door at the end as well. I think... At the, the at the end of the room. I think he's going to move towards the one at the end of the hallway, but is keeping... is like being aware of noises in case there's something that needs investigating. Okay. Can you roll like me, in one of the other rooms. Can you roll me a perception check? Alrighty. Perception... That is a 15. On a 15, as you're walking down the hallway, you hear sounds of a struggle coming in, not from the end of the hallway, but from the farthest room on the right. Uh, Argo immediately changes direction to go through that door. Okay. How are you approaching? Are you running in? Uh, uh, running in, slamming the door open, basically. Okay. You run in. You slam open the door. The room is illuminated, actually, by faint torchlight. Ahead of you, you see a figure clothed in a fur coat standing over a man with a bright orange, flaming red beard and hair. He appears to be struggling, gasping for air, and he notices you as you enter the room and croaks out, Argo! What do you do? Oh, I... So the one who's choking is the one who said that. Who's being choked, sorry. Yes, he's being choked, and I will also elaborate a little bit more on the figure. He is holding a large battle axe up over, and seems to, while he is choking the red-haired man, he also appears to be ready to strike. Uh, Argo goes to strike the figure. Okay. Uh, roll a hit, please. Alright, can I enter a rage? You definitely can. Alright, so I'm going to do that with advantage with reckless attack, then. That's an 18. I forgot to roll my real life dice. An 18 to hit. Okay. Yep. Um, real quick, I'm just going to narrate something real quick. As you rush in, you've made quite a noise clambering in. Um, do you say anything as you do this? I, I don't think... He doesn't know... He wouldn't know what to say, so he's just going in there silently attacking. Perfectly valid. The, ter the figure that you're striking at turns to you, of course, as you do this. And you see... A mirror image of yourself. It looks like you, Argo. The eyes are not red, though. They are fully emblazoned white. And the axe he's holding up is almost identical to yours. Um, you rolled a hit. Um, you said 18, right? 
Yep. Okay. Uh, Quid, what is your armor class? Me? Yeah, oh, right. no! No! Uh, it's 12. Yes, I was hoping for this. <laughs> no! I would, like you to go no! I would like you to go ahead and roll damage. Cargo. Oh, no! Oh, no, okay. Uh, seven damage because I'm raging. Okay. As this happens, um, Quid, you can describe what this looks like, but basically, the figure Morse, um, still metal, um, but a different form, and the Argo that you struck down, um, forms into Quid, and you are now out of this foggy vision and into reality. Why? <laughs> Oh no! Oh fuck! <laughs> I mean, he could, Quid's uh, it, it was struck by a maul, um, or was it the axe? Um, yeah. Is, it was the axe. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> he's like holding on to an arm that's like just hanging, barely hanging on by a thread, a couple thre uh, strands of uh, uh, wire, I suppose. Uh, he's like on all fours on the ground, um, just holding it together, like. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what did I do? From your perspective, uh, quid, by the way, just interjecting for a second, just so you know what it would look like from your perspective, Quid. Um, I mean, Argo fully slammed in, kicked down the door, not down, but open, um, and after a brief hesitation, slammed the Great Maul into you without a word, um, and his eyes were blazing red the entire time, just so you know. You don't sleep, so you were fully aware of what was happening, and probably, I, do you, I assume you stay standing up. Okay. Yeah, just so you know what that looked like. Anyway, back to you, Argo. I think a uh, second that that happens and he turns back into Qu Quid, uh, the red drops, goes back to purple. He immediately throws the axe, like, as far away from the situation as possible and just uh, just yells, Estella! Because he needs, he needs somebody to heal Quid. Okay. Just top of his lungs yells that. Could roll if you want Estella, or you could just say that you hear that. No, I she's awake, so I'd yeah. say she hears it. Uh, hearing that, she's gonna like slam their door open and come running out. Probably, I don't know if Vivi's sleeping at this point, but probably awaking Vivi in the process. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, awake. She yelled something, and she's just running out. I think uh, hey. when you guys when you guys get into the room, Argo has put himself in the farthest corner, away from Quid, both hands up, not sure what else to do in this situation. What? What happened, Quid? Your arm? I don't know. I I got a letter from Argo. I was reading it, <laughs> and they just came in and tried to kill me. <laughs> Argo, what? Uh. We okay, well he we seems fine now. Let's get him healed up. What was that? What? Mm. What do you say, Earth? I I just said we wouldn't have spell slots back, would we? Uh, not yet. Not at this point, no. Mm -hmm. Nope. So I can't Whoops. do shit. Yeah, I have nothing on me. <laughs> Somebody go. Get okay. Somebody go get <laughs> healing kit. I <laughs> I had to enter this situation, but I'm too tired. <laughs> Slick, go get him! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I think Estella leaves Amber there and is kind of looking at the situation warily, but she's gonna run back to get Otto. Well, okay, let's put your arm in a sling so this, these wires don't snap. Out of curiosity, how late into the evening is this? Is this, like, not long after? I would say midnight. Like, it is pretty early into the night. Right, okay. Maybe one. Yeah. I would say it's probably closer to one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's gonna get her outerwear from the other room and use it as like a sling so Quid's arm isn't like falling at the weight of his own, you know, arm. Doesn't yeah. snap or anything. Stella is furiously banging on your door with both fists, Otto. <laughs> uh, uh, Otto opens the door hastily, sword in hand, shield in the other. Oh, we need healing. Come quick, please. Uh, very well. What has happened? As Otto puts his. Sword in a sheath and picks up a tealer's kit. Oh, Estella just kind of like 
like tenses up when he asks that. And he goes, she goes, Quid, Quid got hurt. Okay. <laughs> okay, but who hurt him? <laughs> that is a way to say it. <laughs> just, uh, just come out, please. We'll assess I, it. I am coming. I am just getting my stuff. And then after grabbing his backpack full of the healer kit, you'll run out into the room. Alright. Um, uh, where are you situated right now, just during this whole process? I had to mute because I was laughing too far. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being um, helped by Vivi. I'm just graciously accepting any and all help at this point. I'm yeah. very shaken about, but uh, I mean, I'm just keeping an eye on Argo. I don't know what's going on. Okay, just checking. So I guess at that point, then Otto bursts into the room. Good, are you alright? No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have never tried this on a robot before, but I will see if I can patch you up. Uh, and I get a healer's kit. And attempt to use my healer's feet on him. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Uh, I can't uh, look. I, I trust him. So I'm assuming this is basically just like using the splints and things to like lock his parts back together and the bandages just to like keep it in place. Yeah, I would say that's a good way to flavor that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, and then I need to roll for it because I always forget. Uh, Six plus eight. Uh, healing you for ten total health. Right. Oh, jeez, that's so much. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, Quid will, uh, you know, just do a little ro uh, shoulder rotation, flex the fingers. Everything seems a lot better. Uh, his anxiety is spiking, but physically, he's much better. Now, what did this to you? Did you deal with it? Um, uh, uh, I don't know. Um, oh, jeez. What do you mean you do not know? I thought you were aware when you were sleeping. I will say it is Argo has very clearly been in the corner with his hands up this entire time. <laughs> Argo, what happened? And. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll something to see if Arco can properly express what he wants to say. Okay. Just a general charisma check. Vivi, you're in the room, right? Real quick, right? Me? Yeah, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm in the room. Okay. Um, I, I think everybody is. Just double checking um, for, before yeah. I say that. Yeah. Um, you would notice with your passive perception, probably the first of anybody, that the like cracking, like almost lightning-shaped scars. Um, on Argo's torso, um, towards the arm, have started to break outwards slightly, and you've noticed this. Argo, did something happen to you during combat today? What's this? And she, like, walks very cautiously, walks up to you and points out the little lightning scars you said? Yeah, the scars from the fight from the wolf. Yeah. Yeah. Oh... I think it's gotten worse. You see, um... Argo tries to figure out words, and I think he's been trying to do that since he walked to the corner of the room, honestly. Uh, and it, it, it takes a long while before he finally goes like, I had another vision, and in the vision there was an enemy. I struck it, and the enemy turned into quid. Do you see me as your enemy? No. Um, you, you... It was a different form than when I struck, the form faded and you were standing there. Do you think it might have been coincidence that the quid just happened to be there while you swung? No, no. Yeah, uh, I think Quid is kind of like like a toddler with a mom, kind of tucked behind Otto just a bit as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
is the most concerning. Hmm. Well, I don't know what to make of the situation, but do we want to be posted on guard duty? I think looking at Argo and looking at the rest of the group. Well, I'm thinking Quid could maybe at least stay with one of us. Um, maybe so this doesn't happen again tonight. Or I still have some manacles. We could manacle him for the night. I don't I'll definitely break out of those manacles. Uh, I have many manacles. <laughs> If that would make everybody safer, I'm willing to try it. No, we don't need to go that far. I, 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 I was distracted. I was there were so many notes, and after the attack today, I can, I can stay watch. Um, I have the I have caltrops. I have ball bearings. I can scatter around, but in case sleepwalks again. But we need a rest. I rested. We have to go in the morning. I'm sorry, but I don't think you should be out here tonight. You can just stay with one of us. We're fine. But who's gonna watch Argo? I'll keep Amber out here. Uh, we can set the precautions. Perhaps this might help as well. And Otto pulls out one of the flasks of holy water. And he'll tentatively walk towards Argo. And then like just start applying it to the where the curse is clearly visible. Alright. I'm um, assuming you allow this, Argo. Yeah, he doesn't do anything to stop anybody. Ah, it was actually acid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, <laughs> that really got me. Um, so, yeah, it, it feels very good. It feels like relief to you, Argo. It doesn't seem to do anything, but it seems to alleviate the pain. Uh, I was going to get to this, but essentially you were, your vision was still blurry um, a little bit um, back from getting into, like, fresh from out of the vision. Um, things were starting to move in the corner of your eyes, and as this was applied, those aspects started to change and your vision starts to clear. Has that helped at all? My vision is clearer. I did not put it in your eyes. <laughs> I do not know how it works. Very well. It helps though, the whole the the holy water. Yes. And you see, see Quid like lets out the sound of a sigh of, sigh of relief. I mean, I, um, sounds like it's the wolf's curse still lingering about. Then, just that it's not any real feelings, Argo. No, I would never want to strike you. In this case, should we also be worried that Otto might succumb to the same ordeal? Well, I have not attacked anyone. Yet. <laughs> you do have the same curse. Ah, uh, Is but... Gar staying with you? I don't actually remember. <laughs> she is. Okay. Yeah, she is. Yeah, have I injured you in any way? No, thank you. <laughs> nah, so I'm just gonna walk up to Gargo. I don't think you should be in the same room as him tonight. Uh, thank you for your concern, but I I have to stay with Otto. I'll be okay. Very well, very well. Um, Do we all want to collectively share a room so in case anything happens to Gar, we're also there? 
How many beds are in one room? I can sleep on the floor. There's probably like two beds to a room. Um, as an option, you could also bring in beds. Maybe not. Yeah, I was gonna maybe, say. Like... Maybe not the norm. <laughs> and <laughs> it might make a bit of a That's ruckus right. at one in the morning, but you definitely could do that. Or you could all bring the mattresses in. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I'll just... Actually probably, mattresses, probably but... the easiest to form that kind of slumber party, yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, a little slumber party. I am not hauling a mattress with one arm. I'm getting a blanket to the pillow and I'm just going to sleep on the floor. Yeneta will watch over me tonight. No, oh, I'm sure she will. Look. I can come in the room and sleep with Gar then. How about that? Because I don't trust Gar to defend herself, quite frankly. I would never hurt her. Not intentionally. Exactly. You think Otto or Argo would ever hurt Quid intentionally? Oh, just like full on, just looks at you like. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay, maybe you were the wrong person to ask that since you're biased as hell. Um, let just I'll. It'll I'll be like a here. sleepover. It'll yeah. We could all share. Quake could also be there. It will be like a fun night. No? no. Okay. I've never had a sleepover before. <laughs> no? Okay. I, I I like this idea. I'd rather uh, stay together somehow. I mean, I can keep watch, but I won't be much use if caught unawares or caught alone. Quite possible I won't be sleeping tonight anyway. I could just watch over. No. Oh, you need your sleep. Uh, um, I have something that could stop Argo in his tracks if he exits the room. And should cause enough of a disturbance to wake some of us up? She's like, looks like good. I was thinking I could just barricade myself in a room. Uh, that feels unnecessary. Also, you are ridiculously strong. I feel any, like, any barricade would just hinder your speed. At the very most. Again, there are always the manacles. I am fully open to the manacle idea. If I are manacles, you're getting you're... manacles too, Otto. But why? I have attacked no one. Not yet, you yeah. haven't. He's like a whining kid. You can be manacled together. Since you're both no. It saddens me that you do not trust me. Not as far no. as I could throw you, no. I, I cannot me. throw you very far. Uh, I was going to say you are very small. <laughs> that is how much I trust you. All right. So, are we all getting in a room? Yep. Let's not manacle Argo. Oh, I feel like it's a bit demeaning. <clears throat> Argo who fully had his yeah. hands out to be manacled. Um, oh. Just to expedite the process, so you guys do all go into one room. Some people are bringing in mattresses. Uh, BB, you said you're just bringing in a blanket and pillow. Mm -hmm. um, and do we decide that we are or are not manacling up Argo? Argo's fully open to being manacled. Oh, we know you're into the idea. <laughs> it's we know. It's for safety. Oh, no, I can say now. it like that. It's it's for safety. Why did you that. say it like that? Argo's a kinky motherfucker. We know this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm assuming that the party is leaning towards not, uh, with only mm -hmm. Otto being very into the idea as well. Um, <laughs> uh, so you guys all uh, have your fun little slumber party. Well, um, no. Before she does that, okay, yeah. she's gonna go. To, yeah, she's gonna go to Argo. She's like, "Take care, okay? It's not only for our safety; it's for your safety too. We don't want you getting hurt." And she gives him like a pat on the shoulder, and she's gonna go when she exits the room. She's gonna cast snare. So, sort of like the hairs on her ear sort of float out and create an invisible like string of glowing white light that place in the middle of where her steps are to create a circle. And then I can cast the details in chat. Basically, if Argo walks out of the doorway, it should, like, initiate a trap that, like, holds him upwards. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Don't leave the room until I come to disable this in the morning, okay? I'll be up super early. 
Give him a thumbs up as the door closes. <laughs> Good night, Argo. Right. Closes the door. All right. So, um, the party has a little slumber party. Um, the snare is set, and it does not go off in the night. It doesn't appear that any other sleepwalking occurs um, from your metal friend or from Otto. Um, real quick, just mechanically, um, before you guys wake up, uh, Argo, you may use short rest hit dice. Um, that is, you recover your hit points, right? But you effectively now have, you had one level of exhaustion before, correct? Just double checking. Yeah. So now you have two levels of exhaustion. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep. Um, Otto, you ha are remaining. I believe you said you had, you just had one, right? Just double I had one. Yes, that is good. You remain at one, um, and you benefit from a long rest. Aside from not losing the Aside from not exhaust. losing that, yes. Yeah. yeah just, just to clarify. Uh, just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> something else might be going on there, you know. That's still something. Yeah. Um, and everybody else can have a long rest as well. Um, but yeah, you guys wake up. Uh, let me switch um, off the music. Oh, I only have... Does the camp action come to anything on my part? Um, remind oh, me yeah. real quick. <clears throat> She's doing her... Uh, research on the pretzel bird. Oh, okay. Give me one second here. And move Q. So that is going to be a check here. Um, give me one second to pull out my notes here. Apologies. Oh, come on, hit All dice. All right. So, yeah, could you make me a. Uh, I'm going to say a. Uh, a nature check here. Nature? Okay. Yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna have to just deal with for now. Um, yeah. does a nat 20 cut it? Oh! Hey! It is very interesting that you did that. Uh, fantastic. Yeah, Matt has the time of his life because yes. there is something that comes up from that, yeah? Yes! DC, yeah. DC 25, sorry, you fail. Fuck you, you little shit! A very high DC. <laughs> And that nat 20 got you something that we wrote it. Fuck yes! So, give me one second here. Um, yeah. So, describe to me real quick, what, do you, what does that look like, you, um, like, examining the bristle brew? Um, I believe um, you said you did, like, a little bit of cursory research while you were, like, in the Maliborn, uh, state. <laughs> um, and then I believe you said that you, like, spent a lot of, like, tonight to do this, basically. Right? Yeah. So when everyone kind of sets up for the slumber slumber party, mm -hmm. um, you see her set up at. I assume there's like tables in the room, obviously. Yes, and if not, you could have dragged some in. That's very true. Um, so she sets up at a table, and she's got this whole alchemical setup going on, and you just see like beakers like dripping and like, you know, the flames going up, and she's she's doing all that. <sighs> Who the fuck? Oh, sorry, Matt, you scared me. I was like, who the fuck just joined? I also got jump scared by that. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. It just I looks know. cool. He's all. <laughs> 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 oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. oh, God. It's, a, it's a little dragonborn warlock guy with a raven. Excellent. I can't wait for this character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so getting to that nat 20, Estella. So, Excellent. yeah. You, um,. This is part of like the before nat 20, just so you know, mechanically, but you um, <laughs> pass the DC and throughout the night, you've been tinkering, trying to test with this bristle brew, see what kind of effects it had with the blood vial that you carry on at all times. And like I've described before, there are flecks of blue where there shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. um, but after applying the bristle brew and a few other additives, you, you have achieved a change in the blood essentially. All of the flakes of blue have started to coalesce into one form, one like a singular glob, essentially floating around. So it is, it almost looks like a, like a lava lamp in that regard, like just one thing of blue floating in the red. Um, and on a nat 20, while tinkering with the bristle brew itself, maybe even separately um, beforehand, you think that you come to a conclusion, you think you start to like break it down alchemically into its com chief components. Um, you start to like get a handle on what exactly Bristle Brew is made of. Um, mm -hmm. The base, the um, reagents added. And you think that on a nat 20, you could possibly 
take some of these reagents and supplement them with cheaper, easier to find and procure uh, reagents and get the same effect as bristle brew. You think that you've struck a gold mine. You may maybe have found an alternative to standard bristle brew. Wow. That is what you Does she have any somewhere. idea what these components are? Um, you know that one of the chief components is hag's hair. Um, not, it is not actual hag's hair. That is just a, oh. or a plant. Just for, I was going to say, that does not sound easy. That's not easy to, pr to procure. <laughs> um, but, um, you think whis whisper thistle would be a good, um, <laughs> shut up, man. Uh, you think whisper thistle would be a good additive to replace it with. Okay. Yeah. And I'll type right. those in real quick, by the way. I was just going to ask. Yeah, don't worry. That's the power of a nat 20 emo. So I yeah. don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we wrote something for that. That was a pretty insane nat 20. <laughs> so, there it is. There it is. I don't know why I capitalized. Let me edit that. But yeah. Um, so yeah, that is what you got on your nat 20, anyway. Throughout the night, that's what you discover. Um. Um, so at this point, um, what does the group do? You guys have all woken up, I believe, in the same room. Um, <laughs> maybe you probably wake up first and maybe disarm the snare spell, I assume. Mm-hmm. I guess in the morning. She wakes up a bit earlier, because yeah. she has to write something out first. But she goes into the room, opens the door. Morning, Argo! Oh, hold on. Wait. <laughs> I almost stepped into my own trap. And she's going to, to disable the, the snare. Um, and she goes, hmm? I think when you walk in, like when you open the door to the room and see him, uh, you can tell he's not doing great. <laughs> like, um, before his lights were like flickering between their normal brightness and a very dim thing. The flickering's gone, his lights are completely dim. And uh, his jaw, it's it usually like uh, is shut naturally. It's just hanging open right now. And uh, when you get his attention and he like snaps back into being conscious, he's, he like uh, tries to stand up. And for the first time, you see him like stumble under his own weight as he tries to get up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, oh, hey, sit down. Uh, can I tell this is like just from exhaustion? Is it like the curse spreading or is it like a it's, mental fatigue? It's um. Basically, his uh, that might honestly be some kind of like intelligence check because it's very much having to do with him being an automaton. You want me to roll it? You can if you want. I'll roll it. <laughs> very smart. Well, do a thing. Six. I have no idea what. <laughs> Did something happen to you again? She's like looking all over, looking at the lights, looking at your face, getting real close. Hey. He, he doesn't try to, he continues to try to get up, eventually using, like, uh, his, he's, he's having to use the maul as, like, a stick to help him stand up, uh, and then he eventually just really quietly goes, Core cannot compensate. As his jaw doesn't move, light just, like, comes from his throat, because that's where his voice module is, so it's just light coming from there, and that's how he's talking. Let me get Estella, she's gonna hand Warren off to you. She's gonna go, Estella! Am I being woken up again this early? <laughs> so, something's wrong with Argo, I think. He's not normal. That's what? a bad way of putting it. He just seems really fatigued and unnor like, unnaturally fatigued. Come look! I was gonna say, we're all still in the same room, but... Yeah. Oh, I, yeah thought Argo, I thought Argo was in a different room <laughs> from Argo's everybody in a room. She went to Estella's room with everyone yeah, else okay. to get Estella. Yeah, just like, that. that very first set, it's got all very mailed up there, that was like, <laughs> something's wrong with Argo. No, no, he's safe, he's safe. Time to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Give me ten minutes to get my armor on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gonna get all her stuff and walk over with Vivi to the room if Vivi's coming. Mm -hmm. Argo? Are you good? She kind of peeks her head in around the corner. 
<laughs> she's when she peeks her head in, she sees him giving a very weak thumbs up. Oh, that that is weird. <laughs> and like, it's only one handed because the other hand is using uh, his maul as a cane to walk with. Um. Hmm. I might know something that could help them, but we're gonna have to go to town. I don't... Can you walk? Uh, he walks, and normally he, he moves at, like, a person's pace, but there's very slow ka-chunking noises as he's moving now. So it's not- he's not doing great. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely hear myself from Blair. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> it's all good. I just thought it was funny. Hmm. Maybe you should stay here while we go out to town. Uh, he doesn't say anything, but just tilts his head. Are you okay staying here? What are we going to town for? Oh, some ingredients? Maybe I some can't. more holy water, considering that helped. I think, uh, there's like, you can very much tell he wants to keep moving, but doesn't want to, there's the, he can tell he's a lot slower, like, he can tell he's slower than he should be, and after a little bit, he just kind of sits back down, crisscross on the floor. <laughs> well, <laughs> Amber kind of saunters in. Amber, I'll stay with you. Don't worry. Um, let me go get everyone else. I'm gonna go off and get everyone else up. Yeah, I think Quid would have made his way um, with Otto over just to the room. Okay. He'd been spending all night. Uh, he was at the table while you you were working, but he goes offline as well. And uh, I think in front of him was uh, his dagger, just, just sitting in front of him. But he picks it up and follows along. Yeah. Is everyone else okay to go out to town today? Mm -hmm. Can we make this quick, though? Absolutely. Time. I mean, we have to get our horses, and then we can make our way rapidly to Arstead. Sounds like a plan. Uh, but also, real quick, uh, not that there's a bit of a lull, like to interject. There was, um, just to make it clear, um, just because it wasn't at 20, um, there was still more um, that I wanted to give you, um, but um, essentially, uh, Estella, while you were like tinkering with your blood vial, um, obviously, just a coagulating was not like a, the finished uh, product. You know what I mean? It didn't appear yeah, yeah, yeah. to cure it, um, but it seemed like a very strong step in the right direction. You would know basically, basically, like as you were adding other additives in, along with the bristle brew to like test it and see how strong it was in purging um, the blue from the system, um, you would have noticed that some things put on some uh, effect, like you put on maybe some of the clippings from the toenails, um, maybe even per, per chance, but nothing would seem strong enough. You would know that bristle brew in conjunction with another ingredient would likely be enough to purge the blue from the system. A strong a enough ingredient, yes. got it. It would have to be something quite strong. And the toenail clippings are a fairly strong ingredient. You know, they have to be pretty strong. Just oh. so you know. Just so you know. That's that's rough. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. On a nat 20, that you would have gotten that. Just letting you know. Okay. Well, I am not sure where everyone else is going today, but I will be going to the Catchwater Sisters real quick. They definitely have supplies that we are going to need. Um, before everyone splits, I don't know how everyone feels about this, but Quid and I got some papers from the Malibor Miner, and I'm not really sure how well we'll be able to use them, but I was thinking maybe Hod might want in on the information we got in this extension of the mission, maybe? I mean, yeah, we haven't even had the chance to decompress from, from what we found in the Malibor's Manor. I mean, I, I, Vivi, I don't even know where you went after... Uh, when me and Estella went to the warehouse. There wasn't 
a huge house up in the Sunrise District, and that's where the Vigil sort of retired for the night. And you know the yellow man who, who exited, or was in the ball? He exited from that same manner. Hmm. Mm hmm I mean, I don't... Okay, I don't know anything about that still. But... I um, figure it out. I don't know how much time we have. We could do some more scouting, maybe. No, 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 no. It's. Uh, I mean, it's important, but this is more critical. Just, I, I mean, he's uh, Quinn's been carrying the rolled up folder, I think, from Malaborn's mm -hmm. office. Um, if if it seems like there's, uh, we want to go over it now. He'll take it out. I mean, he'll take it out and hold it in his hand, but. Uh, we can go over this now or later, but I mean, I, I still think we gotta get the iris then. As, as quick as we can. I was thinking I could send for Hod, and then hopefully he can get to Dawnfall by the time we get back here. So we can meet with him before, you know, we go through the mission. Okay. Here, I'll uh, take it, take it. <laughs> yeah. did, did you want uh, company? I, I, I was thinking I could go with Otto to uh, get the horses, or, I mean, he could go alone, but I feel that's another task we could, um, just do in parallel. Oh, this thing shouldn't take very long, and honestly, I don't have anything else to do, so I'm free to come along with whoever. Um, I don't know. I guess we might as well pull up the stone. One of the many we've collected. <laughs> yeah. You have a blue and a red. Yeah. Yeah. The one for Hod. I forget which one's which. Blue, blue is Hod. Blue is Hod. Blue is Hod? Okay. The good one's for the Hod, the red one's hot? for yeah. Malaborn. Okay. Malaborn, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. From my point Hi, of view, Hod is evil. <laughs> <laughs> then you are lost. Uh, okay. I'm gonna send. Hi, Hod. Uh, Manor mission went well and has expanded. Have papers and information you might want to know how many is that 15 um should we meet lots to talk out i think that's all i can say <laughs> i think so i haven't been counting yeah um okay so i'm just processing the exact verbiage here give me one second here um real quick um <coughs> Well, where is everybody going, um, and like, what is the split, split while I craft a quick uh, 25 word, or probably he won't use all 25, let's be real. Um, no, but but um, where is everybody going right now, before they uh, head out to Iris Bay? I, mean, uh, I, I was wanting to do those things that I messaged you about. Yes, 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 I like those things. Okay. Yeah. Mm -mm. I wouldn't worry about it, don't worry about it, I guess. It's fine. Okay. Well, if Otto's doing a thing... And she'll go with Quid to get horses, maybe? Okay. Maybe in Quid oh. get horses. After message, okay. Stella, are you okay going to the Catch Waters alone? Yeah, that's preferable, actually. Okay, sure. Oh, before she leaves, she's gonna quickly go into Argos room again. Hi, Argo! One more time before I leave. Uh, this is for you. Thank you for your letter. You very, you very, very slow. Like it's a return letter, right? That's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> he, it's a very slow process of him taking it, but he doesn't. Oh. Yep. You can read this while we're gone. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> oh, one other thing though, uh, I would go up to Estella and just say, um, I would hand her a big sack of gold. Um, I'll just say it's uh, 500 gold pieces. Uh, if you need it. If you need it to keep, to do your research, it's it's put to a good cause. I I will charge you interest every day. You don't give it back, but just if you need it. <laughs> well, I was going to say thank you, but what's the interest? <laughs> I want to know that now. Yes. Um, it, it'll be friend prices, so uh, ten percent increase each day. Each day. <laughs> oh. She starts yeah. doing the math on her fingers. <laughs> Student loans. <laughs> I, d I don't know if I want to accept this money. I'm 
honestly scared. I'm 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 kidding. Uh, oh, just just listen. Just take it. Um, oh if you do need it. Hmm? Oh, was, I'm kidding. It's only five percent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Quid. I appreciate it. And I will surely get us some supplies with this. Oh, that was the hardest thing I had to do all day. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh god. Um, one second, real quick. I'm sorry, I'm juggling quite a bit here, trying to finish out the the message here. Um, one second. I'm just gonna count on my hands for the finisher of this, I think. Um, but Hog will not use all 25. I think he would say, "Sounds good." I will head to Dawnfall shortly. Should be there when you get back. Meet me with Clancy. Uh, verify with Sedone, I think is what he would say. I didn't tell him, tell him I was leaving. I didn't know. <laughs> okay, oh shit, on. yeah, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> verify with who, sorry? Uh, verify uh, with Stone, essentially. Like, communicate with Stone um, whenever you're ready to meet, is what he would say. Okay. I'm sorry, I think I missed what you said. What did you say to him? To Hod? Uh, I wrote it out after... Hold on. No, 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 no. I'll put it in game notes. Okay, cool. Yeah, apologies. I was going off memory. I thought that you did say that uh, you were headed out and would be back shortly, essentially. Um, okay. Um, no one's going with you to the Catchwaters, right, Estella? I don't think so. Yeah, no, uh, no, no, I'm going by myself. Okay. All right. Um, before we get to Estella, I think we're going to get some of these other ones done first here. Um, so I'm going to say, uh, let's start with Vivian Quid going for horses real quick. Um, so just so you know, you guys, I believe, I don't know if you're trying to get horses on your own, um, but Lord Maliborn did offer to pay for that expense, essentially, to help speed up the process. Um, yeah. But he did not make any specifications. You would have to use the red one. <gasps> Another phone call. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Round two. Uh, hi, Relos. Leaving the city. Where should we pick up the horses? That's all I need to say, right? Oh, bye. Hope you've been doing well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Raylo sends a message back. It takes him a while, uh, maybe like five minutes. But after five minutes, he sends a message back that says, "Very well. Uh, horses will be provided for your troop. Uh, stable at Caden Street, basically. So just expediting the process. Basically, just tells you where to go." Um, and I think instead of shortly, he would, would say in two hours. Um, in two hours? In two hours, yeah. They would be ready. How long does it take two us hours. to get to Caden Street? <laughs> it would not take you that long to get there. He's like, that's how much time you would probably assume it would take for him to send servants out and procure and do all of that. Well, we have um, an hour and a half to kill. Yeah. Um, and real quick, moving on from that, I'm going to say that you guys eventually would probably go over to the stables. Um, mm. Otto, uh, if you could please explain what you are doing right now. Yeah, uh, so first things first, you know, healer's kits are getting low, especially since people keep team fighting in the middle of the night. <laughs> yep. Not pointing fingers, so I'd like to go and acquire one of them, if possible, please. Uh, apologies, I think I uh, was coughing and missed something. Can you say that one more time? Apologies. I was just saying I'd like to go and acquire another healer's kit. Okay, right. Is it just the healer's kit? That you're... Yeah, right. Okay. Cool. Well, there was the uh, the other thing as well, but. Gotcha. Um, for the other thing, um, the uh, I'll, I will message you for the other thing real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. One second here. What is the other thing? What is this? <laughs> His long lost lover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, the healer's kit is like, it's very cheap, man. It's only like five gold, essentially, for a fresh <laughs> healer's kit. Um, okay, I will knock that off now. Yeah. Um, and I will message you for the price for the other thing. Perfect, perfect. But I got you on a discount on that. <laughs> <laughs> New manacles. <laughs> yes, specifically designed to deal with strong automatons. <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> don't worry about it, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just a reaction to something. <laughs> oh, oh, that makes sense. I see your point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I don't like this. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's, it's not a bad thing, I promise. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All will be well. I, I don't believe you for a goddamn second. I, I just wasn't sure if people would charge more around these parts for such things. Or no, no. Not, cool, not cool. here for that. <laughs> for that at least. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that's, uh, that's everything I wanted to do. Apologies there. for some. Of, there's a lot of secret things happening. <laughs> so I guys that it's like full silence. I'm DMing people right now. A lot of people <laughs> have secret things that they want. I'm not just uh, doing nothing here. Give me one second, guys. Uh, it's fine. This will all be revealed shortly. It's actually gonna be revealed. Yes. Uh, one second. Uh... It's <laughs> TD reveal. <laughs> oh god, oh lord. Uh, hold up, one second. How many? Uh, one for everybody, including Gar. Okay, gotcha. Ah. <sighs> What is with all these secrets, bro? <laughs> I didn't write the secrets. What the you, guys, fuck? you guys have secrets. I. This is just how it is. <laughs> okay. Emo, shut up. Yes, you do. That is the most <laughs> having secrets thing to say. <laughs> nice fun fact, Ryan. <laughs> All right, so that's your answer there for uh, that, um, Chief. That's what how much Argo would have to spend for that. Um, that's fine. So Argo goes off and runs off on an errand uh, at some point. Uh, Specifically after, after everybody else after leaves. After everyone else leaves. <clears throat> um, and um, I'm just going to say, just for the sake of time, you do manage to pick up those horses. Um, I'll retcon. I don't think it would take two hours. I think it would be like... Um, an hour tops, probably more that it, more I think about it, um, for him to send those runners up and coordinate all of that, pay for that. There's no way it would be more than an hour. Um, and now we are going to cut over to uh, Estella. I believe I've gotten to everybody but Estella. Is that true? Yes. Um, so, uh, Estella, just you yep. head over to the Catchwaters shop, Enchanted Elixirs. Um, doesn't take you that long. Um, it appears to be a fairly slow morning, as far as you know their shop is concerned. It's usually a little more bustling. Um, you step out to the front um, desk, um, reception essentially, um, where one of the Catchwater sisters, um, Aldira, is currently managing the shop. Is that the one I talked to at the ball? That is. Yep. <laughs> okay. She walks in, just waving her hand. Hi. Oh, uh, hello. How are you? I'm great. Check this out. And she goes up to the desk and puts the blood vial right in her face. <laughs> you said the blood vial? Mm-hmm. Well, not uh, the vial itself. The new vial with the tested blood inside of it. Mm, okay. Um, <laughs> so you, like, shove it in her face and... Yeah. She does that thing where she, like, kind of leans back and squints her eyes a little bit. Like, what? what am I looking at? I'm sorry. What, what did You're you do? You're looking at innovation. I managed to get the bristle brew to kind of merge with the infected blood. It's really interesting. I just need one more reagent, and I think I could very possibly find out the cure to this curse. 
Mm, well done. Um, um, what, what, what did you find out about it? What did it look like? What test did you run? Uh, she would just kind of explain them in detail. Uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> a lot, just very, very detailed. She's very proud of herself right now. Um, okay. And then before she even has a time to get a word, in, <laughs> she just, she goes, do you know of any reagents stronger than hill giant toenails, perchance? Um, and she thinks for a second, like kind of taps her chin and she goes, <clears throat> um, wait, let, uh, Edith, Edith. And she like oh. yells upstairs where you went before. Uh, um, yeah. Like when you first met and, uh, I, I don't think you would hear any call back. She's like, uh, let's go. And she like just pulls you and takes you upstairs to the same office that you guys, um, <clears throat> that you guys like were in before. And she just burst into a door where Edith is kind of like bent over doing her own little things. Mm -hmm. Um, and she says, e Edith, stop what you're doing. We, we have to look at this. Ah, huh? what? Uh, uh, okay. What, 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 what is it? I'm, I'm busy here. Um, um yeah. show, show her, show her. Okay. She'll, she'll walk over and just kind of show her without saying a word. Oh, I remember you. Okay. Oh, whoa. This is a development. Okay. And she, if you will let her, she tries to, like, take the vial by force. Yeah. That's, okay. that's not the main vial, so she's fine with that. That's fair. Okay. So she takes that, starts examining it, up just up to the light for now. Nothing, like, scientific at all. This is fascinating. How did you achieve this outcome? <laughs> well... Explains in detail. <laughs> yeah, super fair. Super fair. <laughs> two more, two more hours later. Two more hours. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, okay. This so with the bristle brew, it seems to have coagulated. Interesting. Weakening it a little bit. This is interesting. Okay, Keep, follow me real quick. Um, and she goes back over to where she was, sets aside the uh, flasks that she was working on, um, that are filled with a strange magenta and pink uh, fluids that she was mixing together. Just kind of like slams that to the side haphazardly. Um, gets on her standard artificer goggles, flicks over the three lenses as per usual, um, and just starts getting about to like gathering a bunch of uh, other flasks, volumetric and otherwise. Um, yeah, and while while she's doing that, you notice that um, Eldira, she walks over to a very large uh, bookcase. And, and you notice that like three walls in here are covered with like like their bookcases from floor to ceiling um and she starts to like look through and is skimming and then you see her pull out like a, a big like a large leather bound like book uh it looks quite old and she pulls it out and runs over to a desk and like slams it on the desk and opens it up and starts like skimming through the pages yeah at this point um estella are you like more hovering over uh, uh, Eldira's shoulder or Edith's, uh, the one with the booker, uh, the one working on the flask, essentially. She's torn, quite frankly. <laughs> yeah. she's, Jesus Christ. Could someone maybe, I don't know, tell me what you guys are doing? Uh, yes, it just slows down the process a bit. Uh, she sounds a little bit annoyed as you say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, My blood, bitch. Uh, and as she's like, just, you know, examining, uh, adding a few additives. Um, and she's like, appears to also be strangely like sniffing at it every once in a while, which doesn't seem very scientific to you. Um, <laughs> but uh, she like takes a little bit of, uh, out and actually like, like licks it on her tongue as well. Um, she's doing other scientific things. Yo! I will, I will elaborate. She's like, <laughs> she's, it's not like this is full caveman work. She's also doing other more scientific <laughs> things. Um, applying lenses as well, but she does not seem to have a care in the world for her own well-being when it comes to this potion, and she is fully wow. applying those methods as well. Um, but after a while, she turns to you and she's like, "This is definitely Fey in origin. This is a Fey curse." It's... Well, yeah, your sister already kind of deduced that. Well, it could be that, or it could be a few other things, but this confirms it for sure. Um, Wait, what confirmed it? You licking it? That helped. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, and then uh, you see 
Eldira, she all of a sudden perks up and goes, Ah! ah I, th I think I found it! And, um... And so she walks over and she says, uh, or she, like, turns the book on the desk towards you. It's a very heavy book. She's not just going to, like, tote it everywhere. So um, so she says, uh, Estella, come come look. And then she says, you, you too, Edith. Come look at this. And, um, and as you guys, like, walk over and look at it, she points to a page and she's like, you, you said that you needed something a, a bit partier in substance, correct? You, you said you used giant toenail clippings i did okay um so now I, I thought i had heard of something before but it was very vague i couldn't remember but i think this and she points at it and it's um you see like a page i don't know if you have like ever looked at like a a botany book or anything but like it's like a, a picture of the plant uh kind of like hand drawn um and then like probably two pages worth of descriptions in terms of like what it looks like and a brief history of when it was founded or like first kind of found and experimented upon. Um, but she starts to like list, like, you know, it seems to be very sturdy, has been used in some other um, elixirs. Um, it, it seems like this might be uh, something that could hold up if you mixed it along with the bristle brew. Um, hmm. And she, she starts she keeps reading and she's like it looks like it's found hmm uh, hold on uh, Adar, or, uh, Edith will you come look at this too yes of course and she like points to a certain uh, section <clears throat> and uh, Edith reads kind of like the the origin section and uh, what is her reaction uh, oh, yeah, see, right, right, right. Um, so Edith starts reading the uh, origin um, a little bit. And real quick, um, can I get a slight perception check from you as well? Not slight, but a perception check from you as well. Uh, <laughs> real quick. Definitely. Thank you. Where's perception? I almost rolled persuasion. <laughs> Basically. Oh, nine. A nine? Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't notice anything on a nine, I would say. Um, <laughs> but... Um, she's flipping through really quickly through these pages. Um, I think on a nine, all I will say is that you notice some strange blue ink on a page. Um, but that is it. Um, and um, she goes back and flips back to the original page after reading through the origin. She, do she doesn't really, she's not a sharer with her research, so she summarizes it afterwards. Um, but she says, um, I think the best additive here, the thing that could purge this, this fey curse would be the Daythorn. And I will put that in the game notes real quick. Okay, so and we find this where? Excellent question. Actually... And you see them kind of look at each other mm -hmm. uh, like a bit questioningly um, before she answers you. Yeah. And yeah, like you see Eldira like kind of nod to Edith. Yeah. After that nod, um, her voice kind of goes down a little bit in pitch, like she's being thoughtful and a little concerned. Um, and she says, Daythorn is a, a fey plant in origin, but it grows here in materia. Okay. It has two forms, and she gestures towards the, um, like, botany pictures, basically. There's actually, for this one, two images. Um, one of, like, a very, like, almost charcoal-etched um, spiral uh, vine and one of a um, like bright like white um, other like inks have been colored in essentially it's very artistically done um, like a root um, and she says it, it either grows as a dark twisting vine or a gleaming radiant root those are its two forms and it likes to grow in contrast with whatever form it chooses and she's like look, looking up thoughtfully and she says, I think the easiest to acquire would be the gleaming root variant. But that might be a bit tricky. Okay. Um, yeah. She pulls out her notebook okay. and she flips to the page that has a map on it. Right. Okay. Puts it in front of her. I need you to show me where you're not specifying. Um, okay. 
So to be fair, she's like still thinking about it. Um, <laughs> what what map are you showing? Just to specify, are you doing the one with the blue ink? I'm assuming. Yeah, we're doing the one with the special ink. Okay, got you. Her like ears perk up and like her eyes like like lock in with that for a second. Give me that for a second. Um, no, and... don't touch it. Okay, then I'll bring my book to that. And she seems very annoyed by that. Um, <laughs> and she slams down the tome flips the page back and a very similar map appears to have um, be on the side next to the origin of this uh, Daythorn rune essentially um, and just describing it for everybody else who doesn't have that um, <laughs> dark topic uh, background no uh, knowledge it appears to be just a map of Aru standardized um, but with strange um, weaving blue lines Go, like weaving across it um, and I think I will send in quick the, the reference image real quick um, I'll look that up just so everybody knows what that, well nobody else is no, I, see. No, I don't think she would show that to anyone now that I'm thinking <laughs> about it, nobody else would see yeah. it so I'll just leave that image out there more secrets More secrets. secrets. Yeah, it just occurred to me the players know, characters know they do not know um, but yes, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for calling me on that um, but yes uh, that ma map identically exists in that book, that old tome. Where did you get that? Never mind where I got it. What is this? Well, we're not sure exactly, but we know they're called ley lines. We're not sure what exactly they do, <laughs> but, but they interact with the Fae. If I had to guess, I'd say whoever's blood that is, and she points to the vial, interacted with one of these. And she points over to one of like the blue um, lines on the map. And almost like an, the Feywild is a strange place, and I think almost like an autoimmune response. The Feywild cursed whoever interacted with it. Mm. Sounds like whoever's blood that is pried where they shouldn't have, to be quite frank. Of course you would. All right. Well, I appreciate your help on this. Could I? <laughs> she walks up to the book. Yeah. Could I have that page? The oh, page? Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. wait, wait, what, what page? Yeah, what page are you asking about? <laughs> the one on the, the Daythorn. Oh, okay. Oh, absolutely not. No, no. Mm -hmm. Um, we will not be ripping pages out of this book. Uh, however, I would let you borrow it. The book? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not going to destroy it, right? You seem to be a scholar. I'm sure we, you would take great care of it, but... Oh, no, I have no plans of destroying your property. That's absurd. I, d I don't know if I can carry that. Um... Well, you might want to get used to it because it contains a lot of information um, about many different herbs uh, that grow here. But um, if, if you would like it, I will not ever let you rip a page out of my book. Um, you're certainly more than welcome to sit here and um, transcribe some information onto your own paper. Or again, you can take the whole book as long as you return it. But... Uh, yeah, these books are sacred to us, so. No, of course. Um, would you hold it up for me very quickly? She's like, um, unfortunately, it's a very heavy book, and I'm not <laughs> that strong. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. Just god damn of, it. Just a bunch of gnomes in a room. Well, like, what, <laughs> are you, what are you wanting to get from her holding it up? I just want her to hold it up so I can put my bag of holding under it. Oh. oh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> no, so she can definitely pick it up so she can okay, put it Okay, I, I was like, how did you get it off the shelf? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but like, if I thought you were asking her to like hold it out in front of her face. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, no, you can definitely put it in the bag. Okay, perfect. She says, yes, you have a bag of holding? Of, of course, yeah. It would be very well kept in there. Um, you know that actually bags of holding and she kind of starts to go on a little <laughs> bit of a tangent um 
telling you about how well things are preserved in a bag of holding. Um, not necessarily like she and she goes into all these little tangent information, but talking about like don't ever put a bag of holding in a bag of holding or any other dimensional um, uh, items, but uh, or interdimensional items. Um, but she also says it, it, meat doesn't really preserve very well in there either. Um, but things like books uh, preserve in there very well because they're not exposed to all the elements. So, um, yes, please keep it in there. I did hear about bags of holding, and she was listening intently to this the whole time. Yeah. I, what would happen if I put my head in it? I'm very curious. Um, well, I've never done that before, but I did have a friend back at university who was there to uh, stay in it for as long as he can, and I, I think he stayed in it for uh, close to 10 minutes, and he then said that he started to uh, run out of air and almost suffocated, and uh, we had to dump it out, and uh, there ended up being quite some odd things that he kept in there, too, but, um, oh, well, you know, that's neither here nor there, but yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it seems you probably have about 10 minutes worth of breathing, um, probably less if you have more than one person, but, uh, you know, you have to be quite a small person to get in there anyways. Like, you could maybe fit, but <laughs> a normal-sized person, probably not. Okay, interesting. I definitely have things to experiment with now. Thank you for the book. It will not get destroyed. I will not let any of my friends touch it. Don't worry. Um, and I was also wondering... By the way, this is meta. Dane, real quick. Did yeah, you I tell know. her where no, to find no. the... I was okay. waiting for the, for the lull. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The lull. Okay. <laughs> What's the information? Lull. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, while this has been happening... Um, Edith appears to have gone off into a corner, um, like, in the library section of the room, one of the three walls, and has pulled off, like, a black leather tome, like, a black leather bound book, another old tome, and it started flipping through it just during this entire discourse. Um, and then she walks up and says, I think I found a good place to start looking for Daythorn. Ooh. It's a bit complicated. Normally, we would just send a runner up you would pay the cost, and you'd have the reagent. But uh, this being Thalesia, there's a lot of superstition involved with at least this location. Um, and uh, she points over to a page with a slight illustration of like almost like a ruined citadel surrounded by uh, trees without leaves. Um, and she says, I think that according to this book, Daythorn used to be spotted in the Old Kingdom, the Old Kingdom of Daldea. But it still might be tricky to find. When you see it, you'll know. It tends to grow in polar opposites of its... Its climate tends to be a polar opposite of its chosen form. So I think if you're looking for the Gleaming Root variant, a dark place such as the Old Kingdom should be the place to look. I can't send a uh, runner and- up... Yeah, go ahead, Matt. No, sorry. Nope, you finished. Okay. She said, I can't send a runner up there, given the old superstitions that these folk have of that place, but it's just south of Evenheim. It's a bit of a trek, but that would be the most likely place to find Daythorn in the vicinity. What superstitions are we talking of? And well, then, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, El- Eldara would popcorn in here yeah. uh, and say, he, you know... The, you're a science-minded person, right? Um, Indeed. You, you probably know that many of the um, lay folk have their stories and folklore and things like that. So that's probably all it is. But um, the people that live in the area often say that people that enter the wood don't often come out. Um... Well, you could say that of many places. I mean, yeah, but I don't know that anybody has been reported to come out. Um, oh. But of course, that could just be because they got lost. And um, because of that, not many people go in anyways. And it's probably all just a legend or you know, a story to keep children from wandering off too far from their parents. 
Oh, yeah. I, I know all about those. Um, <laughs> it's a very good story. You hadn't spooked for a second. I'll be sure to stop by, and considering no one goes there, there should be plenty of fruit. I am very thankful for this information. I spent way too much time here than I was supposed to. She says, looking out the window. <laughs> um, yeah, and as you say that, Eldara does go, um, actually, I did have one favor to ask of you. Um, mm -hmm. I understand, and you told me that you got your hands on bristle brew, and uh, seems like your experiments went quite well. Um, you happen to you seem like you happen to be some sort of a, a prodigy. I mean, uh, many other skilled people have had their hands on that and have uh, fumbled it or, you know, not handled it properly. So it took great skill for you to be able to to handle it the way you did. Um, did you discover anything else about it uh, while you were working with the Bristle Brew? Um, unfortunately, you know, they do sometimes have some that are given out to the poor, but, uh, you know, it's prioritized to the people who, who need it, and we don't really get our hands on it to be able to test it. Um, oh, and she kind of interrupts her okay. and <laughs> flips through the pages and rips a page out of her book. Here you go. Mm -hmm. And it's it's basically the exact information that you told me of the replacements and possible variations. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and you see her start to look at this. She's like, what's this? And then she, like, grabs some spectacles that hang around her neck and, like, put them on. And she starts to look over it. And as she's looking over it, you just see her her mouth, like, visibly drop. Her jaw drops. Her eyes get very wide. And she's reading through it. And she says, Edith, come here. Look at this right now. And she, like... But she's still holding on to the paper, no. like, shows Edith what it says. And she's like, how... Uh, how did you figure this out? Yeah, Edith is, like, not saying a word. She just looks at you incredulous, incredulously. Well, what do you mean? I ran tests. But you do realize that this is possibly going to resolve the scarcity issue of, of bristle brew. It would certainly help. Oh, well, I'm glad it could help you. Um, yes, of course, these are all just, I mean, you haven't created this substance, correct? No. Okay. It's all theory. Hmm. And then she says, e Edith, what do you... What do you think about this? She's been like studying the paper, I assume, uh, while you guys have been conversing, and she says, "Well, Whisper Thistle seems like a genius replacement, but it might need some other small additives and time to perfect." But I think you're onto something here. Yes, it will definitely take some time to mass produce, and we'll of course have to run trials and um, make sure it will work. Uh, we can't just throw this out, but, but Estella, you, you've made a major find here. Where did you um, study? At home. Your home? Your homeschooled. Mm-hmm. Who were your parents? Oh, <laughs> she, she gets a little fidgety at that. Look, I, I was homeschooled. I really need to be going. Um, okay. When will you be back? How long are you going to be gone? Um, I sp should be a couple of days. I can certainly drop by when I'm back. Yes, please do. In the meantime, um, we will start to try to get some samples and send some runners out to, to gather. It looks like hag's hair, you said. That's brilliant. Um... Yes, yes, we'll, we'll do that, and uh, and as soon as you get back, uh, come come stop by, and, and we'll tell you kind of the progress that we've made. This is your discovery. Hey, you should be here for it. I feel, if you want to, but I, I feel like well, you owe it to yourself. Quite frankly, I 
don't really care about the distribution of bristle brew i have other things to do so <laughs> uh no words from Edith. it's just you can yeah see, like without an inside check you, she looks a little yeah. hurt and <laughs> surprised by that don't uh, get me wrong it's amazing and it's very a very good find i just have you know more important things to do for myself and she kind of pulls out the vial right well I, I guess that makes sense but at least come by and check on your progress or our progress mm -hmm. all right well i hate to have kept you waiting or whatever it is you're supposed to do um um, yeah. um stella one second and um you see Eldara like go to her desk and she starts like opening up drawers and trying to look through stuff and she's like um look, just wait here one moment and she runs out of the room and uh you hear like some scuffling and whatever in another room and then she comes back and she hands you a small pack that's like um it's almost like a, what's it called? A fanny pack. And like, it's about that size, maybe a little smaller. And she says, okay, very important. Do not by any means ever put this in your bag of holding. <laughs> but this is essentially the same thing, except for it preserves any specimen or um, you know, anything that you might find in the wild that you need to preserve in its form. Um, but again, do not put this in the back of holding. What? what she hands it over to you. What would happen if he did? <laughs> um, just don't do it. Oh, that makes her want to do it even more. <laughs> okay. Mm, okay. Just doesn't oh, it's an ingredients bag. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, I mean, you can say it looks like whatever you want it to look like. But. Yeah. Um, well, again, thank you for your hospitality. She's pulling a hod here completely. Yeah. I need to go. Uh, oh, before I go, I do need to buy some things off you because I, I nearly died recently and I'd really, really love to not repeat that experience. So... Uh, do you have any healing potions on it? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, just, yeah, Edith just picks up, of course. H how many did you want? Mmm, 15. 15? Just standard mm -hmm. potions of healing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, give me one second here. Um, it's okay. We can ex so, expedite yeah, this. I would, I would say for now, I would like to go to the <laughs> not really RP all of Definitely. Um, it's all good. Okay. Um, so, a potion of healing, <laughs> you're just getting a common, like, standard one, right? Yeah, she's probably going to get a couple more potions, but I don't want to take up all that time. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so, I can just text it to you if you want. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, I'll, I'll work on that here. Um, uh, in the meantime, real quick, before, while I send you the prices and everything like that, um... Because I want to calculate that a little bit, but um, <laughs> there's some variables that maybe have come into play. But uh, yeah, so just moving on for now. Do you just group, uh, go on and regroup with the group? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I, I feel like she's late. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably the the most late of the group. Um, it only take uh, like we retconned and said it only took like an hour um, to get the horses. Um, so now. Vivian quit. I'm assuming you were back uh, with the horses. I'm assuming everybody wanted to meet back up at the Blind Tiger, likely. Um, and I would say Argo, you have probably been back for a bit. Um, Otto, you as well. Um, and I'm going to say, Estella, you, you walk up. Um, <laughs> you are home alone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin! Yeah, so you make it. Um, and everybody, I, was, I would assume, is maybe just down in the main common room. Uh, Maybe eating some uh, early breakfast. Or well, you guys got up not that early. I would say lunch by now. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you walk in and everybody's just down there eating lunch. Hi. Oh, Quinn. 
<laughs> she's walk. She walks by Quid, and she opens his hatch without warning, and pours an alter self potion down his. <laughs> <throat> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you doing? Without. <laughs> <sense or more. laughs> Uh, the, the 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 head pad ring goes off. Uh, you owe me five gold. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you turn into um, the previous human self. Uh, he'll go. Yeah, the previous human self, the black-haired kid. Um, this time the features are different. The nose elongated, perhaps ears uh, slightly more tilted. I don't know. It just seems to be going through like different variations every time. Um, but. He'll dig into lunch. Lunch! <laughs> Alright. Um, you order maybe a sandwich or something along that line. That would be the lunch special here. Um, and yeah. Um, what does the gang do? You guys are all uh, grouped up together here. He's probably like prodding at the differences in Quinn's new human form. It's different <laughs> from last time. This is, you would think after being the same person for 10 years and be consistent. I wonder how this works. Also, <laughs> Otto, yeah. what do we tell Realos when we kill the horses this time? <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, while I was out <laughs> today, uh, and then I'll, I'll take off his gauntlet, and then from out of his pocket, you'll take a platinum ring, like a, a very a very nice looking, you know, rather expensive platinum ring, and just puts it on his finger, and then reaches into his pockets again, and pulls out Three more regular sized platinum rings and one small, almost child sized <laughs> platinum ring. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, uh, I have got C's for our group. I thought that since we are spending time together, it might be a nice uh, commemorative thing. Oh, well, this is very awkward. And, <laughs> and, Ar and Argo pulls out a bag and opens it, and there's a bunch of <laughs> bunch of gold bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> no way! No way! Why? Why did you buy so much jewelry? <laughs> well, um, <laughs> and he just kind of like spreads them out a little bit, and on they are engraved with everyone's names. Uh, and on the back, it just says Ludicari. He just, he just kind of spreads them out and is like, uh, I feel awkward. <laughs> <laughs> what does Ludicari oh, mean? Well, I, I wanted us, they keep asking for a team name, so I wanted to come up with one. But I couldn't, so I just put it as to be decided. <laughs> and that's what that word means. Huh. I mean, it, it works. I don't think Argus says anything else. He just keeps like, kind of pawing them away from himself and towards everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look great, and he'll put on the bracelet. It, he has it. His like new watch on. Um, he has yeah. the platinum ring on. He's, he's dripping. Yeah. I am dripping. <laughs> he has the drip. Yeah. So while he's in that, all obviously goes around to Vivi, and then quits, and then Estella. And then the fourth one goes to Gar. Yay! Yeah. Thank you, Otto. It's supposed to be expensive. Oh. Wow. Ah, it is. It is nothing. I'm gonna have to get a chain for this. But thank you. Uh, Do I have any symbols on it? Like, you can have the symbol or anything? Oh my no, God, no, no. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> it's just like a plain looking but expensive platinum ring. Right? Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. Who all did you give that to, by the way, real quick? So yeah, it was Quid, Vivi, Stella, Gar. Okay. And oh, yeah. poor Argo! What the? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was there something wrong? No, he doesn't comment on anything. He just, I think, ever since the thing today, he's been keeping a distance. Like, you know, if they're on a long table, he's on the he's on one end of the table while everybody else is like grouped together. And that's just gonna, kind of been his whole vibe for today. Like, he's just been pushing the bracelets away and then just kind of sitting there. <laughs> oh, I think that's it. All right, let's get going. <laughs>
<laughs> Argo, if I, I don't know if this'll. Why? It's okay. I'm okay. I promise. Um, I maybe I know something that would cheer you up. We have all these. Uh, I guess four horses. We don't know their names. Oh, I could attempt to learn their names if you wish. <laughs> and, uh... No, it's gonna make it so much worse than they die. Yeah, you gotta get ready for this thing. <laughs> he just leaves. He, he leaves the room, and uh, he spends ten minutes doing the whole speak with animals thing. And are there any war horses, or are they just regular horses? Um, so I feel, I feel like you would have specified. Um, how many war horses would you have specified for? All of them. What? If I can just. <laughs> yeah, and, I, mean, okay. I mean, it's not on our bill, so. Six war horses, then. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Um, you don't know how Malaborn feels about that, but it is very expensive. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you now have you now are in ownership of six war horses now. All right, um, and yeah. Argo just goes one at a time and gets all their names. Okay. Um, I will get back to you on that. Give me one second. You didn't uh, have that ready? I did did we give the old horses back? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we definitely we give. Yeah. Oh, okay. We one of them is named time. Christ. Oh, God. Don't tell I'm, I'm actually an oath of vengeance horse. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, while he's out doing that, though, uh, Otto's gonna get like BB to to the side. Mm -hmm. uh, just pull something else out of his pocket. Uh, when do you think it would be the funniest to show him this? Yeah. And then he pulls out an Argo-sized uh, platinum ring. Oh. Oh, given his recent trends, probably after an argument would be Duh. funniest. Recommended? Not really. Why don't we do him now? Uh, it is more funny this way. He's funny to watch himself out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and after the events of last night, I was not even sure. <laughs> He would feel part of the, the group think, at the moment. I think that's the exact reason you should give it to him. I don't know, but if I think I was in a dream and I attacked a friend and suddenly felt like I had to distance myself, I'd be really alone. You shouldn't have to feel that way. I think now's the perfect time to give it to him. I will wait until he is done with the horses. Okay. Greg is a very normal name for a horse, I have to say. <laughs> Did you say Greg? Like, Greg is a very normal okay, name for a horse. Naming one of these horses. <laughs> <laughs> he's the most chill of the bunch. These are a bunch of paladin horses. Um, <laughs> and he's just, he's just a fighter who <laughs> multiclass. He just multiclass, yeah. That's just Craig. He's very chill like that. Um, <laughs> let me type these in real quick. Um, <laughs> We're getting them, yes. Are the rest really fancy and then there's just Craig? I mean, not really fancy. <laughs> I gave them pretty eh, names. One second. Can we get... Uh, yes, yes, good. No, no, I was gonna close. It. <laughs> Sam, me. I was like, can we not get more horses? Can we get uh, six giant spiders mounts, please? <laughs> no. There's no response from the Cindy. He doesn't. Quid dies immediately. Yeah, take Quid dies hours. immediately. The gods are angry. All seven. The, the gods come back to Aru just for that. Yeah. Starts an apocalypse. No spiders. <laughs> No uh, spiders, we had enough. So these are the names of the horses. We have Craven, Marl, Vingy, Lawrence, and Craig. We love them. Yeah. Okay. Only wait, five names. Go. Yeah, where's the sixth one? Fuck. Uh. Craig and Duran. Uh, uh, just one though, not two Duran Durans. I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All six of them are named Duran. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. Yeah. Uh, Please, does is, anybody get what I just posted in the game chat? I have no idea what that is. Uh, did you, did you yeah. know something? Where Craig at? What I don't know what that is. What the fuck does that mean? Nobody knows? No. Oh my god. Okay, oh my uh, god. Matt, your grandpa. Oh god. <laughs> Maybe. Right. I'm deleting it. Roses. He deleted it! <laughs> um, he deleted no, it! I'm, I'm done. Oh god. I quit <laughs> the campaign, actually. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Tender my resignation. <laughs> All right. Um, does the group do anything before you guys uh, head out to Iristad? 
I think I mean, Argo's out there until they leave. All right. I don't know if Estella knows, but uh, or Arth knows if you. But uh, did you spend all of it? Oh. I don't. I don't. I don't know yet. Oh, I'm still I'm making the list. Out, and then she was like, "Okay, now name every horse." And I was like, "Okay, one." Second. <laughs> <laughs> I was constantly switching back and forth. I was typing it out, and then I was like, "Fuck!" That's a hundred percent what happened. <laughs> we got. Okay, we got I just list. sent the list. I just sent the list. <laughs> we got our priorities straight. <laughs> <laughs> Dance for us, day dance. <laughs> oh, okay. Give me Thanks, bro. All right. I don't. Oh my I god. I'm try I'm not super aware of uh, everybody's individual gold. This might be quite pricey, but uh, one second. Okay. We this. It's a pretty big list. Fifteen's yeah. a lot. I can. I can it's handle a lot. this. Thank okay. you. Appreciate it. Um, but that is for the healing potions. That is what I've calculated. Okay. I'll handle. Oh. I'll handle. Oh sh. Yeah, quit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, oh, it's <laughs> a lot. You and uh, I, yeah. That's not even market value at all. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that's it's still just it's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, that's why I was like, I don't know if you know, I don't know if your card will decline or not. I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna be real with you. Um, but yeah, okay. That, that is at discount, by the way. Well, quit. I know if I used it all. I <laughs> mean. <laughs> 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 Well, don't you get a, a bigger discount for ordering a bundle of them? Uh, oh, I, I, got a, I got a discount. She, she got a yeah, get a bigger discount. discount. <laughs> you discovered the cure to cancer. She's gonna get a discount. She, uh, God. she did. She did discover a potential cure to cancer. However, <laughs> that was that was part of the uh, calculation there. Yeah. No, there... guys, market value is seven fifty. I got a discount. Mm, trust. She definitely did. Yeah. Well, how much did it cost? Um, um, yeah, uh, well, I, yeah. I, I got all of these, and she opens the, her regular backpack, and there's 15 healing potions Oh my in god. Them. And, well, let's just say there's nothing for you to charge interest on now. Oh. <laughs> because you are giving it all back? No, because I spent it all. Well, that, that's not how it works! <laughs> <laughs> and he, he just turns around, and he's like, okay... 501. <laughs> 502. <laughs> he's, ne he's, never seen, he's never seen that money. Oh, that never. you spent 500 gold. No, that's not all I spent. That was just the she first too. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, no, I, I got more. 503. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we at least see all the potions? <laughs> Maybe. How did she carry all of them? I got two bags of holding. Yeah, <laughs> oh, right. It helps quite a bit, yeah. Especially... Uh, and life. just to be clear, the other uh, fanny pack of holding, um, that one doesn't hold as much weight. Okay, do you mind sending me that whenever you have a chance? Yeah, yeah I will. Is that the Hewitt's, like, spice pouch? Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking yeah. it's a bag of holding. <laughs> I'm dead, you've killed me. We're Am gonna I find in Aldosia that people just die from puns. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Very literal. You just see peasants on the ground, like dead. Yeah, yeah you don't hire you don't hire an assassin, you hire like a clown. <laughs> hire a bar to come. Oh god. Uh, um, so, yeah. I think mm. Craig is gonna be the unlucky horse that gets Argo. <laughs> Why Craig? <laughs> Craig's a bro. He can handle. Named it. Craig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I've grown attached to Craig. If he dies, I'll be devastated. Spoke him into existence, man. Plus, <laughs> his whole personality spawned in when you said the word Craig. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it can't be Duran because he's starving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah Hungry like the wolf. Shut up. Come on. Argo, um, <laughs> tell us the names. <laughs> what? Did Argo tell us the names? Uh, I think he probably would have, right? Well, I think he's still outside and he's just waiting for everybody to come out. He'll really. tell me, I guess, eventually. Yeah, he'll, when everybody gets out, he tells the names. Alright. Um, so, just real quick, does anybody 
have everything else before you guys head to Iristead. And probably, um, yeah, yeah, very last thing. Like probably go to like a corner shop and get like a sturdy chain, really cheap to hold a the ring. Sturdy in. chain. To hold no. the yeah. chain. You must wear the ring. <laughs> uh, wearing a ring while holding a bow is not exactly good for my aim. Sorry, Otto. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Also, uh, b b bye, El Eldrick, Edric, bye. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I guess I'll just stay, stay here. Um, <laughs> I mean, we only have six horses. Would you? Uh, oh, maybe you could do me a favor if you yeah, could yeah. scout the. Uh, he'll explain the directions to the Vigil House. I don't know if you could keep a surveillance on them. You want me to partake in espionage while you're away? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I mean, you drank the Quidus, you are my minion. <laughs> um, <laughs> you are my minion, bro. Command. <laughs> I'm the just command. No. <laughs> um, are you attempting, perhaps, to persuade this man right now? Or, sure, yes. Okay, I'm just asking, yeah. You don't have to. Does he, does right. he get advantage because of the Quidus? No. No, disadvantage no. Of anything. I'm being generous and giving a flat roll here. I would love one. Yeah. That's an 11. I I just, I don't really feel like that's my cup of tea. Uh, I, I don't think I'd be very good at that. I feel like they'd catch me, and it'd be a bad, raw deal. Well. Power. I would do the same, so, understandable. It's You're not getting paid. I mean, <laughs> if there's anything else I can do for you, let me know. But I, I just don't think that that would be wise for me to partake in. I, <laughs> I, I just smoke this from time to time, and I, I have a job every now and then. I don't really, I'm not really cut out for this work. What's your job? Uh, I wait tables every now and then. Oh, oh come on. Oh. Yeah. I I love I love Blair trying to justify the ring with, <laughs> with a Wikipedia with a Wikipedia article. Well, Let's I, you buy it. Yeah. I hope to see you at another gambling table one day. I'll maybe uh, patron your restaurant. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just find me uh, when you come back. Uh, I, I'm I work at the Hardy Plate. The Hardy Plate. The Hardy Plate. That's always yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I he mean, has a drink. Oh. You read that off his hand right then and there. Yeah, do you have any more yeah. snowpuff? What? Do you, do you have any more snowpuff on you? Um. Uh, she's she's <laughs> craving for it. I mean, I I do. I mean, and you have the pipe to smoke <laughs> it with. Uh, Can I have it? I, I'm just worried about how you said that. Are you are you getting crazy? <laughs> <laughs> rolling, no. rolling intimidation check. No, I, I, I don't want. I don't have any cravings. He's or rolling anything. an I... insight check. Are you having <laughs> cravings? <laughs> <laughs> he rolled a two. No. So, yeah. No, he doesn't. He doesn't know. <laughs> he has no idea. All right. Oh. Uh, yeah. I have a bit free of charge. Here you go. <laughs> and he hands you, yeah, just like a crushed up powder form that you can smoke, basically, <laughs> um, of snow puff. Perfect. In a, in a small bag. Yeah, a the, child. A child. She's just short. She's not a child. I'm not a child. <laughs> <laughs> it might look bad to onlookers though who don't know. Uh, yeah. For a yeah. To be might, fair, might look very. Interesting. Yeah. I'll never work waiting tables again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Hardy plates arrived without me. I don't know. It's not gonna be so hardy anymore. <laughs> um, okay. I love it. So. Is, uh, I assume that's everything now. The party is about to head out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And just to, just to confirm, Estella spent all of her money and my money for these? No, it was just your money. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you give us money? It's not going to end well. Oh my you, God. you gave her money to get supplies. She went, oh, yay. <laughs> You're not a bank. You can't charge it. It was in case you needed extra <laughs> <laughs> Tr never trusting again. Dude, I don't feel like he should. This is, this is a betrayal. Oh Do you want... Argo could give him his 500. That works. Oh, wait. He spent too much. He can give you 300. <laughs> oh, my God. It was, like, exactly 500. <laughs> it was. Why? 
505. <laughs> You're going to be counting that for 500 crazy. years. Crazy. <laughs> until Estella's dead. So rude. Good lord. What? I do, she doesn't understand. You gave her the money. What? <laughs> you think she's ever interacted with a bank before? No. <laughs> does Estella have money of her own? I think she totally has it, a lot. Well, 500. She does. <laughs> she does it? What? Really? She absolutely does, okay, yeah. Just but Quinn it. gave her money to use, so she used it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good lord. Um, okay. We have now approached, and I feel like this is a good time to take our yeah, just, um, our break here. Break. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, so let's say uh, 15 on the hour, essentially. All right. Um, for break. Um, and I, I would go and converse with Matt and secrets and plan your demise. Bye bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's sh the back. Oh, okay. Everyone quiet. Keep yeah, sorry. And, mm -hmm. and that's how Reese is going to get introduced. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I don't know if Tyrese Town is on the way, but we'll see. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's on the way. I think that's probably like in pretty far into Tadosia proper. We'll see if we get there. We love High Town. High Town? No. No. <laughs> Retconning that. No, right. Tyrese is dead, actually. Tyrese Town has a nice ring to it. Thai Town is, makes me upset. It's, it's, where all the, it's where all the hippies go. It's just oh. called the Sitai. No. The Sitai! No. Ryan! Stop! Ryan, you are, you are quickly becoming a master yourself. He was just... So likable that they gave him three towns. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> He's something. I don't know if likable is the word. Did he even know in a town? He's not not likable, but he's just, he's a lot, you know? <laughs> he's a funky little guy. He is a funky little guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, I assume everyone's here, right? Just double checking. No. Yeah, no, I'm not here. No. I don't think you here. Not everyone here is here, but I believe. <laughs> okay. One second here, let me some music a little bit. No, just getting the battle music ready. Yeah, I'm going right in, by the way. I'm going you're right in. You get jumped. Horses. Yeah, I was going to say. They're mimics. They're all mimics. The horses are mimics. I go with the... You see quids across the room. It gives you flashbacks. You must attack him. You, must. <laughs> you see quid look at you a little funny. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Just double checking. Nothing else anybody's doing. We're heading over to Iris Day, right? I want Craven. It feels fitting. Okay, that is pretty fitting. I do like that. All right. Uh, yeah. Who, which horse is everyone picking? This is crucial information. <laughs> I get Craven. I'll, I'll take Duran. Okay, Duran. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Duran. Yeah. I'm so glad you got onto that player. I knew you would for sure. I, think I, did, I don't know who all did, but I'm glad that you got that. I don't know why that was the name that came to me, but, yeah. Reminder that Estella is small enough to ride a dog, so... Yeah. And, and for sure okay. that will come up at some point in the campaign. It's only a matter six, of time where a Doberman or something walks up. It's just, it's only a matter of time. So, uh, so she got a pony. I don't know if a Doberman would work. I don't know the dog. Pony! That would work. Some random guy. Do you like dogs? <laughs> Do you, you like dogs? Like oh, I love that NPC. That's I'm writing that out. <laughs> <laughs> I have enough gold for so many dogs. You can probably ride this pooch here. Come on. <laughs> Welcome to Tao Dosia. Welcome to Tai Town. Would you like dogs? Yeah! <laughs> no. No. Okay. Uh, real quick, can I get a marching order? Or a riding order, rather? He was up front! He was up front! Okay. Argo will attempt to ride behind Vivi unless anybody wants to stop him. Okay. That's such a sad thing to say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Definitely middle. Okay. Yeah, I'll be middle too. Okay. Otto will valiantly, valiantly take up the rear. He always does. <laughs> Our typical marching order. <laughs> One of these days it's Bravely. Really when we just get ambushed from behind, for sure. Bravely leading from behind. Mm -hmm. Racer Robin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch that show again. Okay. <laughs> um, 
guards, I'm assuming there as well. Okie dokie. Awesome. Alright, the vanguard? Yes. Okie dokie. Right. So, um, the gang sets out um, on horseback. Um, and you leave from the stable, um, or rather from the inn, um, just trotting along the city lines. Um, out of the, all the districts, all the ringed layers. It takes you about an hour to leave the city proper um, and to make it past uh, the outer um, like, uh, winged wall of the city. Um, you're retracing your steps for the moment, heading back towards the chiseled path. Um, and uh, as far as the weather goes, it's just a light snow. There's nothing crazy going on. Um, a lot of wind at the moment. Um, as you're traveling, um, Otto, you're like picking up a bit of a fever, and uh, Argo, you're not feeling too good either. Your core is thumping rhythmically, as per usual, um, these days. Um, and you've been traveling for quite some time. Uh, who's at the rear, you said? Uh, was, me yeah, and Gar. Just, so, I'm gonna ask um, Otto, can you make me a perception check? Yeah. yeah. If I can find the button. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, 10 tool. Okay. I think even on a 10, it, it just takes you longer. You've been traveling for quite some time. Um, it's about midday. Oh wait, hang on. I'm at disadvantage because of... Oh, you oh. are. Uh, doesn't make a difference. I will tire. Still ten. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it takes you a while. Um, you're not sure how long it's been following you, but it is very strange. There is a crow that has been flying and like eyeing you. It feels eerie, um, and it has been following you for quite some time. Uh, and for okay. Some reason you are drawn to it. Uh, how far away would you say it is at the moment? <laughs> uh, say that one more time. How far away? Is it roughly? Um, it is like just following at a pace. Like it can, it can fly faster than you guys as the crow flies. Um, yeah. So, I would say it's keeping its distance. I would say it's always like about at least fifty feet away, like up in the trees, like flying, fluttering. Okay. Yeah. So, in that case, then, uh, for anyone close enough, you see Otto's anime eyes come out again. <laughs> Yeah. As he's using his divine sense uh, to know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet. Okay, just celestial fiend and undead. Yeah. Right. Oh, you ping, a, you ping a fiend off of Slick. <laughs> I do, actually, I believe that is true. Kill it! That's, that's that happens, that Kill him now! <laughs> the devil's work. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem to offer up any ping. But it does give you an uneasy feeling as you notice it flying and fluttering, watching you from behind. Okay, that is interesting. No. Do you do anything uh, with that information, or do you just continue trotting along? Uh, but who would be directly in front of me again? Was it Quid and uh, Quid Estella? Quid and Estella and Gar is, of course, to your side as well. Yeah. Uh, I might shout up to, to Quid then if he's within shouting much. Uh... Quid, uh, we seem to be being followed by some kind of bird sing. Uh, it does not seem to be yeah. uh, something of my expertise, perhaps. You are more accustomed to such things. Um, and also, just to elaborate, um, <coughs> I would say that this strikes you as weird um, just because you know that, you've noticed that it's been following you for like an hour, like two hours. And that seems pretty strange for a bird. Yeah. Uh, I will also pass that information on as well. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I've definitely known uh, <clears throat> animal companions can be used to spy. Use it on, we use Slick quite often. Um, do you think that could be what it is? I do not know. I just know that it has been following us for some time and it just seems off to me. 
Uh, I assume Estella hears this as well, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, she sends Amber after it. Really? You send the cat after it? So how, you're trying yeah. to send the cat into the trees. It's following you. Like, I don't know if that could work because it's like keeping up with you while you're walking. Unless, you, of course, you are like coming to a full stop. Do you get where I'm coming from? Hmm. I see what you mean. Yeah. I mean, that's an option. You could do that, but it does make you guys come mm. to a full stop. <laughs> also, the do we want to stop? Uh, I don't know. I just thought that you as arcane users might have had something to... Mm. I mean, I can't take any chances. So many people are looking for me, and I'm not disguised right now. Should I... And he, you know, draws the finger across his throat. Uh, I think it's too late for that, is it not? If you have been spotted, you have been spotted. But they don't know where we're going still. I mean, we're just leaving town. All we have to do is kill the messenger. But then they will know we are onto them. Is letting them follow us better? Well, what if that bird is under some form of control? It is not its fault. We should not kill it. So. It's a bird. It's a bird. Yeah. It's a bird. We eat birds. Yeah. Why should we not kill it? Are we all that... hearing this at this point? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. Everything everyone can involve quiet. themselves. Yeah. yeah. We don't have to kill it, we just have to shoot it down. Okay, I don't feel like that's much better than killing it, though. <laughs> we might as well kill it at that point. You can always nurse it back to health. I agree with Quid. If it's spying on us, then we should probably deal with it. It's been necessary. I mean, Are we're... you able to get a clear shot, maybe, Vivi? I should be able to. How far is it? <laughs> um, I, like I said, it's, only, it's like keeping the standard, like, almost like... Uh, it's just like mm -hmm. 50 feet away, basically. Standard melee range, got it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Just keeping pretty yeah. close. If you want me to, I'll take the shot. I think Argo just now stops his horse because he's been he has been able to lock in like he usually does. Yep. Oh, she looks everyone for confirmation before she does it. Oh, also, by the way, Argo, at this point, your vision has started to cloud back like it was before a little bit. Okay. At this point in time. I, hmm. We could, I don't know if it's possible, but we could lay a trap. I do have the apple that puts you to sleep. But would it eat if it was, as you say, a animal companion? I mean, it, it might. Not, I mean, if it follows us for, if it doesn't take the bait, and then, then we can go with plan, we can shoot it down. So, okay, Dane, this road, are there diverging paths to other villages, or if we're taking this for a couple hours, is um, it obvious that we're going to Iristad? There were at the start. At this point, this is more of like a main road. So, at the beginning of travel, like, especially, like, towards the beginning of, like, leaving the town, there were branching paths. Not really at the moment. Um, there are branches up ahead, of course. Um, okay. I assume, I figure why you're asking. So, yeah, there, there are branches, of course, up ahead. And you will actually, if you're planning on going to Iristead, be going down one of those branching paths. A, like, more of a side road as opposed to a main road. And that's coming when up do, pretty quick. When do those branches stop and it becomes obvious we're heading to Iristead? That's kind of what Good I'm question. getting at. I would say that would be in about, like, three hours' time at a standard pace. Okay. I think if we're going to lay any traps, we should try to make it happen now. So that's maybe the next hour or two. If it doesn't take the bait, it's pretty obvious where we're going. Sure, should we make a, a snack camp for maybe a couple minutes and I'll leave, leave leave the apple behind? Crows are smart. I don't think this is going to work, I'm very honest with you. <laughs> it's If it's watching you and it sees, oh look, I could eat apple at the ground, and we're in a forest where there's other food plainly available because it's a crow, I don't think it'll take it. Uh, it's worth a shot. <laughs> no. I'm telling you with my previous <laughs> animal experience, it's just... Probably not likely. That's okay. Maybe I've just been blinded by grief. Um, but <laughs> just take the shot. <laughs> blinded by grief. That is an yeah. Okay. 
You can take the shot. Who died? A part of my soul. Uh, <laughs> lost a part of himself this day. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll take the shot. I'll hit okay. it out. Go ahead and make that attack roll. I will. Hold on. Please, 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 please. Ooh, that's 19, 26. Whoa. Ooh. I'm just aiming for the wigs, so... Really? Uh, okay. You're not do you want me to roll this advantage? Because, yeah. Do you want me to roll this advantage? Because specifics... That was really an opac. Oh, it was, um... Oh, it's yeah. not very high DC. Sorry, sorry, I was thinking, yeah. I would say disadvantage if you're trying to simply just maim it. Yeah, I'm gonna roll another one then. Wasn't well, the rule on, that's the higher AC? Yeah, but... Um... It might have been. But... Technically... Like, I think you can do non-lethal damage. No. But that's what you're just trying to do. Not as a range. To Not ranged. By so. writ rules is written. Yeah, really? you're right. You're right. Yep. It doesn't feel right, and I think the rules also agree with that, yeah. I don't remember what we did back in Abek. We, um, we did a no, higher Abek, DC. I was trying to hit the ho like the leg of the horses, and you're like, oh, if you want to like just break their legs and not kill them, that's something specific. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm trying to um, transfer that here, but if you're saying no, then that's fine. No, no, I, no, I think you can no, definitely but... do it. It's just a matter of... Are we uh, yeah, I, I believe you. Ryan, I think in this situation, we'll just do disadvantage. Yeah, I think disadvantage uh, feels for best. For this. It's a very small target. It is, yeah. But to be fair, she did roll it. 26 or 25. It's a, it's a probably a moot point, but we'll see. <laughs> I will no, spoil that for 45, you. So. Yeah. Nah. Armor class 26. What a shame. It's a, fucking <laughs> long it's, a, it's a metal crow. <laughs> metal crow. Uh, oh, that's oh, guys, that's my crow. <laughs> that's your crow? <laughs> Wait, fuck. I actually put that up there. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, that's just an ornament. Come on. It's my drone. <laughs> my drone. It's my drone. <laughs> We're very <laughs> casual, like it's a normal thing. It's my old Taldosi drone. I don't. I don't see what the problem here. Um. Anyway, did, sorry. I don't know if I've missed it. Have you taken a second shot? Or... Yeah, I did. Okay. Twenty-five. 20, so you got a twenty-six and a twenty-five. Okay. Yep. Yeah. God damn. Okay. So you're aiming for the wings. It lands. It's a fantastic shot. It doesn't let out a noise, which is strange and it just falls to the ground and starts flopping i go and investigate hop okay. off that horse you got it i mean right now it just appears to be a crow it doesn't it's trying to flap away it's moving a little bit but it can't it can't take flight um that heavy ass. because the arrow's invisible it just oh, leaves a shit. hole can i see the hole. cartilage yeah okay so this is actually it's different i'd say that at this point it can actually make a decent bit of like flapping away it just can't fly normal because it's not weighed down by an arrow. Does that make sense? I don't. Uh, let me correct me if mm. I'm wrong. Mm. I don't know if you've ever had a bird before, but I feel like damage to its wings does a lot of. It's a lot. Like, I think it, it messes it up, but it also activates flight. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like it starts not, going. Not, it starts going. It wouldn't fall immediately, but it would start going down. I mean, someone who's had no, a bird before. It would before. for sure go down. I think you could probably yeah. actually. You know what? I think you could get to it by that time. Yeah. Like for sure. I don't think it's gonna instantly start flying yeah. away. That's not, that's not what I was arguing for. I'm I'll mage hand yeah. lock it down if irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, actually but super fair. Yeah. Now you've activated its fight or uh, fight or flight response, and you've just taken its ability to fly. Yeah. <laughs> Roll yeah, the shit. <laughs> Yay, birds. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna say that you can probably make it in time. Uh, before it even like starts to escape, I was just trying to think of like, oh, that's different than what I pictured. Essentially, I don't yeah. know. I was picturing like a solid arrow. That's all I was going for. Um. But it's a moot point because you make it there in time. I assume you're trying to hold down the bird or something because you're mm -hmm. be trying to escape. Yeah. Okay. Oh, birdie. I uh, know. What I was gonna ask is because it's invisible. Can I see? I don't know what an arcane familiar insides look like. Or maybe you wouldn't. But do I see like blood or cartilage the way any wound would puncture an animal? You see blood. You see blood. Is... Wait, it's invisible. What? Well, the arrow's invisible, so it just leaves a hole because it's oh, oh. on impact. Okay, so is yeah. the arrow like? Just sorry. Is is it weighing it down at all right now? No, because it dissipates on impact. Okay, that's what I was double checking. Okay. Yeah, just double checking. So it's not there, not invisible. No. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. exist anymore. Yeah. yeah. That bird never saw it coming. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I'm going to say, okay. yeah, you, you, you are you're currently holding down this bird, um, and it is appearing to be bleeding. 
Oh, um, uh, well, okay. Do your thing, guys. <laughs> this is birds, like, do your out. thing, guys. Yeah, that'll... Kill it, Argo. <laughs> Kill it, Argo. <laughs> I think at this point, by the way, it wasn't immediate, so I was kind of waiting for a bit of things. I think on your passive perception, Vivi, you would notice it's starting to bleed a second liquid. It's starting to bleed some black. Oh, deuce. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. No. Uh -oh. no. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. No, wait, hold on. Before we kill, we should what's up with it first. Is it? Hmm. What has to be wrong, this bird? Oh, God. If we have 10 minutes, Argo can interrogate it. <laughs> oh, my God. You <laughs> can certainly try. Kill it. It's bleeding right now, though, so, like. What are we doing? Uh, I can touch it up. <laughs> no, don't do that! No? Estella stands in front of you. <laughs> I mean, with the spear, you could just, like, poke it. But then it will turn into a giant nightmare bird like the wolf did! No, we need to kill this thing. I have um, a bag of caltrips. Uh, I'll just, like, remove the caltrips from the bag, put them somewhere else, and then use the little bag, just, like, put it over its, like, a bag over its head. Yeah, suffocate it, Quaid. Good idea. Not suffocating. <laughs> are we torturing this bird? Are we torturing this bird? What are we doing? Just blinding it. Okay, so what is happening right now with the bird? I, I will say, like, it is currently dying. Um, it's, it is bleeding out, it would appear. Uh, do you want to kill it just a little bit? We can kill it after, Estella. So I think we should take the chance to see what's going on. Is anybody healing it? I'll attempt no, to I'll stabilize it. it. I mean, I'll go. I'll go to stabilize it. Okay. Um, I believe that's a. You don't have any like, kit of proficiency, I'm assuming, right? No, it's a two on the medicine check. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is important. Okay. What are you doing to try to stabilize it? That is a good question. I was gonna get. Um, the two is fun. I'll take a little bit of slick and just try to uh, patch it up like tar. <laughs> patch up the wound like tar. Oh, no. no wonder that's a two. <laughs> are you? An insane flavor. Okay. I mean, it's a two. It is two. I love it, though. I do. Okay. Um, I mean, you're mixing in slick, trying to like somehow make that seal the wound, I, I suppose you were thinking. Um, mm -hmm. And some of the black ichor like mixes in with slick for a second. Um, and as you pull away, maybe in surprise at that, you notice that the bird has passed. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. fuck. I was going to do something. Oh. No! Yeah. Yes. I, I think on a two medicine check, and it was bleeding. Argo, Argo, who has not let go, Argo has not, who has not let go of the reins, like, <laughs> that is the most uncomfortable I've ever been doing something with you guys. And then just, <laughs> like, you <laughs> get it to start moving forward again. Yeah. There's no lip wait. on the ground. Uh. I oh. thought this is such a stretch, but would it be possible to do, like, to try and kill it before it dies? Because I want to try and do what? something. Um, what does that <laughs> This is, what like, I know this is that... retconning, but I really want to try something. Um, I, like, you didn't really specify, were you, were you trying to do this before Quid, like, cast? Did no, if I see it dying, if okay. I see it dying, I'm going to try and deliver the finishing blow and do something. Okay. Jesus Christ! She's just won the XP. That's a... I, yeah. I, she's she's not... the XP <laughs> so I'm gonna say. Are we to steal um, things from Quinn? I'm gonna say I'll allow it. Uh, just like, okay. But basically, it, it's been dying this whole time. She's but, gonna yeah. quickly grab her bow and cast Hexblade's Curse and slam it into the crow. And we specify whenever she casts Hexblade's Curse, either she gets a memory or she gets its final uh, visions. And so she's hoping to roll the dice and get a memory. <laughs> if you get the final vision, it's too much. Okay. Um, this is very interesting. So, okay, run the mechanics by me and, like, what, real quick, just real quick. More. <laughs> maybe we're just stating what you do. I'm trying to get figure this out. Quick. Okay. Hexblade's yeah. Curse. When she casts Hexblade's Curse and it dies, we specify that once it passes, she either sees its final, like, visions when it dies or, like, a memory. And she's trying to see if, like, okay, if I can get a memory out of this thing, we can see where it came from at all. But okay. the memory's arbitrary, so I'm just, just really hoping. Memory is arbitrary. I, I will roll through <laughs> it, though. Okay. Uh, uh, it remembers being a young crow being raised. <laughs> and... It remembers <laughs> its wife. With its wife, its <laughs> grandchildren. <laughs> Coming home from his crow 9 to 5 with a suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was his last day before retirement. <laughs> it was his last week before retirement. <laughs> um, all right. 
As we all wait for Dane to roll his yeah, I'm, sorry, I'm in- sorry, <laughs> I, I, I've been reading uh, messages a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't just been like, oh, I haven't. Been <laughs> no, nobody has my. No one really cast mind blank on me. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> no, he's trying to come up for names for all of his family. It's, yeah, yeah. I'm well, writing the backstory right did, now. How did you think this interaction was gonna go? <laughs> yeah, not this way, but I'm. I'm. I don't know. It's cool. Uh, one second. Okay, I'm rolling a d6 real quick. Okay. There's six memories in this grow. There that's are. That's how many kids. I, I, that's many part kids of what the animation was. Um. Ooh, okay. Um, so, it, you don't get to pick and choose the memory. No, it's arbitrary. Um, and I rolled a d6 for it. You see this crow um, flying. Like, I, I, I think we flavored You see it through its eyes. Mm. Okay. You are a crow, Vivi, for a second. You are a crow. You are a crow <laughs> for flying um, to and fro. Um, a small village. Rhyme it. All, all rhymes, please. <laughs> you're, not, you're, not sure where, you're not sure where exactly. Just a small village. It's really just nondescript. You can't really tell. The crow doesn't seem to be very interested in it. Um, it's just more in your peripheral. Um, it's nighttime. And all of a sudden, you hear a screech from your left. And a giant... Not giant. To you, it seems giant. A giant bird tears into your side. And you feel something enter you. And that is all you get, basically. Oh, that's scary. I'm assuming, did Vivi's eyes turn into, like, the crow's eyes? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When she did that. Um, so you, were, you were pulled back to reality at that point. It's a little bit of a violent scene, because she's trying to kill it before it dies. Yeah. So it's very hasty. She, you see the black wisp sort of enter into the blade, color it black, and stab into the crow's blood kind of, like, splatters everywhere. Uh... <laughs> I swear I'm not a maniac. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <sighs> no, I get it. I mean, you're just mercy killing it. I did a bad job. No, but it's, not it's that. pretty violent. Um, yeah, I Some... didn't. I didn't want you to kill it like that. Something. This is the weirdest interaction we've ever had. <laughs> Let me explain myself, please. Um, so I saw a bit of its past. And... Maybe this is what happened to the wolf, but something a- attacked the crow and entered it. Sorry. An arrow? Real quick. You saw into <laughs> its no, like, That's why I don't like using this. It, I see personal details I probably shouldn't. And then you say enter. Like an attack from a- would you say it's like a, another bird? Is what you said, Dane? Uh, you didn't get a good look at it before the like vision cut off. You just knew it was yeah. a much larger bird, um, white plumage. It felt like a much larger bird that attacked it, and something crawled into its insides. Oh, I did a back job with this. Um, she kind of decimated this bird, but can oh, yeah, she it's, look? It's massacred for sure. <laughs> And it's probably, it was probably, it was one stab, guys. Uh, <laughs> you said exploded it. <laughs> you said it, exploded. it was a large stab. She was trying to get it in and die. Yeah, it's viscera now. It's nothing. It's puddles. Yeah. No, it, it's, it's still there. It's just not in a good shape. So there's probably no shot of seeing like another wound that would have indicated this. Is what I'm getting at. Oh no! Like yeah. I mean, not okay. that you can see. Um, at this point, I would also say. All of the black ichor that it seemed to be housing has spilled out and is now on the floor. Like, up, Ooh, up yeah, the taking a bit of that in a syringe, one hundred percent. Well, that's safe to carry around. Uh, if we have ten well, minutes or so, it. I can channel some divine energy and detect if it is poisonous or diseased. That could work. I mean, we can take time to study it. I. Could, uh, see if there's any um, magic tones on it too. I could see if there's anything else in the area. I could have talked to the bird. 
Not probably in time, I would say, Argo. That's 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Not unless somebody like did a real good job yeah. stabilizing it. You know, did yeah, a, if, only, a if only we had healing magic that we could have <laughs> yeah. used. Nobody did anything. No, I know. <laughs> we, I'm just sitting talking just to shit talk, talk, man. <laughs> it's okay. you're, you're not a vet. It's fine. You're you're a wizard. There was clearly a very big obstacle in between Autumn and the bird. Of yeah, course. A nice sized one. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. yeah, so if we've got the time, Otto's gonna like take out some candles, set them around, bring out his sensor and his incense. He's just gonna start chanting away. Okay. So I was you, messaging, what are you doing? What ritual is being cast? Uh, ritual casting detect poison and disease. Okay. Okay. Um, alright. Is What else was happening? Did people also harp... I was messaging a bit. Did somebody also harvest the goop? That's not what I did. Yeah. That's not what you did. Okay, so you put it in the vial. Um, do you just use your hand to pick it up? No, syringe. Syringe, right. Okay. Yep, no reason. No reason I asked that. Um, oh, yeah. no oh, we're so, never touching this stuff. So it's I'll also uh, <laughs> detect magic. Okay. Good. Interesting. Um, uh, you're not doing an arcana check, you're just full detect magic? Well, I'll do both, I mean, if, depending on the, the situation. I mean, detect like, magic is just better arcana check in a lot of ways. Um, but yeah, okay. Okay. Um, Alright, so real quick, going to the... Um, you did detect poisons and diseases, correct? Um, I will read the exact wordings for you if you'd like. Yeah, go for it. I mean, uh, yeah. Sense the presence and location of poisons, poisonous creatures, and diseases within 30 feet of you. You can also identify the kind of poison, poisonous creature, or disease in each case. I think the only thing you might ping and pick up is any poisons that Estella might be carrying on her person. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, the bird. Um, you can go ahead and roll that Arcana check um, if you want, Quid. And also, I'll okay. uh, get back to you on Detect Magic as well. Uh, so, we have a fiend with one of us, and poisonous. Uh, uh, it's a 21 for the Arcana. Okay. Um, on 21 Arcana, you don't detect anything coming from this bird. Okay. And I, I will, I mean, given the time the ritual cast, I will also, to, uh, you know, be doing Detect Magic, and then... Yep. Not only just picking off the bird, but I want to see what Estella, what magical items Estella has on her person. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, why do you want to see that? Interesting, interesting. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead and uh, announce that, Estella, but real quick. Um, aside from the magical items pinging off people's persons, there doesn't appear to be any school or any type of magic attached to this bird. Gotcha. Detect. Is there any attached to Argo? Yeah, I was oh, gonna yeah. say, does he, does he like all the magic items in the area? I believe it does. Good. And if we've mm -hmm. already established the magics and schools that we're pinging off, you can, mm -hmm. can reestate them. Oh, I was talking about the curse, if there was oh, anything from no, the... nothing is being, yeah, that's another thing, by the way. There, there would be no ping from the curse itself on either auto or, uh, auto. Is there a ping from Vivi's bow? I don't believe so, no. Okay. No, no. I had to think about it, but no. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was I'm sorry. Yeah, I was just letting you know. I'm certain. I just it took me a second. I was like, I don't think so. Why is she asking I, you? I'm asking you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I'm assuming Quid wouldn't be able to ping every single magical item in the bag of holding. I don't think so. I don't think that. No, no it would just be the bag of holding. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, no, I you, guess. You just. You just see the ring of the champion. That's pretty much it. That's it. Um, getting bullied. Getting bullied. <laughs> they stole my gold and called me nerds. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you look to all of the type magic, obviously you'd see on his hip, his long sword is magical, and the spear mm -hmm. is also magical. But that is. All y'all got magic items, and they came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so what does the group do? You get, you're huddled over viscera of a bird. Um, you've <laughs> gathered goop and come back with the absence of answers, which are still answers. Here we go. Has been wanting to move on for a while now. He, he yeah. never got off the horse. I, yeah, this was you fully stopped for uh, at least ten minutes for this ritual. <laughs> uh -huh. He does not understand what's going on. No one explains it to me. Just shot a bird. 
It just shot a bird. I don't know what it did. It was kind of cruel. <laughs> yeah, it was just vibing. It's just vibing. It's just chilling. <laughs> it's just a scrunkly little guy. Scrunkly um, little. Scrimble. So yeah, what does the gang do? Um, do you guys head out again, or do you talk amongst yourself? What's going on here? Baby's gonna bury the crow because she feels immensely terrible. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, well, that makes sense. It's a bird. Just, like, go into its memories. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, uh, it does not take you long to dig a, a sh I, I assume, a pretty shallow grave for this bird. Doesn't you missed the spot there, Vivi. <laughs> There's some over there. There's some over there too. Oh. <laughs> you know what, Quinn? Why did you have to bury this bird? <laughs> Quick, 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 quick. I, love, I love the idea that nobody's helping. She's uh, gonna have to, like fist uh, it too because she only has one arm. She just fists the bird. Exactly! <laughs> I'm helping. You spot, spot the wishbone in the viscera. Uh, Surely it I'm, help, I'm helping out. I'll um, dig a little. Okay. Um, yeah, it does not take very long. You uh, dig a small grave um, and maybe leave it unmarked. I don't know. It's up to you guys. <laughs> The bird is in there. It is buried. Um, it, it will, it will rest in pieces. <laughs> I don't like that. I mean, it did. It's what it's, what's happening. <laughs> Not my fault. I didn't put it in pieces, you guys. <laughs> you didn't stab the bird. <laughs> so true. No, it doesn't leave any markings or anything. He just buries it so it's like nice and compact. And then leaves it as is. As they're burying it, Saul would ask, what is the point of doing this? What? This? Like, she's, like, gestures to the burying of the crow. Mm-hmm. I... Otto is kind of right. They didn't choose to be infested. Choose to get shot and stabbed for someone else's goals. Well, no, that's fine and dandy, but why are you burying it? I mean, there's the religious reasons, but also the practical reasons. Uh, the echo of the ghoul, that could be contagious in some way that I cannot detect. Well, should you, you not be putting that into the ground of the land, then? It would be in the ground either way. This way, no animals will get to it easier. Um, can I also ask real quick? So you put it in a vial, right, Estella? Like, not a bottle of vial? Yes, okay. a vial. Just asking. So about how much space is left in the vial? And like... Quite a bit. <laughs> oh, it's fucking how venom. How much went into the syringe? She just huh? poured yeah, that in the vial. I understand. Like, I I'm just saying, how much did you take? Did you take all of it? And did you put it in a vial? Um, and if, uh, you <laughs> did put it in a vial. I don't, know, I, I don't know why I'm asking. I'm just trying to get a sense of like what this looks like. How much okay. like uh, vacant space in the bottle is there? In the bottle, it probably filled up maybe like between a quarter and a half the bottle. Really? Okay, a lot of vacant space. Um, <laughs> did you already like toss that. it in your pack? No, she would have been looking at it as they were doing this. Okay. It appears like the ichor inside appears to be moving, trying to go to a certain direction, almost like a compass. <laughs> does it try to go to the crow the more? It does not. It's going away from the crow. It's trying to. Oh, uh, what direction is it, is it going in, Dan? Yeah, good question. So, uh, it's going, it's, uh, like, a vaguely, like, south at the moment. Vaguely south. The cell's gonna start walking towards their sea. If it's not <laughs> pointing to, like, any of our comrades. It's not. It's not pointing to any comrades okay, that okay. you can see. Uh, okay, the direction where even Hem is, is that east or west? That's east, right? I I'm not crazy. That's south. That's it's south. Cool. No, like, south. I mean southeast or southwest is what I'm trying to say. Um, <laughs> southwest. You're at, you haven't. You're like, if you're looking at the map, just for reference, like you haven't quite made it to the bend on like the rural road to go to Iristed yet. It's still pretty early in the day. Um, uh, does that make sense? So you're like pretty yes. solid in the middle, essentially. So you don't know where exactly south is going, but it's going like pretty due south. That could lead us to several destinations, but... Okay. I think it's going yeah. to Dalton. Estelle would point this out. She's like, um... You know, the Icar seems to be wanting to go that way. And she's holding up the vial, and it's just pushing against the glass, I guess. <laughs> well, uh, maybe we deal with that later. Uh, we have a pressing concern with... What's this? Hmm. I would also say real quick, Estella, this has been happening, like, 
for a minute like keep in mind you did this like while they were casting rituals and stuff this was pretty early on into that now that you guys have like i assume you're about to like set out again probably yeah around like after the rituals and everything after the bird had passed for a little bit it had been trying for quite some time like it's not like it's super alive it's just vaguely like pushing against the glass in an unsettling mm -hmm. like slow gesture um but it stops eventually it seems to settle into like a solid okay it doesn't dissipate or anything though no no it doesn't appear to dissipate it's just Perfect. stopped moving just so all you right. know that it's not like constantly at all moments like pushing against the glass like vigorously it's like it was yeah like, slow <laughs> subtle still being able to you could still discern it and it stopped going after a while almost like it gave up okay Oh. Ooh, How's everyone feeling about that? No, then. Yeah, please. Okay. So, I mean, can I? Yeah. Can I take a look at that as well? I mean, there's nothing, <laughs> no kind of history arcana check that I could do any, learn anything from it. You've already rolled an arcana check on this. Yeah. Thing. So there's no arcana check. No, nothing I can uh, tell from. Very high and did not get any info. You made sure. No you magical. Try again if you wish. Um. Actually, probably not. You already rolled, but, um, yeah. Don't worry, Quaid. I'll be experimenting with it later if you want to watch. <laughs> that sounds oh, that, that is Why so cruel to me? That sounds so scary. Huh? I wonder what happens if you put some grid juice in with the... Uh... Oh, we All should try right. that. Keep going. That's just, a <laughs> That's just a good smoothie. Well, once we get to the quid juice, I know we're done. <laughs> Wonderful. Let us make haste. The juices are very interesting. But yes, uh, let's go. Yeah. Uh, oh, starts climbing back on the horse. Okay. So you guys set out once more. Um, uh, it doesn't appear like... Uh, I, I imagine probably you guys would be eyeing the skies just a smidge more. Um, does not appear to see, um, at least without any checks, any birds following you guys. Um, and... Uh, Traveling for quite some time. Uh, <laughs> so give me a sec. Sorry, the DM is loading. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the owl bear is loading. No, the DM is loading, and I'm pulling up my notes here real quick. Don't worry about it. Um, so the terrain has started to slowly change. Um, uh, after like about an hour, um, well, actually, I said it would be yeah, about like two hours. You come to a bend in the road um, that merges off to the left. Um, direction cardinal direction wise i think it would be east yeah it'd be east um and if you're heading off you know based on your map toward iristed this is what really this bin goes um traveling and there the woodland seems to get a little thinner uh seems the landscape seems to get a little more crag like uh, with juts of stone poking out here and there um real quick can i get a perception check from argo Alrighty. Yeah. Really good at that. Uh, that is a 20. Damn. Is that so? Um, yeah. Argo? You, um, you're in the middle? Just I'm about? second right. in line behind Second you. in line, right. That's right. So, I get, don't, don't want to be that guy, but isn't he exhausted? <laughs> Oh, oh okay. right. You have to roll advantage. a disadvantage. Thank you. Let me do that again. Two levels. He has two levels, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate so that. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a six. Prime for that is a six. <laughs> six. Very you good. son of a bitch. <laughs> On a six? Still a six. Um, for a second, the shadow of the horse and Vivi in front of you seems to flicker uh, on its own. Just for a second. Basically. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Um, and as you're going by, other small things seem to like poke out at you, essentially, just out of sight in the peripheral. Um, at one point, um, you could have sworn you saw an eye growing on a tree, similar to what maybe. Um, actually, I think that was Otto, not you. Um, you see an eye growing on a tree. For a second, just strange irregularities, things that you know you might chalk chalk up to something. Just you know your mind playing tricks on you, but you see those things in the corners of your eye as you travel. Okay. Um, 
and um, at this point I would say you've been traveling for um, most of the day the night has fallen um, and you start to come towards like a winding stone like ridgeway essentially um, similar to like the chiseled path but way smaller um, just kind of crags and hills on either side and the path seems to wind this way and that, and you know that it's just a bend on the way to Iris Den. You've actually made pretty de decent time today, but it is growing late, um, so it's almost time to probably retire for the night, based on your previous um, travels. And can I get a perception check from Vivi at this time? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> this is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. Twelve? Okay. Yep. Um, so yeah, um, you don't see anything out of the ordinary, Vivi. Um, you just keep on trotting along. Um, if it's becoming night and we have to rest soon, she'll probably try to find like an ideal place for shelter then. Yeah, okay. Um, you're making your way, just trying to find a, a good shelter. There doesn't seem to be... You would assume that like there might be like somewhere in this... like. Like it wouldn't be like a per like a perfect valley, but there must be like a crag off to the side that would offer good shelter to the wind. Mm. Um, so you head in, um, rest of the party in tow. And give me one second here. Can I get deck saves um, from all five oh, of you? Fuck. Oh, what is the fuck, Zane? Is, yeah. is it an effect I can see? I will tell you what it is. I just wanted to let you know that deck saves are incoming. Basically, all yeah. of a sudden. Oh, nice. um, you hear cracks from up above, and large boulders seem to roll down towards the party from either okay. side of you. I do get advantage on this because it's an effect I can see. It is an effect you I can got see. I got an at one. You also have roll a disadvantage, <laughs> don't you? Oh, so no. it's just... Okay. So just uh, to be a roll... roll just a checks. Lawyer. It's just checks. So I still uh, get advantage. Yeah, it's the third, um, third exhaustion. That it's, right, right. Uh, yeah, so, next so tomorrow. <laughs> so tomorrow. So tomorrow. Okay. okay, here we go. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, uh, that is a 21. Ooh. Do the horses also need to... <laughs> the horses? <laughs> no! Oh, no! That is a great point, and yes, I was getting ready to roll that. Okay, also I rolled a 3, just if we keep it. Uh... <laughs> oh. okay. Thank you, Blair. You, you didn't get worse off. than me, if that makes okay. you feel better, Blair. Gonna, uh, that does, actually, yeah. I'm gonna, <laughs> ask, I'm gonna ask something, if I can, in a bit, after the horses. Vivi, what did you roll? Oh, uh, ten. Okay. Um, oh, I need to roll for Amber. Auto, shit. You rolled very low, right? Uh, uh, three. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm just gonna tell you failed that. Um, what? Yeah, I what? Know, I know, <laughs> it was not, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> Madness. Um, Estella, what did you roll? Uh, not one. No, okay, you definitely failed. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, Amber got a 15. You rolled for Gar as well, Matt. Um, Amber rolled a 15? Yeah. Okay. Okay. If she passes, she takes no damage, by the way. That's one of her things. Yeah. Okay. okay. Gar passed. Gar passed? Yeah. <laughs> Matt knows in the DC. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Uh, um, um yes, can everybody fix in the owl bear fix what your positioning oh, was i, I think i got it thing. but no i'm yeah. here i gotta re-get the link to the owl bear because I, I just put it in the game chat oh all righty <laughs> <laughs> so true blair <laughs> uh, let's see probably more oh i know argo was like right <laughs> yeah who's like right behind me. Oh. I'm gonna be like they're like in talking position. Uh, like, what did you roll? Uh sorry for what? Um I just have to wait. I just went to the bathroom. What? Uh, oh, all good. Can you roll me a deck save please? Uh 16, 16. 16? Okay, awesome. Uh Argo, what did you roll? Sorry, last one. 21. 21. Okay, very nice. Um uh, so the only people who failed is Otto, Vivi, Estella. Rolling real quick, frantically. One second. Oh. 
We oh, failed? These are bad. These are bad. What about what oh, about no. Slick? Yes, please roll for Slick as well. Oh, a Fubber War. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, do we need to roll okay. for a Slick? I'm gonna. Wait, are you Look at Warner on their shoulder? No, I'm rolling for the horses and you would not believe. Oh, oh any now ones and 20s for the table? There were three twos. I'll throw that <laughs> out there. Yeah. Only one success from the horses. Who succeeded? Which horse? <laughs> yeah, which horse? I have to decide. Oh no, I love them all. But I Craven. Really, but I really, <laughs> no, Craig. I really like Craig and Duran, but I think Craig might have my heart on this one. I think Craig made it. Uh, all right. He jumps out of the way in time as these boulders come down. Uh, give me one second to roll some damage. Yeah, you guys can also fix in here who was on what horses. I don't remember. Car was just walking. Okay. <laughs> well, I just didn't know, so I didn't put her on one. Your <laughs> guard doesn't get a horse. Through, was it five war horses or six? We had six. Yeah, so oh, she got a horse. Six, yeah. No, no, we've got another horse. We're just using it as a pack mule. Gar still walking. <laughs> <laughs> <She's> like walking. <laughs> oh my god. This like, is very. I think they have a decent amount of health, at least. They do. God, they needed it. Uh, so... The last time rocks fell from up high, oh, no! they did not save them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they were. I think it was just one warhorse, and it was a lot different. Uh, more rocks in a cave. Um, and spike. It was like a spiked rock <laughs> coming down. Lot. It was a lot. We really fucked up that horse. Um, the horses don't die. But they look fucked up. Um, all except for Craig, who uh, gracefully leaps out of the way. Thank you, Craig. Um, and I would like... Uh, you would take 14 damage. Um, Otto, Vivi, and Estella, I believe. Oh. All right. Here's a quizzle for you. Okay, here's a quizzle. I'm ready. Is this non-magical piercing, slashing, or bludgeoning? It bludgeoning. Is. Blood so you subtract three from that? I uh, would reduce that by three then, yes. Excellent. Awesome. I, I'm assuming there's going to be initiative to be rolled. Yeah, this is the Yes, go actually. ahead and do that. Uh, how yeah. much damage did you say, sorry? Uh, 14, um, and you said minus three, I believe. Right? Minus three, so... Can I ask a question? Does initiative count as a skill check, so do I have disadvantage on that? Oh. Yes, yes, it, does. yes it does. Gotcha, okay. Excellent. Um, Excellent. Argo, what is your health at right now? Uh, 23. <laughs> And everybody else was at full health, right? Oh, yes. yes. That is not great. That's an eight. What What happened with Slick? Ooh, what did happen with Slick? Oh, does Slick need to roll? Yes. Uh, why? <laughs> okay. does, does that mean Warren has to roll? Yeah, why, why does that mean? question? Where is no, Warren's roll? Warren, Warren's not an actual familiar. Yeah, he's not. But, Warren isn't in combat constantly, like, using the help. I action. think. Yeah. If so. if he gets to three levels of exhaustion, he won't have the energy to protect Warren. I mean, Slick anymore. usually hides in uh, Quid's body as well, but I'll roll. Okay. Uh, oh, Fubber oh, Amber please. has Amber rolled. Amber has yeah. rolled and she passed. Oh, All right. Eighteen. Let's go. Man, two combats in a row. I wasn't expecting that. That's an eighteen. An eighteen. Eighteen for okay. So Slick's good. Yep. Uh, uh, and what? HP to Slick have? I always forget. Two. Two, two and AC is 12? Yeah. Cool, okay. And what about Amber? What's Amber's HP? Amber is currently at two. Two. Her total is nine, though. Oh, right, okay. I was like, yeah. that's a lot lower than I thought. No, uh, her total is nine. And what's her AC? 13. 13, okay. Alright, so I've got Argo, 23 health, Otto, 25 health, Estella, 21 health, Quid, 26 health, Vivi, 21 health. Mm -hmm. Did Gar roll? Gar, uh, Gar did ass. roll, and okay. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. It's time for another stressful one. <laughs> nah, surely not. We wouldn't do that to you. Surely, surely this, will be, this is just going to be a little uh, some goblins, yeah? Now, what will happen is to wait for you to go somewhere and then put all the enemies on the other side. Yeah, yeah, that's what's <laughs> well, To be fair, I rolled a lot lower on initiative this time, so Argo can follow the enemies. <laughs> yeah. Um, can people start reading off their initiatives? Seven oh. for Slick, uh, for Quinn. Seven. And, yeah, okay. Seven, 18. who was that? Me. I mean, you can we can edit in Owlbear as well. Yeah, there you go. 
yeah, oh, yeah, you can we? Do that. So, that is so good. Tracker. Oh. Actually, so 180. Actually, 180. <laughs> Can oh, you guys man, our... see anything else on that initiative tracker, or just you? No, uh, just us. No. Nice. Okay, cool. Amber doesn't need an initiative, by the way. She just goes on mine. On yours, and same first like, right? Yeah. I mean, you can, we can delete it to clean it up. It's pretty long. Yeah, true. And the fact that he got an, that Argo got an 8 and goes second scares me so much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm going last with my high roll. Oh, did you roll disadvantage? Uh, oh shit, you're right. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, you're fine. Please, it would have been so funny if you got that one. It would have been. Uh, I would have just burned my inspiration. Just to... <laughs> All right. Who has inspiration right now? Uh, I think me and VV. Yeah. I think auto too, no? Yeah. I think most people but Argo. <laughs> no, I don't have one either. <laughs> okay. Um <clears throat> So after these rocks, uh this little rock trap, these big boulders start falling down the uh mountain and slam into you guys, the ones that hit, and then of course the ones that dodge it, uh just are able to step out of the way. Um and then you guys see, as it's getting pretty dark here, you see these shadowy movements start to crawl down the face of the mountains. Um, and all of a sudden, they are upon you. Would Vivi and I have a clearer okay. look of them? Because they have not dark vision. Uh, oh, that's, that's a lot of arms. I mean, we have... <laughs> Put torches on, depending on how dark it got. What is that? I was you... gonna say, all of us literally got the light cantrip. He would be using it as soon as he needs it to see. Yeah, like Argo how does too, actually. Later we. Oh, I do have the light cantrip. Yeah. Ew, yeah, I was ready for to use that in the sequence, but you didn't. It's all good. Um, I will say it's not so dark that it's really affecting your vision no. right now, okay. but uh, it is it is getting close. And, and the light cantrips, all that would still like help you out a little bit. But uh, what you see is fairly similar to that token. You see these gray monstery beasts that move down almost like spiders down the uh, oh, mountain face. Um, you see them clutching daggers and with many eyes and mandibles that look like a mouth that looks human-like but protruding protruding from them uh are like these sharp mandibles almost like a bug um and like i said they all charge you and go ahead and make it noted that they rolled a nat 20 on initiative oh man. God damn it. The, the noted well, it, it wouldn't um, have taken much to beat most of us <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just for the nat 20 count you know and it, noted um uh, so, Vivi, you've got one coming at you, Argo, you've got one coming at you, Quid, you, and probably Gar here. Uh -oh. Um, no. She was the closest based on the traveling, whatever. So, um, let's go Vivi first. Um, alright, so it comes up to you. And uh, it takes two swipes with its dagger. Uh, both of them miss. And then um, as you're like, because you're still on top of the horse, you're like doing your best to like dodge it as you sit on top of it. Um, and then at the last second, it bites at you for a 22 to hit. Or sorry, a 20 to hit. Hits. Okay. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Mm, hate that, hate that, hate that. Oh, 20. Oh. Nice. Dirty 20. That feels, sorry. You are <laughs> <laughs> four, You take four piercing damage. Okay. Uh, as that one bites at you. Um, Argo, you're not ra raging yet, right? Nope, have not been able to rage. 
Okay, so it's going to take two swipes at you with the dagger. One hits, one misses. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and do the bite. I'm going to just try to speed this up a little bit uh, since we're... I don't want to go too far over or anything. Yeah. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, the last one is 14. Uh, miss. Okay. Uh, so it misses you with the bite, hits you with one dagger that's uh, five damage slashing. Alrighty. Or piercing, whatever a dagger is. I don't remember. I don't think it matters right now. Um, quid. Same thing's going to happen to you. Two dagger strikes. That's uh, 12 to hit. Uh, I'll shield that. I'll flip my uh, poker card that I made last night. Um, let's say King of Spades, whatever. Um, and it kind of just like breaks apart and like makes a little uh, force field in front that blocks the dagger. How long does that last for? Is it just around? Like, on attack? Around. around. Perfect. All right. So it blocks both of those. Um, and then it's going to attempt to bite you and <laughs> roll to 12 again. All right. So, um, you know, it, it comes up and right as it looks like it's going to hit you, you throw that magical shield up and just block everything that it throws at you. Mm, quid screams um, anyways, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, she hasn't had a chance to yet. So, all right. So this one's going to go for Gar, which uh, is a 10 and a 11. Um, so I think both of those would miss her. And the bite. Uh, that's an 18. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Not so fun when it's your okay. PC, okay. is it? <laughs> yeah. she, rolled, she rolled a constant <laughs> throw, and I'll, I should get better about trying to <laughs> whatever but um and she passed so uh what was i gonna say sorry i just my mind went totally blank uh all of the attacks missed her except for the bite so she takes uh eight damage which I don't even remember what we said her health was. I think it was 10, no? Yeah, I think that's what... Yep, that's exactly what we said. I gotta add her in to here. Uh, and that's all their turn. So let's go ahead and just move on. Estella, you're first. Okay. Well, I'd assume she'd have... Would she have time to look around and kind of notice Gar's in danger specifically? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so... She's going to... Hmm. Okay. She's going to go... Jump off the horse and go... Sorry. Over here and kind of go around. And... <laughs> we Whoa! Don't have to... oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's cool. Live? Oh, no, what just happened? You, you just rolled, rolled a dice <laughs> across the whole screen. Yeah, that's a big one. Important dice. Uh, I don't know. I think it, it's active. The dice are active right now. They're <laughs> oh. Possessed. Uh huh. Anyway, well, it's like um, they just showed like four of my rolls or something. Funky. <laughs> uh, um, oops, no, she doesn't move the horse. That's not what she does. So she goes up to Gar, and I'm assuming she can reach Gar from here, right? Yeah. From, like, below. Okay. So she's going to cure wounds Gar. Real quick. All right. While you're doing that, um, just to let you know, Argo, you're up next. Yep. So Gar heals for seven, so she heals back to full. Okay. Thank you. I think it was and stage. Then, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it was to nine. Oh, my B. Mm, so then Amber is going to make sure. Yeah, she's going to fly up here, ten feet above these guys, and she's going to spit at this guy. All right, go for it. I'm rolling my my special Amber dice. Hey, the slamber. So, okay, that was. 
Roll. <laughs> That's because he said slumber. That was yeah, sorry, I jinxed Twelve. It. Twelve. Uh, yeah, that misses. Yeah. All right, and that's my turn. All right. Okay. Uh, bonus action rage. Um, right. Combat protocol activates, and it's hard to tell with the map. Is uh, this guy within five feet of me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then he's going to get attack of opportunity as I move to here. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and roll that. Uh, you can keep doing your thing, I'll tell you. It okay. Uh, and he is going to recklessly attack the one in front of Vivi. Okay. Uh, the one with the opportunity attack missed. Okay. So, using the mall, he doesn't have disadvantage on attack yet, so it's still with advantage. And why did I roll it in here? It hates me. Uh, but that is a 20 to hit. Hey. That hits. Alrighty. Uh, and that's 13 damage as he just comes in and just slams it against the chest immediately. Ooh, nice. Alright, and uh, Vivi, you're up next, by the way. Mm. Alright, and... All right, you that's my 13 turn. 13 damage? Yep. yep. Alright, uh, Vivi, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm going to sure. shift, first and foremost, for the temp HP and for next turn, probably, and then I'll Throw one attack at the guy right in front of Gar. Okay. Since there's an enemy in melee, is that with disadvantage? Yeah, you have disadvantage. Mm -hmm. If there's an enemy within melee range of me, even if I'm not attacking it? Yeah, all range yeah. attacks get disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Okay, how does disengaging work with the mount? Is it just the same, dis same rules? Uh, yes. Yeah, so... <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it would use your action to disengage. It okay. wouldn't. Rules is written, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> uh, then I think I'll just disengage as my action and call it a day. No, I, I think, no, Ryan's right. Uh, it doesn't. It uses the horses. So you can okay. disengage the horse and then, yeah, okay. do your Okay. I I am not experiencing horse combat. Mounted um, combat is a oh, fucking yeah, mess. Combat. It's yeah, a just, mess. It's, it's why I was kind of trying to leave the horses out of it because the horses would get attacked. It's yeah. a was, fucking mess. I was looking at RPG bot like I don't know how to do this. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, 20, okay. 20, I'm here. I was then taking mounted combat in for. Actually no. One, two, three, four. Three. I'll go all the way back here. I'm okay. Taking my distance. Hey, if anybody wants to get within five feet of me... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's being range. Okay, yeah, then I'll, again, take a shot. Mm. Pass my line of sight like that. So maybe I'll just like move one up here so I can get a line of sight for the one from the gar. And shoot. Um... All right. Ooh, uh, 16. Quid, you're up next, by the way. Yes. Uh, 16 uh... hits. Nice. 11 total damage. Alright. Nice. That is the end uh, of the <laughs> Alright. And... Quit. Holy shit. Okay, give me... Um, so, I am going to reach into my pack, uh, grab the... Uh, taking a book uh, page from the Book of Vivi, um, pull out the ever-smoking bottle. Oh, oh no. And... <laughs> And uh, I, I remember the ma the magic word for it um, that I set for it, oh, God. which is uh, C. No. <laughs> um, I have this. I have the special effect for it. The special effect folder. If you wouldn't mind me <laughs> using it. Yeah, go for it. You just wanted to use the special <laughs> effect. Oh no! But I can't. What did I add it as? Because I can't drag it for some reason. But whatever. Oh no! Uh, I guess it's over here now. You can you can move it now. I think. Oh no, never mind. Fuck. What happened? <laughs> oh oh, oh. oh uh, no, I mean, maybe I messed things up. Uh, no, nah, it's all good. You're good. Um, but it's a sixty foot radius. That's a lot. That's uh. Well, that's the map. <laughs> that's the map. <laughs> <laughs> I can no longer see. Yeah. 
yet another combat where nobody fucking knows what's going on. <laughs> yeah. I don't think any of us can see. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the horse. Watch this, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'll just yell out like uh, a high-pitched uh, falsetto, <laughs> and then get the horses to run away. Okay. Try to get all the horses um, and us to get away. That is actually a really on the horse. Effect, I have to say. It's mm. very well done. So the horses are going to run into a wall. <laughs> um, and I'll use my movement. How The movement speed of a horse, I think, is... I don't know, like 40 or something? I think it's 60. I don't know. 60. Okay. 60 feet. Okay. I think it takes... Does it take an action? Sorry, I'm just reading it. it closing the bottle is an action. Okay. Um, I'll move over here all the way towards VV. Well, if the horses can't see, uh, couldn't they have run into a wall or something? I mean, I would have known the path, but um, we can yeah, see. But you... Ooh, I don't know about that. I think you need to make an animal handling check. Unless, are you, are you proficient in that? Oh, it just doesn't even drop. I am not. Yeah, I think you need to make an animal handling check to be able to guide a horse. And actually make it with advantage, because okay. as a war horse, it would be probably trained in something like this. Okay, um, with advantage as a 15. Okay, yeah, I'd say you can you control it pretty well and... Uh, it helps you uh, navigate. Like it's not necessarily, it's not stupid. So it's not going to just like run into something. Um, yeah. So yeah, it helps you kind of navigate that way. It's a high quality Malibu horses. <laughs> Malibu, Malibu horses. Uh, all right. So quit. Is that all for you? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll move further. I think if I have the the movement, I think. Okay. Do you have the movement? I don't even know where you were. <laughs> I don't even know where you were. Okay, it's a, uh, it's a, I can move 120 feet with the horse's action to dash. Damn. Yeah. I think Quid's gone. I think, yep. I think he's left the map. <laughs> I need a new adventuring party. This one stole all my money. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Later, loser. Bro is so salty about that. <laughs> Alright. Um, Otto, you're up. Yeah, so... Obviously, being... Horse to horse with Gar. I'm assuming I still know her location despite all this yep. smoke. So I'm going to. Oh my god! Oh, okay. Um, the smoking's half movement, right? Uh, I don't remember. I believe so. Yeah. Uh, so I think I need to get the horse to move first of all. But it's hard to tell what's horse standy to me and what's not. But either way, that's about a 10 15 feet horse movement. Me jump off horse. Me jump off horse. Me. Uh. Gain, will you look that up real quick? Uh. What specific rolling policies? Uh, like the movement cost of dismounting. Okay. It's half your movement speed, I believe, off the top of my head. I know it's because definitely half movement speed to mount. It's to mount, yeah. So I don't know why it would be more to dismount. No, it's it's, it's half to mount. Yeah, it says that, yeah. Can't confirm. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. But anyway, so, um... Yeah, uh... I've moved there, I have dismounted for either five or half movement speed, I don't know. And... Uh... Casting Shield of Faith on myself with a bonus action. Alright. Drawing the spear and saying the command word Purifica Dimpios. Alright. Uh, as a free action, I believe you said that was. Mm -hmm. And then I would very much like to attack the spider creature. Go for it. Uh, it. Is it with disadvantage? Uh, you can't see. But then it would also be 
that advantage because it can't see me unless yeah, it has. Right. So Same rolls from last time. Yeah. Right, right. I forgot about that. Uh, fourteen hits. Ah, nice. That can get uh nine piercing damage plus uh well, two radiant damage. So that's on this one. So how much was? That was eleven total. Right, eleven so total left. The damage just don't matter. So it actually is a little bit more than that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Would have been a zealot barbarian. <laughs> so as you uh, hit it with a spear and plunge it deep in, uh, that radiant damage seems to burst out, and you hear it cry and scream. Um, it seems like it did a little bit more than normal. Excellent. Finally, right. I use for the spear. <laughs> and that's my turn. Your turn? Alright. Back to their turn. Um, well, really? Hmm. What horses are unmounted right now? Just uh, the... These two? These two and this oh, one. Also that one, yeah. Otto just jumped off it. Fuck it. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I messed up, guys. I can't even disperse this. <laughs> this, is, uh, <laughs> this is with us. I think you thought we were going to run, and I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's what's going on. <laughs> I was going to say, I got already dismounted. Uh... <laughs> All right. Run, oh. run is not something he does easily. <laughs> it's not in the programming. Alright, so... Or we can just bottleneck horse, them. Then we can AoE. <laughs> this horse is going to ride. AoE what? You can't see him. <laughs> um, it can, I think you can like completely clear the map if it dashes. Yeah, probably. But we're going to say it moved at half movement to make sure it didn't. Ah, okay. Um, make sure it didn't run into a wall. Yeah. And but it did get hit by uh, that's opportunity uh, attack. Yeah, no opportunity attacks. Oh right, right. That's right. Yep. So never mind. Yeah. So so our guy's just fine. <laughs> yep. So that horse runs out. The other two seem to have the will to stay right now. Oh, Craig, uh, you're the coward. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody so, else, is walk, you know, marching with a limp. Craig is unhit. He's running. Yeah, Craig hasn't been touched and he's leaving. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Alright, so Argo, you're gonna be taking two. And alright, so how the fuck is this working? So they. Uh, roll with us. Uh, it's straight hits. Straight hits. Yeah, oh. yeah, because. Yeah, okay. Right. But then also didn't. Argo reckless. Doesn't matter though. Yeah, but yeah. It, multiple yeah, sources of advantage and disadvantage cancel out. I appreciate you trying to get me yeah. killed, but yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm trying to get you reckless attack on the next turn for you to get advantage. Uh, I'll be dead if they <laughs> if they have advantage on me next turn. Uh, for the count, that's a nat one for one of them. Hey, lovely, lovely. No taking purposes. I'd love to see it. Um, and then a sixteen. Does that hit you, Argo? Just hits. Just hits. Okay, so that's two, or wait, sorry, one dagger hit and two bite hits. Alright. And if this so, is a poison effect, I have advantage against being poisoned. It's not. Okay. Um, so that's eight damage from the dagger reduced to four. Alright. And then the bite, I'll need you to make two constitution saving throws. Here's the first one. Damn. 12. Now Matt hates us. I've said it before. Yeah. Give me he a 13. Second one. Mm -hmm. uh, 22. All right. You pass both of those. You take 14. Uh, well, actually, hold on. Sorry. So four and four is eight halved to four. And then six halved to three. So that's seven total <laughs> damage you took oh, thank God. from so the bites. Okay, I'm. It's hard to see, but he's sparking right now. He's not doing great. So, I um, 
not to interject too much, I had a question. I think actually the fog cloud follows me. Um, do you have the bottle on you still, or did you set it down? I pictured you setting it down. Oh, I was gonna care. I think I would have carried it like a beacon almost, but. Uh, anyways, if that changes battlefield. Yeah, uh, yeah it definitely that's would, because they, they would be gaining an advantage on me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so it would be so, centered on you still? So he still wouldn't, still, but... Yeah. This guy would get a van uh... Yeah, one of them would have had advantage. I'll just roll yeah. a second time just to see... Yeah, it missed, so... Okay, so... Fuck, I keep moving the cat ball. <laughs> oh. oh, All right. Sure. Alright, so... Um... That's two of them, other than... Alright, so one on Estella... Somebody move within five feet of me. Oh, that, uh, <laughs> I think both of those miss, right? You're at I, an 18, I did not right? hear what you said. Are you at an 18 for your AC? I am, yes. Okay, so both of the dagger attacks miss. The bite attack hits with a 22. So I need you to make it. Uh, <gasps> oh, uh, oh. When did okay. Gar go? Oh. Uh, she hasn't gone yet. So, Even though we've had the whole initiative. Yeah, I think we added yeah. her in later in the, I don't know. I think we're uh, she should have gone. Um, yeah. She would have... Oh. Sorry, I just... <laughs> no, I'm glad you asked. I just, I need to fully flesh out her stat block. I just have been waiting. Uh, so, feel she, like her initiative was nine. So, we'll say... She's gonna do what she usually does and tries to get the fuck out of combat. Uh, and, and this guy can't see her. So, right yeah, now. there's the smoke would have still been there because Quid only moved after Gara. Then if he's she's so, in nine. Yeah, so she'll move far enough away to where it doesn't look like she's gonna be the target of attention anymore. Uh, and she take the dodge action like normal. Um. All so, right, so can I? I have a question. Okay. Since I am in smoke, can that guy who's out of the smoke see me? Um, <laughs> yeah. How? Yeah, like I'm in smoke. Your foot guy. sticking out. Look at your foot over here. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 Please, I need to get within five feet of somebody for the love of God. Within five feet of that uh, horse. Estella, you take the horse. You take Oh, yeah, I need to... Concept. I didn't make the con, yeah. Oh, I have proficiency, the... guys. It's probably fine. Yay. Okay. 15? All right, you're good. Okay, and it was two damage? Uh, 10. 10 damage. <laughs> Very good. Lol, all right. That one's us dead. Uh, this one's going to move out of the fog and. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Matt. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I need to stop. Uh, Why is it always two, ni two 19s against Otto. Uh, <laughs> they both miss. Okay. Ooh, wow. 19, right. really? Because wow. I, I cast Shield of Faith on myself, giving oh. a plus 2 to my AC. Oh. Hell yeah. Uh, so, that must be nice. Now, the bite, <laughs> attack, the bite attack is a 20 to hit. That will then. That will okay. do it. And a constitution saving throw, please. Yeah. I need I'll, to I'll need to roll two then. One for my concentration and one for... Well, the, the concentration one would be based off the damage. Damage, the damage yeah. Nine. Uh, yeah. Did you do more than 20 damage? 18 for the constitution saving throw against the poison, I assume. Uh, well, well, it depends what we're doing first. We're doing the... Did you, you did the con save, so you passed. So now okay. you would do... What, hold on. So it's... The damage to you is nine minus two because of your thing, right? Uh, it doesn't matter for concentration unless you beat, yeah, uh, make more, do more than twenty damage. Yeah, it's, it's a ten, 10 minimum. Yeah, ten or half the damage you took, whichever is higher. So, uh, maintain concentration. Then is that what we're saying? So he still has to roll higher than a ten. Yes. Yeah. Or equal. Uh, well, you can have to look. Uh, the other one was a nat twenty. So. Okay. Oh, so you're all good. good. Uh, but you take seven damage. So that was piercing. ten minus the three piercing. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no! Back up. 
That's nine damage minus three, so it's six. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. All right, and that's... Uh, you also, after those attacks... Um, you start to see that they start to kind of twitch a little bit. Ew. And then you see they let out like this scream. Actually, sorry, let me look at which ones are doing it. That's disgusting. I hate that. Uh, yeah, which one? Are little those? bugs, little beetles. Yeah, like spiders, spiders Bane. Of course there's yeah. spiders. <laughs> They're actually pretty spiders, Jason. I barely let them in, you guys. <laughs> All right. So progress, progress? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Um, that, Hey, you could come after me. That's an option you have. Have you seen what? this before? Uh, uh, monster? No, definitely not. <laughs> no, I'm oh, saying, no. have you seen the monsters change in size before? Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As you Perhaps. see, these things oh, were, you would estimate to be around four feet tall. Um, all of a sudden, they, like, stretch and... You see their spines start to elongate and crack. And you hear all the cracking as it... Uh, starts to kind of wiggle and shake um, and they go oh. up to be about seven feet tall each um, and yeah they look quite a bit meaner right now this is the end um, of the but that's the end of their turn so back oh, to whoever's <laughs> next Estella and Whoa. then Argo hey y'all should get the fuck out of here yeah so mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is <laughs> disengage. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I do want to be crystal clear. I, I I should tell you this more often. This one that is right in front of you, right here, uh -huh. is looking pretty fucked up, even though it did its little stretch thing. Okay. Still get the fuck out of here. I'm just letting yeah. you know, it's it's pretty bloody. Okay. Well, uh, so it disengages. <laughs> Bye, Gar. Get on the horse. Get on the horse. No, I don't think she's getting on the horse. She's gonna go right here with Gar. And then she's gonna have Amber. Um, right over here. And she's gonna have Amber spit at this guy. <laughs> so... She's Wait, getting here so, is Amber, so is Amber still in the cloud? Amber is still. She's not in the cloud. Oh, I guess she would be actually. Yeah. So if you want well, her to not have stopped. disadvantage. Yeah. Can, we'll I just... engineer it out. can I ask yeah. if the cloud would be stopped by this wall because of where Quid is? Oh. How tall is the but it's like wall? magic smoke. It. But it, it passes crazy. through a solid object. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question that I don't really want to fucking deal with right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just want my reckless attack to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we're just gonna leave it how it is. Uh, Argo, I would say either way, it it would be affecting you still. So, I think I think mostly we would be looking at this side would maybe not be affected, but everything here would still be pretty smoked out. Can't. Reckless. I can't move either because then. Uh, Estella, is that your turn? No, they can't uh, see Amber you. There's no. Uh... Oh, yeah, where was the Amber spitting? At the guy who's fucked up. Yeah. Alright. Go for it. Um, okay, it doesn't hit. <laughs> it's a Wait. 13. A what? 13. How far up is Amber? Um, she was 10 feet in the air, if I remember correctly. Okay, so then she would get the little bonus. <gasps> would she? Oh. See, Matt doesn't hate you. Oh, Matt. Matt <laughs> likes, <laughs> likes the cat. Fair. I'm just no, being fair. just the cat. You're right. <laughs> so, <laughs> that would be... A plus what three would be 16, so that 16. hits. 16. Oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, that would be... Let me get Amber's sheet out. I completely forgot. It would be five force damage. Alright. So, uh, as Amber 
shoots this little ball of force. It slams right into um, the face of this thing. And you just see black Icarus blood explode backwards up against the wall, the mountain, um, into the fog. Uh, so it disappears, but um, it falls dead. No, Amber's spit is like a gun. That's crazy. Um, yeah, it's almost like you have it. Almost. Bang, bang. But yeah, that's my turn. All right, Argo. I don't think. I don't think I can move, so my reckless attack will work. But I'm st still gonna do it, so it's a straight roll. But wait, what? Uh, it would you, be a straight you, roll either way. You don't take opportunity attacks from this guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can move that, yeah. Where could I back off to? Here. You would take one from the other guy though. No, but yeah, he yeah, 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 right, right. Yeah. Around, though. If you try to yeah. rotate through, yeah. I think I still want to become the target. Basically, so I am gonna move around here to where I'm still to where this guy, uh, basically, where this Hi, guy Warren. can see me. Yeah, okay. Warren stays behind. Oh, Warren's coming with me. <laughs> he, dies. He, dies. he dies with me, and then I reckless attack. Oh, first off, bonus action, uh, sh uh, second wind, Get some health back, not great. So that's four health back. Okay. And then reckless attack. Six. 17 plus six. I assume that hits. And uh, that's 13 damage to that guy. As I just run up and it's really... It got a lot bigger, so now so now he's mostly aiming at the limbs, like trying to smash an Ian or something. Okay. And that's how my much? turn. 13? Uh, 13 damage. Alright. I was really hoping that second wind would be a lot better. Nice. Um, up next is Vivi, and then Quid. Can I move? He Is this within range? I can... Yes. This is like terrain? Okay, cool. I don't think that's giving me a, gives me a head advantage. That's like pretty much yeah, yeah. the edge of the wall, though. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he the wall. He the wall. <laughs> no, let's not do that. Uh, okay. I'll bonus action favored foe, and then I'll put another attack into that. So. Come on, big money. That's not one. Oh. That's not it. I don't get my favorite foe either. All uh, money. This <laughs> is no money, I don't think. Just oh, like so true. We still have inspiration, I think, though. Do I want to use it here? Nah, I mean, Oops. I don't know. I'm just suggesting. No, I'm not gonna use it there. Then I'm just gonna see what else I can do on my. Hold on. Do I need a hit for Slayer's Curse? Let me double check. No, I don't need to. Okay, so as a bonus action, instead of favor foe, I'm going to inflict Slayer's Curse on him. And that's my bonus action, and that is the end of my turn. That's it. <laughs> All right. So stressful. Uh, quit. Uh, so quit is you'll hear in the middle of the fog cloud. You know, eons away from you guys, uh, <laughs> <laughs> light years away. Um, you just, just hear him back go, go like, <laughs> oh, fuck, look, 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 and he just tries to stop her the bottle. Um, he'll drop it as a free action, hopefully, and yep. he'll run back in with the horse. Uh, need another animal handling check, please. Advantage, we said. Uh, because it's a war horse. Yes. Uh, that's a nat twenty. Yo. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. Do so easily. And you know, so, so oh, okay, so it's a problem because I'm curious, but we're not gonna do it because it's, it's fucking crazy. Um, uh, do the horses get an action? They uh, have an attack. Written, yes. yeah, so, they anyways, do. They do. but that's just a lot. <laughs> I believe mounted though they can't use the attack action; they can only take the dash, disengage, or dodge action. Oh, for real? Okay, I didn't know. Anyways, um, well, these guys should be doing something then. You goddamn cowards! I'm, um, 
I'm so upset that my horse is a coward. <laughs> Fuck Craig. Fuck you, Craig. All my homies hate Craig. Mm, All but my I'm, hate I'm gonna try to pull uh, this fella right over here. Uh, just one square over with the bonus action to here. Okay. Hmm. What? Uh, that's a, what is that, a strength save? Strength saving throw, yes. What does it need? Uh, 14. Uh, failed. Okay, so it moves one closer, and then I think everybody is in range of a 10-foot radius sphere. Um, like this. Mm -hmm. I think that includes me. Uh, no, I, I don't think it will. If I center it, like... Obvi <laughs> obviously it's gonna get the horse, but... <laughs> no! If I center it, like, right over here, it, I think I can miss Argo. Malibor's gonna be pissed, you guys. Who here, let me... That's super <laughs> let me... Let me throw in... Uh, can I throw in this guy? I don't know. That's too fucking extra. It is. Whatever. Um, I'll... So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna make some of the rocks and pebbles around just kind of avalanche onto these uh, guys um, with magnify gravity. And what do they need to make? A constitution saving throw, DC 14. Uh, all failed. Excellent. I I forgot to mention, I should have, um, I wanted <laughs> to upcast it uh, to second level. Okay. Uh, I just rolled 3d8, because I don't know how to up roll it upcast. I think it's uh, usually just one additional damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I, I just, like, can't click the button. Anyways, it's, it's oh, 13 I damage to all of yeah, them. Okay. How much? All right. Uh, 13 okay. damage. Okay. And so I know both of these guys have taken 13 from Argo each. So that is uh, his turn. Oh, no, wait. Uh, Slick, go get an advantage on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> All right. Um, and that's the end of your turn. Yes. Auto, your turn. Okay, uh, so there's going to be some tactical maneuvering going on here. Uh, now, the horses are still friendly to us, right? Yeah, we can pass through their yep. spaces. Well, I was more thinking if I go on the other side of this creature... <laughs> Will we get give us flanking? Point? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the horses are just living their best life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they're, gra they're grazing. <laughs> they're grazing. Like uh, if it was your horse that you've been training with for a long time, and you had like a connection, maybe. But these are rented horses. Uh, fair <laughs> We're not giving these back. Understandable. Wait till I hit level five and can summon back. one, and then we'll be laughing. Um, <laughs> we didn't say rent us horses. We said buy us horses. Know. Let me just do Fair, some quick maths see. then. One, two, three. Can I go into that space? Or is that part of the... What space? That space. Where? Right here. Uh, yes. Okay, the fact that you were measuring out a 10 foot range concerns me. <laughs> this guy can take opportunity attack. Yeah, well, that's that's what I was thinking about heading into the smoke and down and then swinging back round. But... Ooh. That's kinda cool. Yeah, you can make it there. Excellent, then. That's really cool. Oh, the horse also took a bunch of damage. <laughs> oh, yeah. God oh, damn it! Damn it. <laughs> it was 13, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah 13. It has to make a deck save or a, a constitution save. save. It failed, so it would take 13 as well. Is Did it, it die? I'm pretty sure it's dead. I mean, it has I'm... 19. So they're but... all barely alive. Oh, he's so good. Actually, he's so no, good. No, that one died. Oh no, he's so no! bad. He's so bad. Oh, yeah, he's not good. He's not good. Like, yeah, he's not good. I forgot about the landslide. The rock slide. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the I rock slide. Horse. One of them That's went unscathed. Did. I did not designate. Uh, which one on the map was Craig? This guy. Oh wait, Craig up here. Craig is up here. You're right. Yeah. Craig the coward. Craig is totally fine up there. He's chilling. Um, Marl died. But Marl. Uh, <laughs> All right, Otto. What else you got? Yeah. So I would like to attack this creature now. Uh, which, one? which one? The one that I'm not standing next to. The one that Argo yeah. is next. To. The one that is being hampered by Slick. So I get. 
right advantage. Here. Oh fuck! Sorry, sorry. I was Later. looking at a different owlbear. Okay, cool. What? Come on, Matt. Matt, so. I know exactly what happened. So Can you play yeah. one D and D game? Stop <laughs> DMing two <laughs> at once. <laughs> We're actually I was actually right now, you guys. I was actually looking at tomorrow's combat. So yeah. 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 <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Anyways, yeah, go for it. Okay, so there's a 19 hit. Yes. Excellent. Then it can take from a stabbing, thrusting spear five piercing damage. It can have four radiant damage. Plus, it's about to get smited as well for some extra damage. Hell yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I should have told you this before you decide to do that. Oh, is it, it looking, is looking very... real fucked up? Ah, oh, right, okay. Yeah. Then... Then I will assume... <laughs> I will assume that... It's, it's pretty much dead. Since the radiant damage previously yeah. did a lot of damage that... Yeah, it's it's dead. I, I see what yeah. you're saying. I didn't want to take away from your coolness, but then when you started saying smite, I was like, yeah, don't yeah. waste Okay, I appreciate that. He is. So yeah, just charging out of the smoke, you just at first see the spear poking out and then just as like Otto rushes past the horse, dodging around Argo, just uh, almost like a swing, swing an attack with the spear and then just thrusting it into its face um, as like the radiant energy bursts forth from its, its many eyes. Nice. So like... As you do that, and the the spear thrusts through, uh, that same kind of black, bloody ichor explodes out, but with the radiant damage exploding out from the same point, you almost see in slow motion in the air as the blood is flying out, the radiant damage catches up faster and, like, eliminates that black ichor in the air. Um, um, I don't want to have to make friends with the gods. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Just one, Yennefer. That's all we're asking. We're not going to Yennefer. <laughs> that temple's calling, man. <laughs> uh, uh, the God of War is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, like hops on Otto's yeah, shoulder. I, I think that's pretty much all my movement to get there, and then my action. I don't have any more bonus actions. So, yeah, that's me. Okay. Um. All right, so it's back to them, back to the top. Uh, actually, first, I'm going to make... What horses are unmounted right now? Looks like two? The ones in between. Well, uh, this just one right this here. one and yeah. this one. Yeah, and right. guy. yeah he did. Uh, and yeah. the cowardly one, if it's full half. Brave, you little yeah. shit. Brave Although, didn't we say this one died? Okay. This one is dead as hell, yeah. Yeah, so we'll need a... Uh, a dead as hell. Dead token. Oh, yeah. Dead as hell token. Dead as hell token would be pretty bad. I put the dead token on the other owl. Dead as hell. Or maybe it's just why? unconscious and bleeding out. Why, why are there safe? so many, why are there so many, like, same things going on in the other owl bear, is what I was uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll explain later. Um, uh, so, this horse decides it's gonna be strong-willed and stay. Uh, and then the other one... Oh, that's a nat one. Oh, wow. um, oh, wait, wait, wait. It's fucking dead. Never mind. There's not an. <laughs> yes, it... <laughs> oh, thank God he died. He would have fled. Thank God. He was gonna <laughs> jet. Alright. Uh, so now it's their turn. And... Um... This one is gonna run through the, the mist or whatever, jump in the air, and clamp onto you, Argo. As it starts to take its attacks. It, with Wait, advantage, I did you, Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's not going to do it. Uh, that's not going to do it. And then a bite attack. That's a nat 20. Ooh, Ooh. okay. Very um, bad, very bad. Which comes out to max damage. Oh, fuck. 16. Uh, so that's eight damage to you, half, but since that's already been halved. Gotcha. Um, and you need to make a con save. Alrighty. Oh, 
Only an eight. An eight. Interesting. Okay, we'll save no, that. Again, I, I, I want to say, just as a Warforged thing, if this is a poison effect, I do have advantage against it. It's not. Okay, just gotta try. <laughs> um, so as it bites down into you with those bug-like mandibles, you hear the... It's like into your neck, what, what would be your neck area, and it just crunches in. And you feel what you assume to be that black ichor enter into you from that oh. wound. Oh, this is uh, horrible. Uh, Kill me. Oh, oh, oh. Kill me after this. We're working on it, Argo. Do I, I got you, fam. I'll do that for you. Yeah, yeah. Kill <laughs> me. Look, Argo uh, had a good run. <laughs> and, then, and then after this thing uh, bites deep into you, uh, like I said, it's like clasped onto you with its arms, like holding onto you with its legs and its arms, and stabbing at you with the uh, daggers, and getting frustrated that it's not hitting you, so it bites deep down in. Uh, and then after that, with two of the other hands, it grabs your face and looks directly into your eyes. And I need you to make a... Uh, oh, hold on. A uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh yeah, he's great at those. Uh, <laughs> and this is this is a frightened effect. So if you have uh, anything against that, a ten. Yeah. I don't. Uh, yeah, you are scared as fuck right now. Uh, so what color on your mood ring is scared? <laughs> Fuck. He's always he's scared. Wrong. God damn. <laughs> no, his ring is mostly yellow, but it turns purple on certain occasions. No, I mean Argo's eyes. He's always scared. I yeah. this skin literally sees all purple. Argo's RGB and the ring are different colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, different things, guys. Okay, there's a lot of. I'm Funny lights going on with Argo. I'm not a drip. Shit. I'm not my drip. Alright, sensing blood in the water, the other one's gonna come after you and flank. <laughs> not that it matters, but that's. Oh, no. That's 16 to hit? Hits. Alright, so that's oh. two dagger hits. So one of them is a six, half to three. One of them is an eight, half to four. I'm down. Cool. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Okay. Meow meow. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say. Meow <laughs> meow. We're at, nah. I believe, seven, right? Not six? Yeah, it's seven. So, yeah, and I as you as you go down, uh, it's gonna take its... Oh, no, he's at, he was at eight. Sorry. Argo was at eight. He was at eight? So we're all yeah. at seven now. Oh, Same Z. Yay! Yeah. We're Wait, great. is Argo is Argo down or not? I'm down. Yeah, he's down. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna... Take the bite attack at you. Two failures. Uh, which is a crit. Oh, what? Just two failures. Fuck. Yeah, I mean it's a nat twenty, um, but it still is just a counts as a crit, so it's two failures. And I'm next. Uh, <laughs> oh, Roll high. No. No, wait, there's a Dane. Dane. Dane, what does yeah. he see? He does see the cat. Uh, <laughs> comes at you. It's a little closer now. Uh, no, it's going to get a lot closer really soon. And you hear lucky number seven. Uh, this one, as you fall into the ground after it's um, stabbed you with its daggers, um, this one, like, what's the word for it? Burrows, almost, <laughs> with its no. into your midsection. And is, like, almost ripping a hole in the middle. I think uh, of your even as he goes down, there's a part of him that's happy that it that he made it use all its attacks, so everybody else is safe for the rest of the turn. <laughs> um, and I guess technically, I don't know if it matters. Dane, we'll discuss this later, but uh, technically, you would automatically fail. Yep. The, the con save. save. Oh. Yeah, I think uh, it's best to just let him die here. The con save <laughs> from yeah, the, the from black the goo entering his body. Yeah, um, the snake bite entering his veins. Uh, okay. And then, if you, if you rule it that way, 
What? Why would he automatically fail? Because I'm, because I'm unconscious. unconscious. That, that doesn't have anything to do with a con save. I mean, uh, it's strength and dex saves. But, I mean, right, it's, yeah. it, it, we'll it's whatever you want. We'll look into it later. I don't even know if it would matter much. So, we'll look into it, and if we need to have you, like, make another roll, we will. But, okay. um, it might not even matter. Um, and then the auto, uh, mm -hmm. it's going to look at you with the same eyes after having burrowed into your ally's uh, stomach, essentially. And you need to make the same wisdom save, please, sir. Alrighty, then. Wait, aren't you, are you immune to being frightened? Isn't that I am then? not. Not okay. yet, right? Not immune. yet, okay. My tree does not get immune to frightened. Really? Oh, you don't? Uh, it's oh. immune to being charmed later on. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> oh, no. We just gotta get out of the Thalesia Thil arc. <laughs> I, <think. laughs> I don't think I'm making it out of the Thalesia arc, guys. <laughs> no, I'm stressed as hell. Uh, oh, no, no, it's, it's just a base paladin thing. Level 10 can't be frightened for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was thinking of the Aura of Devotion, uh, oh. level 7. Uh, creatures within 10 feet of you can't be charmed while you're conscious. Oh, mm, that's sick. Did but, you uh, either way, yeah, sorry. Uh, wisdom saving throw, you said, yeah. Oh man, this is awful. Uh, uh, eight. Nope. Eight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are also frightened. If I go on <laughs> if I go on conscious, does the frightened condition end? Uh, I don't no. know. No. Yeah, I don't yeah. think so. But Technically, no. Yeah, alright. So that's the end of their turn. So now we are to Estella. We got healing word. It's my turn. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're gonna do? Amber has. Oh, Amber has just enough movement, I think. Oh man, I'm so stressed. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is have Amber speed over here. No. And... <laughs> no. Yeah, and Estella kind of yells, "Amber, go!" Very panicked. Sorry. Hmm? Nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use my action to have Amber cast Cure Wounds in my place. Nice. Alrighty. So her eyes and tongue glow blue, and she starts just licking up Argo's wounds. And he heals for... 11 hit points. 11 hit and then... Oops. Um, we're gonna go around. So would Argo be up at this point, or is he... He's not unconscious anymore, is he? If uh, he gets healed for 11, he's not unconscious anymore. No, but he's still prone. Okay, well, um, bonus action, Ring of the Champion. And... Oh. <laughs> there you go. Her shit starts glowing, and you feel just a rejuvenated adrenaline, and you get to take a, an action. All right. Um, so describe real quick what that feels like to be on the brink of death and come back to life and receive that like surge of friendly energy. I think at the end, our like he. After the second bite, he accepted that he was dying here, you know? And, um, it's, uh, I think he was really afraid of failure. And hearing Estella call for him and heal him, it's just an instant second burst of energy. And he, he's a big guy and he is going through a lot right now. He kips up, you, he like kicks up, you know, that whole kick where you stand up. Oh, yeah. oh well, you <laughs> can stand attack. up. I can use half my movement to get up. No, you can't. It's not your turn. You have an oh. action that you can Okay, well, I can't... So this is going to be a disadvantage. So it's just... Um, so he wakes up immediately and just um, and just swings without even really looking. Uh, so this is at disadvantage because... Um, You're prone. Is it? Yeah, because I'm prone. Are you also still frightened? Oh, yeah. I am. Either way, so. Yeah, so I'm going to hit the one I'm frightened. Bye. Okay. Disadvantage. Mm -hmm. The other one was a nat 20, but it's 15 plus 6. Oh. A hit? Ooh. Okay. Very nice. And I'm not raging uh, right now, so it's only 7 damage. Uh, it dies. 
Oh! <laughs> so, it's just an awakening, and from their perspective, it's just Argo on the ground, immediately grabbing his weapon, once Estella says his name, swinging it up, and just, this, this thing's face smushes against the silver, like, its face caves in and it falls backwards, dead. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, man. Nice. Alright, um... So and now it's our turn. <laughs> and now uh, it's Argo's turn. Oh. Yeah, there you go. That's your turn. Okay, so I stand up. I'm not frightened of this one, am I? Uh, no. So you lose the frightened condition, actually. Okay. So I stand up. Uh, bonus action. Enter a rage. All right. And I'm gonna reckless attack again. Go for it. Eighteen plus six. Hit. Ooh. Uh, 15 damage to this guy. How do you do it? Yeah! Oh, Hell yeah! So, instant slams into that guy, crushes his skull, kicks up, and it's, um, it's kind of scary. He straight up, like, dive tackles this guy, knocks him to the ground, and just repeatedly slams his, uh, slams his, uh, maul into this guy's face until it's pudding. Nice. All right, so you do that, and then um, you look around, and there are no more enemies. And oh. you guys are now out of the mission. I assume I'm no longer frightened, then. Because it's dead. No, you're scared of his mushy up face. One <laughs> 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 ugly <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> We'll say the fog cloud dissipates. Um, yeah, I'll go get. I'll go pick it back up. Stop her it. All right. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. I think that was the fastest combat we've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. It was scary. It was. Still scary. I was gonna it, was. it was two rounds, I think. Was it three? I think no it, was three. Three. it was three. I think it was three. Oh, maybe. We were on the we were on the third round. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't get a third turn. So much yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rounds, I feel. Yeah. Um, okay, we're fucked. Yeah. You guys are still just on the uh, just on the scene of this battlefield. Black Icarus blade and uh, laid on, across the rocks. Some of your own blood spilled here and there. Um, battered and bruised. Um, we will be ending soon, but what do you guys do in the meantime after the aftermath of this battle? Vivi's gonna run up to Argo and see if the lightning scars on him have worsened after the bite. Okay. If there's any, like, curse progression besides, like, collateral damage, obviously. Um, so make an investigation check, I would say. Can't be anything else. <laughs> okay. Can't be uh, I would take a suggestion. Survival. Mm -hmm. The Is medicine. I think medicine would, be... would also allow it. So, investigation or medicine, you said? Yeah, I would allow medicine, for sure. Oh, I'll do medicine, then. Yeah. 18. 18. On an 18, um, Matt, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe from the combat, um, he only got hit in, like, the one new spot, right? Like, on the side of the oh. screen, like, towards the neck. Argo, right? I assume that's who No, I got... Right? And yeah, he one got two. So, like... Two. Right. So, all right. So, so based it? off of masking, basically, since you were running it. So there was one on the neck and one in the midsection, but you need to make the con save for the midsection one. Oh yeah. Could you pull that for us? All right. Con save. Side roll. Side roll. Uh, Eighteen. Ooh. Yeah. You're good. Good, good. 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 Um. So the only new developments that you would detect, maybe, are is there are, there is a clear bite wound, um, where. Uh, the creature bit into him on the neck, um, and it is currently leaking out some black ooze. It seems pretty fresh. But other than um, on, an, on an 18, you're not sure, you know, that's all you can see. Do you have a question, Argo? I wanted, well, this is a thing that goes from this, but if Vivi has anything to say. Okay. What were you going to do? Uh, I was going to look to Estella and, like, gesture to the maintenance mode button to see if, it, if we could get a better view of what's going on there. Oh. If we open them up. So what's Vivi gonna suggest? Did <laughs> <laughs> he clean the wound? Yeah, I was... Okay, this is like a really bad idea. But like, you know snake bites? 
You didn't oh, see no. 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 it. No, no, no. Absolutely. You absolutely dirty minded person. <laughs> I would like to clarify both as Vivi and as Emo that is like the number one bad survival tactic. Like, yeah, yeah that is, in no way, in no way should you do that. No. <laughs> Stella suggests it anyway. I felt it. I felt it inject something into me, correct? Yes, you did. You were oh, aware of that. Bro. It felt no. gross. Yeah. You were, you were aware of it. So he's like, I felt it inject some kind of, I can only assume what infected the bird into me. If it would bring some light on the situation, I could activate my maintenance mode and see what's going on, how it's affecting me. And if I am a threat, I could be neutralized. In the tundra, while Black Icker is spewing out of you, I don't think so. It's a safety mm. hazard. We can make it to Iris Dead tonight? Yeah. Question. Um, we no. Not. So <sighs> you've done a full day of travel, um, and it's another full day. So if you went like a sleepless night and full re like full went the entire night, it's essentially one more day of travel to get there. Um, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking, sorry. All good, all good. All right, Vivi's mm -hmm. gonna rip off, like, part of her cape and kind of use it as a cloth to clean out the ichor okay. from the wound. Maybe I can inject my syringe in and try and get as much out as possible? I... <sighs> shit. I think if what happened to the wolf and what may happen to the bird, what would have happened to the bird, what happened to me, it is too big of a threat to just sit idle for a day. Argo, shut up, we're thinking. <laughs> While this is going on, by the way, while all the spear is still on fire, he's just going to be going around essentially like coup de grang the, mm. the beast, just making sure that they're okay, yeah. actually dead, dead, and don't transform into something even more hideous like that wolf did. <laughs> It uh, squishes, she stabs several of these bucks. It seems like the now that they're corpses, especially, they're uh, just it seems like their skin and flesh gives less resistance than is pleasant, if that makes sense. Mm. Um, and like <coughs> Icar would uh, spill out, but as it lands on the spear, it would like slowly disintegrate on the face of the spear. Um, can I go around? Um, I'll be following um, Otto around, and as he's stabbing, um, I just want to, uh, using a telekinetic mage hand, um, A, just like, I mean, I'm I'm looking for remnants of humanity or something, but I'm looting them as well. Um, <laughs> and well, I'm looking for scraps of information and stuff, but also, you know, if there's coins, I'm going to take them. Okay, um, so, yeah, um, looting... Um, and what was, you said looking for remnants of humanity, please elaborate. Well, or sorry, I, I'm, uh, looking for if I could tell what this creature used to be. If it's like, oh. if it was a, you know, okay. I don't know, a goblin Spider before <laughs> or something, I, I, I don't know. That's what I was looking for, I just wanted to make sure that's what you meant when you said I'm looking for vestiges of humanity or whatever you said. So, um, I would say that, that can, you can make that a medicine check. Um, and I would be open to other suggestions. Would it be? I think it would be nature, right? Depends on if they were a person before I'd this or not. I mean, I think it's nature either way. I, I prefer yeah. nature. I don't. I don't see why it, would be <laughs> it should be nature. I mean, it's on the corpses, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I would say nature's fine. Yeah. Otto, can you help me uh, in this endeavor with? I will even say a prayer for you as I cast guidance, and then help with the help action. Oh, okay. Ooh, Wait. Guys. So, hold on. So, uh, we we need to be a little more clear on stuff like this. So, what are you doing to help to determine nature? Like, are you... I guess what I should say is, are you proficient in it? Uh, I'm not proficient in nature. Wait. No, no, no. You don't have to be quit. But uh. to give the help action, you... you. I think what we're kind of doing in rulings is that you need to be proficient in that. Okay. I do not... But I have it in medicine well it's it's okay i can use a, I, I, can use a lot. I can get advantage if you I get guided said away uh, yeah, yeah guidance perfect yeah sure but uh i think you need to be proficient in something if you're going to offer help with it. i mean yeah. uh you also see quinn you know he's going along and doing kind of uh his version of last rites which is just um uh 
light, uh, you know, he has like small candles. He lights them up and uh, blows them out um, on top of these guys in case they were human before. Okay. I forget to I forget to do that usually, but I will roll nature. <laughs> and the D four of guidance as well, I believe. Right? Yes, that was a shit roll. I'm I will use a lucky roll. Um, uh, you know, feels appropriate with Kellogg. Natural one, natural one. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, is it actually? No, uh, no, no. It's actually a twenty. So is that a nat twenty? No, it's a uh, uh, twenty. Plus just a twenty. At the guidance, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um. All right. So these guys don't have many belongings, right? So you don't seem to. They don't have any money on them for for starters. Like just when you're looking around. Um. Good loses interest. I, I just stop here, yeah. <laughs> stamp, 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 frustration. Um, on a 20, though, you're trying to determine it's, what this creature might have been in its past. Um, you see stretch marks along the skin um, and mutations, especially along um, its extra limbs um, that makes you think the limbs weren't even there to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, two of them, anyway. Um and you notice that the ears are very pointed. Mm -hmm. You would have determined that all of these creatures used to be some form of elf. Um, Jesus and like, Christ. Likely, God. likely all four of these creatures were the same variant of elf. And you would probably also, I think on a 20, determine that they would have had sallow, um, darker skin based on um, how, they've, how they've mutated so far. Mm -hmm. So, and no evidence of like uh, society or like I mean, no, I was getting to that. personal uh, effects. Oh, the only, the only personal effects that you notice are the knives that have injured you guys several times throughout this fight. Um, they are all of like about the same make, not make and model, but like about of the same make, same design. Um, some pointed, some slightly curved, but definitely, um, I would say without a check, like. Mm, no, I would say give me a history check, but please. Excellent, I would love to. Yeah, I don't want to give it without uh, a history check, I'd say. I would like to help that as I have history there you go. trained. Alright, go for it. L love that. Um, the 23. 23. Thank you, Otto. Um, yeah. You would notice that these blades are of um, ancient elven design. Ancient. And on a ch past a 20... 23 total. I'd say you know that this is likely from uh, like some form of dark elven descent, basically. These are, these are dark elven blades. Sure, okay. Yeah. Um, I'll take one with me, um, but otherwise solemnly look to Otto. Um, these were men once. Drow, I believe. It... And he'll look at Ar uh, Argo. Ah, uh, we should definitely make our way quicker to uh, Iristed, if we can. I, I think I was just gonna like look at you, look at Argo, and then look at the tip of his spear, like give you a, you know, will I? Will I? I mean, I think he would. He would want that but a later a later day it is, I'm, I'm not gonna have that discussion right now no, no. <sighs> i'm sorry it's been on my mind as well <clears throat> um quid will return to the pot group essentially okay um before you move on who all picked up one of these daggers Mm -mm. Just Quid? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I picked up one. Quid's the only one that picked it up? Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, I need you to make a wisdom save. Fuck. Rip Quid. Come on, come on. Oh, good rolls. Thank you, Kellek. A 18. <laughs> okay. uh, dagger just feels really old. Do I get a feeling? No, 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 no feeling. No, no, no icky vibes. Okay. I should um, kill Argo 
right now. <laughs> Dude, I'm, revenge, for <laughs> revenge for the morning. Revenge for the morning. Um, I'll pocket it. I mean, I don't sense anything strange about it. I want to study it more. Okay. All right. Um, I'll. Hmm? Am I the only one getting that feedback? I am. Oh yeah. Feedback. Is that from yeah. Jockey Bot? Uh, yeah, I think so. It is. The war has entered the meta. You gotta clear up your act. Hold up. Yo, jockey, jockey, but music one. I'm sorry, man. You suck. <laughs> jockey, oh. you stink. Oh. Wait. Oh. Jockey. What is that? Jockey's gone. Jockey's dead. What is that? Where did that come from? Jockey's gone again. All right, oh, it's gone. It's it stopped. Oh, it's back. I, I don't know who that's from. I'm gonna bring back Jockey though. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Jockey, it wasn't you. We're sorry. It might be me because I don't hear it. It's yeah. you. Dude. It is you. you. you have what the fuck am I? Yeah, God, imagine oh, having no. you like, doing something. <laughs> this is a normal microphone. Why is it not your like microphone this, man? is cursed too? <laughs> no! <Yeah. laughs> oh, man, that's pretty cool, though. Static entering Argo's voice. Anyways. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of sick, you know? <laughs> well, now that's canon. Uh, um. Um, right now. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I, I know that they're talking and dealing with Argo's wounds, but um, I'll say that me and uh, Otto and I discovered something about the the corpses, and he'll let Otto tell them if he wants, or I can say it. Okay. Yeah, cursed. <laughs> yeah, well, we already knew that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you, Otto! <laughs> just gives us a look like, what? What? <laughs> Was that not what you meant? No. I love that. Otto just wanted to be dramatic. <laughs> they are, yeah. They are more than cursed. They were, I mean, they are cursed. Truly. They were normal ones. Like, not like you and me, Argo, but like... Estella, like Vivi, like Otto, these were drow. These were normal elves with two arms, two eyes. Yeah, didn't say anything. She's <laughs> <laughs> did, I cut, did, did I cut off for a second? No, 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 no. We're all just yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah off as jockey as well. Mm -hmm. While there's a bit of a lull though, Alt would like to go around pretty much everyone that's injured, healing them with the healer's kit. Okay. Oh, even Argo? Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see when he gets there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, suddenly his eyes turn black. You are <laughs> <You> cursed. <laughs> this place is cursed. Uh, yeah, so I don't have any clue as to who's actually injured though, so... If, uh, if, I think it's mostly Argo. It's all yeah, Argo. It's Argo priority. Did you I even take a hit? Uh, did Otto did take a hit at all? Uh, I did one, two, the rocks, and then one bite. That's what I took. Man. <laughs> they are cursed. <laughs> That's an amazing thing. I'm so happy that happened. Um, <laughs> Why did he say it like that? I don't know, but he said it with a lot of like vigor. He was excited to say it. <laughs> um, so, uh, assuming is, is the gang still talking amongst themselves, or like, if you remember right before the battle, like essentially it was towards the end of night, and you guys were looking for a place to camp. So you guys mm -hmm. can talk amongst yourself if you want, or head to bed essentially. Wait, have we set? Have we found a place to set up camp? Um, Maybe you would have looked, on the way, but you would have like assumed based on the rocky outlines nearby that you could pretty decently find like shelter from the from the snowstorm, basically. Yeah, should I go scout that out? Okay. Signal the group over. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. I got the whole shebang. The whole shebang. Um, yeah. Oh, I'll just yeah. ask Otto if we should burn them. I do not know. They seem to burn in the holy flame of this 
spear, but I do not know if regular flame will have the same effect. Um, real quick, about how long have you guys been like over these bodies? I think you've been doing a few checks, like taking your time examining them, right? Yeah. Okay. It seems like d over during this time, all of the ichor has been trying to like, almost on its flowing out of its own, um, like away from the body, pulling away from the body, um, and appears to be like leaning towards the south, flowing that way, even if it's going uphill. Just so you know, I... that's happening. Okay. So, as soon as we set up camp, Bella is going to go. Um, I, I don't think Gar wants to do it anymore. I need someone, a volunteer, to draw my blood, please. Sure. Um, I think, what? oh, I was going to say, I think Gar, Gar would actually say she would do it again. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, had his hand on his knife ready to go for it. Mm. I'm going to make, uh, <laughs> like I'm going to make a decision here. Uh, Argo didn't start moving towards camp. He just kind of s stayed standing still. Okay. Come on, come on, buddy. Um, Quiddle on the shoulder. I don't. I don't think he says anything. I think it's a very... Because he has a 15-foot moving speed right now. It's a very slow trudge over there. And I... I don't know what he'd do in this situation. Uh, Quid, may I have a moment with him? Sure. A alone? Yeah, please. Oh, okay. Um, I'll, s I'll go start gathering some firewood. Uh, so I'll wait till he walks away. And then just say to big guy, takes out the the ring from his pocket that he'd been holding this whole time. <laughs> Aww. So, I, I am sorry I let you down. That I should have been by your side when they pounced on you. It is my duty to take blows like this, and we're alone right now, right? Yeah. If I show any sign of change, I need you to kill me. I will do that. But I do not want to. You are my friend, Otto. And I think he does he does that like extend the hand way too far for a regular handshake, so it has to be like <laughs> to the to the forearm handshake. Oh predator handshake. <laughs> <laughs> handshake. Muscle boat bros. Muscle bro handshake. Excellent. The jocks are bonding. <laughs> <laughs> no. Come, let me try and patch you up a bit before we go. Very and then well. he's gonna take out the healer's kitten again, try and splint up all the stabs and bites and things. Because right. so. this will be all Argo's healing, because he no longer gains anything from resting. <laughs> Uh, so what's that? 8 plus 5. 13. 13. 13. Alrighty. He has one point right. more than when he started today. You guys do have healing potions too. Probably. Yeah, but as a reminder, you do also have those. Uh, Ooh, yeah. 15. Those, those are expensive though, you know. Yeah, we... <laughs> <laughs> they were expensive. Yeah. It was all of Quid's money, in fact. It, it was, quite literally. Yeah. That was a personal choice he made. That's true. I don't remember really all of Quid's money, but... Quid, how much do you have left over? I got pocket change. That's what I figured. Okay. Good. I'm glad that's If it makes you broke. feel better... I, it took 25 gold out of my pocket, so... Oh, that's, mm -hmm. that does make him feel better, surely. Yeah. I still think, yeah. um... Argo keeps a distance from the camp proper because he's very afraid of what will happen overnight. Okay. Uh, I'd like to say Otto would still have a, a couple more words to say before truly leaving you, though, if you're up for it. Yep. Yeah, right. uh, in regards to your letter you gave me, not all gods are trying to kill us. The one I serve is trying to help us. That is why I am here. But we shall talk more on this when you are better. I... Uh, 
Thank you. I would like that. Come now, I must get back to the camp. I cannot have people knowing we were talking to. Bro's still racist. He walks away like you're one of the good ones, Argo. <laughs> 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 oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. It's um, okay. hilarious. So just like a short walk away, essentially, you found a decent outcropping um, that looks like it's not like a sheer valley like set for an ambush, essentially. If you're looking at the map, you might think that, but um, just a little uh, alcove um, set apart from the wind, um, offering a bit of shelter, and I assume that's what the group has been setting up. Um, and um, if you guys have anything you want to speak to with to you know each other, you guys can do that now, and you can also take any camp actions that you wish as well, or any other camp actions action. aside from that. Yep. Raw my blood, Gar. Oh, that was totally a thing that was happening. Yeah. <laughs> what are you What are you doing that for? Like, is that your camp action? Are you doing that as like a thing for that, or is it just kind of like? For fun. Yeah. It's going to be a very quick test that I don't think it'll take okay. like 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. She'll, she'll help you. Okay. Don't miss this time. So <laughs> she hands her a syringe. She goes, Oops, I haven't disinfected that one. That was for the. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> Here's the other one. Okay. And she takes it. <laughs> All right. Uh, stick me, Gar. <laughs> um so Pick me, Gar. she she asks like um actually no so she this time mm -hmm. she she pulls out a little kit and um takes out a tourniquet and like puts it over your arm and uh ties it you can tell it looks like she's been practicing um, doing oh. something like this. And oh. uh, then she takes the syringe and like feels and like finds where the vein is and like whatever and sticks it in and um, misses <laughs> and, <then> she, <laughs> and tries again. And this time she got it. And this time uh, she misses. And then it feels, and then she just fucking stabs over and over. No, uh, yeah, the last time was rough. Right, yeah. No, and then she, uh, this time she gets it and draws the blood. Are you just trying to fill up like a vial or what? No, that's like, that's like a quarter of my blood. Um, just oh, like, shit. like the, yeah. <laughs> just like Small. the bottom of a vial, basically. We just need a little okay. bit. Yeah, so she just takes a little bit and uh, gives it to you, takes a little tourniquet off and puts it away you've gotten so good gar wow have you been practicing um you see she, she smiles like pretty big and like proud and says yeah i uh i actually went to the library um <laughs> where we're supposed to go and i actually found a book and um it gave some some pointers on how to do this kind of stuff better so i figured you might ask me again and i wanted to not mutilate your arm so yeah uh, you only had like missed once this time versus like <laughs> I, I don't know like six times last time oh. yeah it was bad it was bad last time <laughs> it was bad. this one was much better yep but uh still don't really like doing it but if i'm gonna do it then we want to have it done right well if you're so inclined to help. Maybe you'll want to uh -oh. come watch for the next part. <laughs> oh, she says, uh, I think I have to get back to my training, but uh -oh. um, let me know how it goes. Don't okay. <laughs> She's going to whip out the blood. Um, whip out the black acre. Yep. And mix the two and see what happens. So you, I assume you're putting the blood in the that vial. Um, no, what no. she's going to do is the blood and then put a small amount of the black ichor to see what it does if oh. it like latches on. Interesting. 
How much black acre? If there's a, t- if there's How like are you ten, getting it? Are you taking it by hand? Or a range, bitch. A range. Don't range. Don't okay. just, I just want to make sure that's what's happening. That's all. Pull it up. I'm know? not. I'm not touching it. And she is I doing tried. this in front of everyone, by the way. It's not like a yeah. closed caption thing. Closed caption. Okay. Closed yeah. caption. <laughs> shut, shut the fuck yeah. up. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so if there's, like, ten, ten points of blood, she puts in, like, two points of black acre, basically. I got you. Okay. I got a cocktail. A cocktail. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um, Funky. at the moment, it looks like the two are just sitting and he's, like, so when you take out the ichor and put it in, for a moment, it starts, like, sloshing up against the walls, trying to, like, head towards, like, the south as you, as it has been, like, in the past, and then it just settles. At least... You know, for now, it doesn't appear to be interacting with the blood. Yeah, she corks it and she yeah. puts it in her pack. Then, see what happens tomorrow. Okay. Um. All right. Um. Are there any other things being happening uh, before um, you guys head to bed? Um, are you guys doing any camp actions? <laughs> it's fine if not, or anything aside from that, especially. I'll go have a conversation with Vivi. I haven't done that in a long time. Hi. Vivi was just saying to the fire. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll go up to her. Uh, I mean, we haven't talked in day, 24 hours or so, and we've ca- killed, we've stacked a couple dozen, near a dozen bodies already. How? How are you feeling? <laughs> you say that, and it's like a stack of cards, like, blows away. She's like, oh, terrible, terrible. It's... I don't I feel like every single turn we make we try to help people and more people end up dead. Maybe not by our hand, sometimes by our hand. Just like it's a trail of bloodshed after bloodshed. I don't sometimes I feel a bit weak. I mean everyone deals with it so easily. They walk in and out of combat like nothing ever happens and I I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, that's a lie. I know exactly how I feel about it. I just don't like how I feel about it. Yesterday was quite gruesome in the alleyway. I mean, I've uh, done my fair share of foraging through situations like that, but uh, to have it done by my hand up close and personal is most terrible. <laughs> um... We've been fairly uh, unlucky, not truly been blessed by Kellic in our confrontations these days. Every turn we make, there's eyes watching us, people ready to kill. Just wanted to enjoy a ball, I just wanted to have a nice ride to save my friends. I liked what you did with the crow. Well, uh, not the first part. The second part. <laughs> first part. You, you liked the stabbing more than the shooting down. <laughs> I liked the the burying. Oh, thanks. You know, when you said that the first three weeks with us were the best three weeks of your life, is that is that, is that still true? <sighs> I mean, I suppose it's been nice to do magic. I I don't know. All this power has been inviting more and more trouble. I I I miss just being an apprentice. I miss just collecting reagents in the woods. I was hungrier then. I don't know. I know exactly what you mean. It's like, I don't know, you you can do so much more with it comes with so much, sometimes you wonder if it's worth it. I don't... This is a bit of a divergence. I was gonna ask Otto this question, but I feel like you're also a candidate. How do you do it? How do you look a man in the eye? Kill him. And then walk away and absolve yourself from that sin. 
I'm not blaming you for anything. I just want to know how you deal with it. I mean, um... He'll take the coin, the iron coin from the Told the Dead uh, blood drawing uh, from his pocket and just kind of fiddle with it between his hands a little bit, um, from finger shaking, just a little bit. Uh, or a lot of it. Um, <laughs> absolve is a, a funny word. Religious people use it sometimes. Uh, kind of a little bit of a hoax, I think. Not uh, Those things don't really leave you. But, I mean, with what we're doing, if... Uh, you have to always look at the next the next gamble, the next win, even with all the losses. Tomorrow, if we can save Argo, then maybe there's some value in what we did, we've done. A really hopeful way of looking at it. We can always win back gold. We can always have luck turn around. Lives don't come back. You don't have to make up a loss like that. I think that's the hard part. He looks. At, he definitely looks at his own body and hands when you say lives don't come back. Um. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um. Yeah. On a, on another note, I I am nearing broke again. I did not expect her to spend all all I don't don't tell her that I said this to you, but I did catch a glimpse at her coin purse and I'm pretty sure she still has a lot more money left. I think she just spent all of yours. I no. No way. She wouldn't do that. I feel if she admitted it in person, if it doesn't matter or not, but, um, no, she wouldn't do that. Would she? No. Mm. No. Maybe I just saw of him seeing things. It's a bit of a there. Maybe I'll have a look, see myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but. I don't know. Thank you, Quinn, for talking to me. <laughs> Appreciate it. It just gives you a hug. Aw. What are you uh, going to be doing tonight, uh, camp action-wise? I'll help out. Uh, I think we all have enough rations. I don't think I'm bother hunting besides this side of the land. I'm not really good for that sort of thing. Oh, um, do you want to try cooking then? Um, and he'll take out Heddle, Heddleguard's cookbook. Yeah. That's amazing, but what do we have to cook with? Do you want me to throw my rations into boiling water and make a really shitty stew? <laughs> That's actually the first recipe on Hiddle Garden's <laughs> cookbook! <laughs> really shitty stew! <laughs> shitty ration stew! Shitty ration stew. I feel like this is more of a detriment for me because I have to eat it. But sure, <laughs> we can make <laughs> this. Let me do that for the night. Yeah, we'll yeah. try the cooking camp action, maybe. I would also like to mention that as uh, Otto and Argo were leaving the camp, yeah. if you turn to look back, just like the wolf camp, you would see the same cloud of fog mm -hmm. cover the bodies of the monsters that are laying there. Okay. To um, close out Argo for the night, um... I think, again, he takes a distance away from the camp where everything's dark and, like, he's sitting on a rock or something. And it hits him sometimes, and this is definitely one of the nights where it hits him, how separate he feels from everything around him. He, he loves his friends. Like, they're the only friends he's ever had besides Warren. And... He could have very well killed Quid this morning. And there's a chance he might transform into a horrible monster. And I think... I think right there, he decides he's hit a point of no return. And he, sitting on that rock, feeling... just He just wants to protect 
everyone. And he doesn't know if he can do that for much longer. So tonight, while he's sitting there, he elects to not enter stasis and not risk attacking his friends by just taking a level of exhaustion normally. Okay. Alright. Uh, as a final thing, seeing Argo kind of go off to the side, Stella's gonna kind of approach him after the whole blood ordeal. Gonna go, do you feel alright? And I think his ring... It's, it's not a deep blue, but it does swap to blue as he just quietly goes, No, I do not believe I do. I suppose it would be hard to feel alright after everything that happened. We all know you didn't mean to attack Quid. Stella, there is... A very real chance I can transform like those elves did. I'm aware. And then it swaps to a mix of blue and purple and he goes, I'm scared, and stop. I am too. I... I've seen what a curse can do to someone. It's terrifying. And I don't want that to happen to you. I have pondered about what if this woman cannot heal me? Then we find another way. What if we run out of time? We won't. I don't, I don't want to hurt. Do not wish to hurt my friend. I have pondered. It is better if we do not risk it. What are you suggesting? She looks a little upset at what she thinks you're suggesting. Um. I he doesn't answer. For a while, and it's just like that perhaps it would be better if I'm taken out before I am a risk. Mm -hmm. Okay, she opens her mouth to say something and then kind of closes it, and the anger just kind of fades to a genuine kind of sadness. And she puts a hand on her scarf for a second. And she goes, My friend gave this to me. Um, I, I felt, <laughs> felt scared many times on this travel, but it, it makes me feel safe. Like, like I'm still at home. And I think maybe you need a little bit of safeness right about now. And for the first time since you've met her, she's going to take it off and she's going to tie it around Argo's neck where the wound is. And I think you see, even though purple and the purple and blue never leave the uh, ring, there is just a little spiral of yellow that appears. Like it's like the yellow is hitting every other color in the ring. It'll be okay. We're me and Quid, we're the smartest people in what? A hundred mile radius. You are we're the smartest person I've right. ever met. Thank you. Now try and get some sleep. I'm going to go look for something to ease the pain. I got a recipe from Eladra. Eladra? I think that was her name. Not good with names. That could wait until the morning. You should rest as well. I will. And she just kind of like pats him on the arm. Good night, Argo. 
as, as she starts like walking away, I assume, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, he just goes, I care for you. And then, <laughs> that's it. He doesn't know how, be how better to word it. Uh, she'll just look back at that and smile. <laughs> Double thumbs up as she turns around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then she's gonna go back to camp. Alright. He doesn't sleep. <laughs> Alright. Um. Alrighty. Um. <coughs> so, just trying to go around the table. Um, seems like Vivian Quaid, you guys are doing the cooking action. Um. And Stella, what, what is specifically <coughs> Like just going into the mechanics of it before we do the long rest. Pardon? Uh, are you? So you said you were. Are you making that? Or are you going straight to bed? Oh, we're, we're gonna yeah make that. Sorry. Okay. Um. All right. Um. Could you elaborate on that? I apologize. I've been so like invested in some of these scenes. Could you uh, elaborate <laughs> on uh, what exactly you're doing, real quick, for me? No, it's okay. The role play has been like astronomical. I know. Um. <laughs> So what I did was I bought the ingredients that Eldra, Arth can't remember the name. It's not even I, Stella. Eldira or, or yes, <laughs> Eldira, yes. that's what it was. Um, yeah, she bought the ingredients and she's going to try and make like the salve that Eldira kind of suggested for pain easing. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, uh, according to the rules, you can go ahead and make that roll. Um, Apologies, I have to pause every once in a while for a cough. Um, <laughs> uh, Blair, Otto, what are you doing? Yes. Are you doing any camp actions over the night? Uh, not any of the specific camp actions, but I have a couple of things planned, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, of course. Let me know. So, first thing he's going to do is he's going to heal his kit himself. Okay. That's cool with you. Of course. Because he is pretty injured, so that's, you can say, 11. Uh... And then he's going to take a short rest as like people are getting prepared to go to bed. Things so he'll pretend to do likewise. Okay. Uh, so if you bear with me just a moment, we'll have some hit dice. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's about to help with one hit dice. Um, and then he's going to get up hopefully after everyone else has gone into their tents mm -hmm. and he's gonna just go up next to if quid is still out and about yes uh i'm waiting uh, eating the horse <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah. um and then he's just gonna take a kneel in prayer uh, get a candle out cast light on it and he's oh. just gonna stay kneeling there the whole night just still in like full armor still but like looking in the direction of Argo okay um alright are you I assume I assume you are trying to go for um a rest this night as opposed to doing what Argo did right no, no, I said just a short rest. Just he is short rest. Okay. He's staying up. Because you said uh, it would be one more would make it to the, where we're headed the That's next correct. day. Yes. Yeah, right. so he's going to stay up. Uh, what you say? We are missing a horse. So. Yes, <laughs> yeah, You're but... missing two horses. Two? Wait, what? Oh, no. Why? One, one, one ran away, the other one died. That one ran away! He oh, ran Lord. away! Uh, man. Curious which one that was. Gar small. We can we can make it. We can I was it. it was Craig. Craig. Well, I'm old Craig. I Craig died. The cow. That pussy. No, Craig. No. Craig's over. Craig, 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 Craig's over here. Yeah. Craig didn't take a single hit, and that motherfucker ran. He ran. He ran. Craig <laughs> bolted. I remember that now. Yeah, it is Craig who ran. Oh, Four. there was something else I wanted to do. So I wanted to use my harness divine power to use my channel divinity to get a spell slot back as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Nice. Isn't it all right if Argo takes a short rest because, like, yeah, it's going to be a can, long. You can, I will say you yeah. can do the short rest and gain those hit dice back. Same for you, okay. um, Blair, Otto. Yeah, I've used my one hit dice that I wanted to use. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to use two because I have a lot to. 
to go. Um, I'm going to say that like we'll resolve these camp actions later. I think that um, no rolls are going to be needed to be made for the curse. Since you guys are both staying up um, throughout the night. Um, and real quick, I, I think I should probably address some of the camp actions. So, um, one thing I would like to say is, I don't want to be a real stickler, but where are you getting the meat from? For, so, uh, camp action rules as written, um, you do need, like, fresh meat, essentially, or fresh ingredients, um, to make something. Yeah, no, we were chatting in the <laughs> game chat. Yeah. We realized. Oh, I, I didn't see that, okay. Um, so yeah, what, did you have any plans, um... Or are you just gonna do something else? Or what was your plan for that? I apologize. Are we using the horse meat? I mean, Is that I don't want to suggest it, but you totally can. It would be a waste not to, right? Yeah. I mean, if I if Otto suggests it. Yeah, the resident <laughs> horse boy is telling you we to do it, bro. We were just for Otto to say it was okay. Yeah, because <laughs> Otto suggests it. That's we're all just like looking here. hungrily at this thing, and Otto's like, no. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Does anybody remember? Because I don't. How did it die? Um, uh, this horse was quit killed it. Yeah, quit killed it. And then had the Yeah, it's tender now. Matt was like, God, is it infected right now? I think that's yeah, what I was okay, like, I yeah. I have I one hit sorry, dice. You guys left. would know it's probably infected, but it's not. It's not, no. No, because Quid just killed it. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, nah. It's tenderized. It, it just took a little bit of a tumble with that Magnus White gravity. Actually, it's mostly metal shavings, right? But still. Um,. So yeah, you can use that if you want for sure. Um, to make it. Uh, so I got. Yeah, second. we go back into the semi-translucent fog. <laughs> Maybe yeah. walks up, kind of sees the fog, and she gets a little flustered and <laughs> walks into it anyway. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, but it probably would be your camp action to like break it down. And, like, can we? Speed. There's two people involved, so yeah, we, we can, can split. That. Yeah, and the other one could cook. Yeah, I'll go get the horse and okay. Can and the right. man without. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's tasted stuff before and recently. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, I could do this. Uh, um, you but... herself more than I like the horse that she does quit. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was gonna say like, uh, if Vivi's going to go uh, butcher the horse, I mean, I'm like kind of. Well, we can roll separately, but I wanted to like just help her out through the whole thing. Okay. Um. Be assistant to her in the butchering, and uh, she could be assistant to me in the cooking. But sure. um, well, the way that we've that we did it though is it would be your camp action to help or to assist. Her. Uh, no, not mechanically helping, just the. Oh, flavor. okay, yeah, okay, just cool. flavor wise, yeah. Um, as we go into the get the horses though, um, Quid's gonna uh, seeing the four bodies here. Can we? Can I see them at all, Vivi, or is it like way too thick, dog? No, it's not entirely thick yet. Like you could see. Okay. I'm gonna, um, I have Firebolt now, actually. Oh. Um, I, I flavor that as, like, I make the coin, make my, uh, coins spin extremely rapidly until they're kind of, like, molten hot. Ooh. Um, I will do four of those and just kind of, like, place them on the forehead of these corpses. Just let that burn, kind of, as a, uh, through the night. Alright. Excellent. Okay. I'm so glad I can't smell. <laughs> creates an yeah. amazing smell in your camp. It's delicious, yeah. yeah it's not exactly you gotta ask questions about why you find it appealing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, just wanted to give them, um, you know, some proper rights. Okay. Um, so yeah, you do that, and they are currently blazing. So it would probably take a while, so you know, stick and wait and watch them burn. Um, so you bring the, uh, you butcher the meat and you bring it over. Um, I would like a, uh, survival check for the cooking. Uh, coming from me? Actually, no, we split it. So it would it be uh, quick? We would, we did split it. Um, oh, sorry. I said, well, whatever. I, I, I will cast, I have a lot of spells, so I will cast <laughs> enhance ability, um, for, with the Kurog fur to give them, make us more wise. Uh, could I also cast guidance while I'm not really doing anything? <laughs> We're, away, We're so away. desperate for some good food, bro. Always <laughs> well, we yeah. Those are have, amazing. I only have two rations left, so you know. It's... <laughs> Don't worry. Oh man, how does Otto feel about the fact that we're cooking horses? He said it was okay, but how does he feel really? It's another benefit of horses. Well, uh, he's <laughs> sad that the life has been lost, but content knowing that at least it is not for nothing. 
Don't worry. Argo has beast sense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, He's a part of this. Yeah. Um, Do you guys, like, turn the other horses away while you're doing <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good question. Guys, she's, like, she's... lugging on screen. The other oh. horses give each other a side eye and, like, shuffle away. Yeah, yeah it's it's maybe, about, feels, about... maybe it feels bad. She tried to hide it. <laughs> yeah, like, we're gonna wake, wake up with three horse. less horses. <laughs> I don't know. She I think you guys should... Smoke. Yeah. You guys should, while you're eating it, loudly talk about what you're gonna do when you get your hands on the horse that ran away. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, it's so tasty! I hope another one of them dies tomorrow. <laughs> no. We gotta track down Craig. Uh, we gotta track down Craig. I bet he'd be delicious. Yeah. But no, uh, it, it's a solemn affair. I'll help PP. Um, uh, kind of whatever I can. Uh, enhance ability to butcher the horse. Matt, what were you thinking for the like for this aspect of it? Like, I'm trying to see where you. Uh, was. Yeah, so I don't think you have to roll anything to harvest meat from the horse. Like, yeah. you would be pretty well uh, okay. able to do that. It would be like if you were trying to go out and hunt something, mm. no. then you would no. roll. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But since you already have the meat, you just you still would need to like spend your action to harvest it. Um, but. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. I don't think there's a rule for it. I, I've assumed that was it, but I was just double checking that you weren't like saying, "Oh no, it's part of foraging," so or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to see if you were trying to like add a role here. Okay, so yeah, the only role needed for this whole process would be the survival for cooking. Okay. Yeah. So that I'll enhance ability on myself. I will also say we haven't gotten to it yet, right? But you do get a plus one on this because you have Hadelard. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, anytime you want to, like over like the next week or something, you can like send me all the books you read, or I'll check your notion. I think you've been note, note keeping it pretty well. And yes, there's one book I'm missing, but I'll add up all of those bonuses for you. But yeah, you would get a plus one on this. Oh, that's Imagine fucking awesome. reading. Sick. <laughs> it's a big plus one. Yeah. Loser. It's so sick. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay, so uh, here comes the roll. Uh, that is a, I guess a 16. Okay. Um, is that, that West so Guidance? Yeah, you have oh, guidance. oh, Guidance? Oh. Take that. Take that 17. <laughs> 17. So I believe that is still in the mid as fuck range. Uh, hey! <laughs> I didn't, I, that was Matt's name, but also it's pretty good. No. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you didn't make a simple meal, you made a mid meal. Um. So that is going to be plus five temp HP um, to everybody for that, basically. I will elect for Argo not to get that because he's not at camp. Okay, that makes 100% sense. Um, I think everybody else would, though. Yeah. Anybody who wants to eat it. Yeah. yeah partake in it. <laughs> but, or, or he's just going to shove it in his hole. <laughs> <laughs> we did, we did he, he, can. he can. He can. He can get the bonus, even though he can't <laughs> eat. I'm just oh, so glad wow. everyone's enjoying the meal. Yeah. One yeah. Food for I'm the sitting there and I'm like describing it too quid as I eat it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so <laughs> mean. You're you definitely mean making really it sweet. sound it's better. better. No, I think she's trying to be sweet, but that's mean as hell. <laughs> no, quid likes that. That's more than. <laughs> oh my god. That's a lot. It's like food ASMR. Like you could. There's an. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's almost like. Mm, that's so good. Yeah. Yeah. I it's a mukbang. Yeah. Oh, god. I hate that oh, word, god. but it is that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So I believe that is. Uh, oh, we still have Estella. Your uh, camp action. Um, yeah. Okay. I bought the ingredients. It's just crafting it. Yes, essentially. Um, this was Matt's character. I'm assuming that sent this, right? Uh, the, Wait, the what? Thing. What? So it wasn't Eldira. It was. What? It was Eldira, not Edith, that gave this, right? Oh. Uh. Yeah. You don't. Was. You don't have to do anything. You're just doing the uh, pain thing, right? Yeah. The, the one that like yeah. helps pain. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. Have to fantasy Advil. Fantasy? Yeah. It is that. That's what it is. That's what Matt said. No roll yeah. David. I was just double checking since I wasn't like It's not, yet. yeah, it's not gonna like heal anything. Um, it no. just kind of takes the edge off. Okay. How many uses of it would you say I have? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's say just... 10. 10? Okay. Yeah. You can mass produce this, keep selling <laughs> Advil. It's gonna go great. How, how, much... how much Advil I got, guys? Yeah. Yeah, I don't um, remember how if, much on that. Let me see. 
if that's uh, everyone's stuff for the day, uh, before we all go to bed, Estella's gonna cast alarm or alarm. Is it called alarm? Yeah, yeah. Like, alarm. Alarm at the entrance of the camp. So okay. I don't know how. Yeah, just in case for Argo. Okay. Yeah, so the entrance is about it's about twenty five feet. So she'll cast it like kind of in the middle, but that's it'll do a mental beep if anyone you said crosses it. Versus the bell noise. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. gonna be a mental ping. And right. You see her pouring a red substance and then kind of drawing stuff into it with her finger. Okay. And that is the alarm spell. Alrighty. Uh, do you want me to help with that, Estella? I can do the same thing I did for Argo earlier today. What did you do for Argo earlier today? Well, it didn't go off because Argo didn't walk into it. But if he did walk into the doorway, he'd be hopefully hauled up into a trap. I suppose it makes sense that you would know how to do traps like that. Yeah, I'd love help. Sure. And she's gonna do the same thing she did. Where it's like the pieces of hair blow into the air, white circle on the ground. And so where the alarm spell is, there's also a trap in place. So we nice. get the alert and the trap is there. We're secure. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, Quiddle sit next to Otto, crisscross applesauce, and just power off kind of there. <laughs> All right, so I believe that is all the camp actions, yes? Mm -hmm. so, I think that's everything. Um, all right, so the night passes. No checks are needed um, for the curse. Um, you, I believe, both take an extra point of an exhaustion. Mm -hmm. um, and you feel that. Um, uh, but you don't seem to notice any differences to the curse itself, at least yet, is what I would say. Like, the, the feelings that you've been feeling, you don't seem to notice any developments in that. You just feel more exhausted. It's a different feeling, is what I would say. Um, still bad. Still pretty shitty. But it's a different I feeling. Am. Is what Three I levels say. away from death. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I would say Father Vivi is the first to awake. Um, no alarm was tripped um, in the night. And... Uh, for this day, you guys all have plus 5 HP um, in addition to whatever you gained back. Um, yeah. So it's yours, guys. I'm not going to go on much further, likely, just as a heads up, but... Oh, we still going? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking about who we are. <laughs> not, by a, not for a long bit. Don't worry about it too much. It won't okay. take too long, but yes. Okay. I didn't want to go slightly further. Um, I had one action I wanted to do in the really early morning. Okay, uh, uh, I want to take one of the jade earrings that I got from Malaborn's mansion. Okay. I will use that as a spell component for magic mouth. Um, attach that to a just a gold coin, and kind of just uh, flip it so it goes kind of heads up or f heads down, whatever, right over here in the center of the road. Um, and just leave a message for when any traveler next comes about it, just uh, in these guys' memory, you know. Uh, four, four elves had their luck run out a long time ago, and now they've been put to rest. And that's it. Okay, okay that sounds so badass, and it does not sound like... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good, but you don't know. Yeah. Maybe it sounds game like game. it sounds like a bounty hunter came through here. <laughs> it did. It's kind of, yeah, like, Hugh must be paid made his way through here. Yeah. <laughs> you must be paid. Yeah. It's a uh, quiz voice, so it's very sad and somber. <laughs> oh. do, do you oh. have to say it to that coin then? I do. And are you doing it while Otto is still kneeling and <laughs> praying next to you? Sure. Because uh, if you do, he's just going like, to turn around and just, just like, give you the side eye. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> the side eye. Amazing. So. You'll return the look because what? The <laughs> 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 we are just spider man in each other, like what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's all Quid wanted to do in the morning. Okay. Um, anything happening before you guys set up to on the road, real quick? Uh, just a quick update on how Argo's looking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, when he's not the first one up, which is shocking. As in, he doesn't he doesn't start moving until he needs to. Yeah. And 
at first look at him, because there is light, it looks like his lights have gone out. That's how dim they are. Uh, and it's only after somebody, like, after only after he notices movement in the camp, it's, he's not moving like a person does anymore. He's moving like a doll that is being forced to move. Like, his ri- like his wrists are completely, are limp until they need to be moving. Only the parts of him that have to move in order for him to move are moving. There is no wasted movement because if there's wasted movement, there's a threat he can collapse. Because that's how little power he's running on right now. Alright. Okay. Um, uh, before, before we set out, I was yeah. gonna, just going to ask Quid real quick. Quid, I need to talk to you. I'm just going to like kind of wave him over. Does it respond? What? <laughs> no, he, no, he will. Okay. <laughs> Does it respond? The mad. <laughs> he, brings out, he brings up the hand. <sighs> um, he comes over. Does does he look mad? No, I, I don't think he. You didn't get to do anything last night to find the any detective work. Oh, that's fair. Any IRS work? Any IRS, IRS work. work? I had a favor to ask. If you don't mind? Can I get some more money? <laughs> <laughs> Sugar daddy me up. Uh, no, that's not. That's not it. That's not it. Yeah. So. Okay. She opens her notebook, and uh, a lot of the pages that you've seen are kind of, they're written in common. Like, they're easy read. She flips kind of to the pages towards the front of the book, and it's not so easy to read. And it is very much, it's ciphers. Mm -hmm. So, I, no one can really read this except for me and Amber, and she looks at Amber who's probably, like, licking her ass or something. And... <laughs> Thanks for the she had, Does she have two ass or she has two tails? <laughs> oh, I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> Good question that I don't want to think about. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to quote Matt, quote Matt. Does she yeah. have two asses? <laughs> no. Two tails. Has, <laughs> she doesn't she even have, need to shit, bro. Does she have two asses? Well, she does. There's no <laughs> wall where she okay, would. She doesn't need to shit. Anyway, why'd you, anyway, why yeah. did you give her an ass? I didn't. <laughs> yes. Anyways, um, no. My ask was maybe that I could teach you how to read this. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I can't this cipher it is it upside down um but... well she shows it to you you can make a dc 20 uh intelligence check if you want hell yeah sure slay go go no 18 <laughs> oh that was so close though um but yeah uh she's like yeah i know it's it's hard to decipher i i had a lot of time back home and i kind of came up with this but anyways, I just don't want my notes to kind of go to ruin. Um, should I, you know, and she kind of um, what's the thing? copies what you did with the bird and, and does the neck thing. What? I, I mean, in character, I'll be like, what? K- kill yourself? Don't... No. What? I don't kill myself. What are you talking about? <laughs> if I die. She screams this. <laughs> oh yeah, she was trying to be quiet. She fully screams that Bounces part. Off the rocks. <laughs> die, 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 die. <laughs> Wait, I got really confused there. <laughs> or I guess, I guess Ryan did. Because no, you did the neck thing with the bird. Kill it. But you said the the you don't want your notes to to go to what? ruin to like not be able to be read. Oh 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 okay. Following <laughs> connecting the dots. <laughs> okay yeah yeah yeah. Doing detective work now. Um, I mean. Do you, I, I, that's kind of, I, I, I'm happy to learn for learning's sake, but I, that seems like a pretty extreme measure to take for a situation, for that situation. Is it? I nearly died yesterday, yesterday, two days ago. I mean, okay. I, it's true, yep. Yeah. Did you tell Quid about what you did with the bristle brew? 
No, she hasn't told anyone. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know what you've done with all your cook- cooking, but seeing what you did with the dragon's vein, I can only imagine that there's at least something there. I, I'd, I'd be happy to pass it down. There's a kind of another part to it. Um, if I die, my old man dies. I'm what? the only one. Oh, well, yeah, I'm the only one who can take care of him. So I would really appreciate if you maybe kind of continued on the route of trying to find this cure. The... Oh. The coordinates to my home are in these notes, in the ciphers, because I don't want random people stealing my book. So you and you alone would know it. I, I mean, uh, is he a nice guy? Yeah, he is. Then okay. I... Hmm. No, never mind. Oh, I'm sorry. I've changed a lot. Oh, cut, cut them. Um, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty honored that you think I could take care of him, but I'm pretty sure in a situation where you die, I'm going to die too. But, yes. I'll take these notes to him. I'll make sure he's seen too. If you want to... Let me hold on to a large sum of money to give to him. I would also be happy to do that. <laughs> oh, I suppose it is only fair, considering you gave me all that money yesterday to spend. Uh, she's gonna she's gonna take out two fifty to give to you. Two fifty. <laughs> oh, so this is all that was left from the purchase? You give me all your money? No. No. <laughs> mm. I. <laughs> Mm. Did you not give me that money to go buy supplies? I mean, it was only if through your own, if you're, you needed to buy things beyond your own means. Oh! Uh. oh only oh, thought I'm... you were... <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh no, here you go. I should give you the other 250. <laughs> <laughs> I fully thought you were trying to uh... What's the word? Pay for the, the supplies that we got. No, you can have that back if it's yours. I mean, I'm... Thank you. Of course. I don't need money from anything. Well, I don't love thinking of this money as, as mine. I mean, I, I still kind of think of the money as ours since we made it together. Um... But I guess I'll let you in on a secret since I'm pretty happy with getting this money. Ooh, uh, okay. I haven't I, like I haven't that. told anyone about this, but this was going to be uh, seed money to start a little group of my own. Seeing the gambit, seeing the vigil, I want one. You want a gang? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, could I be your gun supplier? What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start tinkering on this, and I'd love to make more. She pulls out a fully loaded pistol. Jesus! <laughs> the DMs are shaking in their boot now that we've like, <laughs> two players are on making a gun-themed gang. But the anyway, fact that she didn't, the fact she didn't use the gun upset me greatly. <laughs> No, I, that was a life or death situation. I only have a plus three to hit, so I was like, mm, maybe not. Okay, you'll be the muscle. No, you're, you're no, we're we're both the muscle. We're both the brains. We're yeah. we're both both of those things, of course. Yes. Like I said to Argo, we're the smartest people in a hundred mile radius of here. Quite frankly. <laughs> There's only <Yeah>. so little. <laughs> A little we can do. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of that was kind of her question. But yeah, I mean, I'll spend some time learning the cipher. I don't know if there's a mechanic for that, but evenings too. Uh, there's not. It's just a yeah. you learn it basically. It's part of the linguist feat. So she'll take like the day on horseback or whatever to just kind of walk you through it. It's probably not that hard. 
No, huh. it's not like learning a new language from scratch. No, no, no. It's just kind of like a dialect of common, basically, or of, like a mix of common and probably elvish. Hmm. Very interesting that you how you combine these. This. Did you use a little bit of? Oh, I see these newer portions. Maybe there's a little bit of old Taldosi mixed in. That's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't even realize I did that. That's a, that's a good catch actually. Thanks, Quid. I should that's start incorporating old Taldosi. Um. Yeah. I guess if there's anything else, leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. There is a, an extremely short thing, Argo. Would do because <laughs> uh, I mean he had all night to do this and that's enough time. Yeah. Uh, so in the morning, he's looking incredibly bad, and he wordlessly walks up to Vivi, sticks his hand out with a crumpled up piece of paper in it, and when she takes it, he wordlessly walks away. Okay. And I'm uh... and I'm going to send emo that message, and I'm going to send the DMs that message. I'd love if it was like blank and it's like this is a spitball. <laughs> yeah. You're really funny. Here's my garbage. Throw it out for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm improving this. Find the trash can. Um, okay. Uh gotcha, gotcha. So, real quick, I don't wanna I try I'm trying to move forward pretty quickly so we can get the thorns and roses here, guys. Um, but real quick, um just going circling back to a thing. Uh last night, Estella, you put um blood in that vial, right? Oh shit! I believe, I and and I'm only bringing yep. this up. I wouldn't normally do this, but I think you said you planned on looking at it in the morning, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, so that's why I'm bringing it up. Um, at some point during all of this, you did look at it. The blood is gone, and it does seem like there is more ooze inside, more acre. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It wasn't an instantaneous thing, but over the night, it appears that something occurred. Sticks that back in her pack. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, have two ooze vials in your backpack. <laughs> thing. I just realized, just separated. Um, yeah. Okay. Does the I'm assuming there's nothing else, and the gang heads out essentially. For I mean, it. riding as fast as we can. All right. Um. So just to speed up travel here, um, you make it through like the rocky shelf, um, that you guys were like traveling through, um, the stones that jut out and jut through, and eventually the woods get much, much denser. Um, slowly but gradually, um, you travel for the whole day. Um, the snow has stopped, um, coming down, um, over the night, and eventually you see smoke in the distance. Not an alarming amount. Oh my god. That's, that's, <laughs> that's not, it's not a repeat of Abek, guys, I promise. <laughs> um, a normal amount of smoke in the distance, um, likely from- They're all getting high. <laughs> oh no. Um, and as you turn a bend, you see Iris dead, and I think that is where we will, um, end session. I just wanted to get us to Iris dead, essentially. Woo! Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, moving on to thorns and roses here, guys. Um, just wanted to end it up pretty quickly here because I felt like it was we uh, were going a little over. So apologies about that. Yeah, sorry. A little, hey, a little. I don't bit. work. Look I don't work tomorrow. I do not work tomorrow. <laughs> apologies, guys. Probably should have ended it, but it's all good. Um, just wanted to get you guys to Iris that didn't expect all the RP, but it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, it's all good. No, seriously, it was really cool. I loved all of it. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to just roll a dice real quick, and that's where we'll start, I think. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, I'm just basically you have a special dice for it? I'm going to roll. So, what? I, you guys can go ahead and throw a system out. I have not thought this through. I was just going to roll a d20 and then just count down. Maybe that's too Why not a d6? Yeah, there's only six of us. And just go yeah, loud. Only... Yeah, okay, that's fair. Right, but isn't Actually, well, a D8. Us? Yeah, D8. D8? And... Okay. Well, the DMs like to go last, is what I was thinking. So D6, um, D6 okay. not counting DMs, sounds work. Like, that sounds like it works. Okay. Sounds fun. That is a five, so... One, two, three, four... Oh, that's me, I think. That is you. You were at the bottom. Oh. Uh, I thought it was a great session. Really fun. Um... I mean, uh, sorry, I love all the conversations with Stella, uh, with Vivi. I'm super down. <laughs> I was shocked because I didn't expect it to happen to get uh, debated by Estella with the money. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, yeah. Yeah. I love the theme of, of an impoverished quid. Even though we're getting mass sums of money, I'll always love playing into that. Um, he always RP. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. Um, I like the... I, so fucking funny the uh 
double jewelry scene. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I, I love seeing Estella with the Catchwater Sisters, because I, I, I gotta say, they felt a little useless um, the first time, um, yeah. but getting to see the double RP with the DMs, which is kind of like an amazing thing that we would only get in this campaign, uh, was incredible. I think you guys did really wonderful. Um, really showcasing that Estella's fucking awesome, man, <laughs> as, yeah. as it should be. Um, what else? That was it. I mean, I, I I thought it was really fun. I thought the combat was uh was great. I mean, it's scary. These fucking creatures are are uh, awesome looking, deadly, and also could pretty lore intensive by at the end of it, um, which I, I enjoyed. Um, I thought the only thing I this will be my only thorn because since I try to have something, um, I I, thought, I think I brought it up maybe last time or uh, in chat. I can't remember, but. If there's some way to speed up some of the mechanical nitty gritty parts of combat, like HP tracking or AC tracking or something like that, there we were trying to split that load a little bit. It was just maybe not verbal, so maybe it didn't yeah. really feel very impactful in this fight. But I was doing that a little bit more in this fight, trying to track HP and do that so Matt didn't have to. Yeah, well, that's that's great. Yeah. Um, yeah, it felt like I don't know. I, I I can never pinpoint one thing on why, but that's like the combat was. A lot of rules, of course, mounted combats, all these weird questions with fog clouds and whatnot, but, like, two rounds for almost, like, two hours is kind of crazy. No, it was. Yeah, that's true. Um, I think it was just a lot of... So, sorry, Matt, by the way, it was your combat, if you want to comment on this. I think I was... Uh, it was just a lot of, like, specific rulings that came up, I think, um, for some of it. But also, just naturally, even without that, it did go on long. I think it's your point, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, uh, I, I don't know if Matt's talking or thinking, but I'm just not hearing anything. You I'm just wanted... or or maybe... uh, yeah, Matt, I was. Yeah, yeah I was. Sitting there <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was on a long rant and rampage. No, I'm joking. Um, no, I was just going to say, I I honestly don't know how it could have been sped up anymore. Um, I even, you know, I, I'll i tell you the truth. I usually like to take my time a little bit more with that and be able to give different descriptions and stuff like that. Um, but I was trying to speed it up because I didn't want it to take a lot of time over and we ended up going a lot over anyways. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, Dane did the hit points. I'd be interested in whatever campaigns you guys are running, um, where it's taking like a shorter amount of time. But like, in my experience through all the campaigns I've ever been in, combat just takes a long time, especially when... We've got, we, mm -hmm. it's not just that we've got five players. We have five players and three of them have familiar slash yeah, that's true. wire. <laughs> so yeah. it's really like eight different characters having to go. And then I try to speed it up by having all the enemies go kind of on the same turn. And yeah, so I, I don't know what more we could do to speed it up. Um, but uh, frankly, I don't want to do anything that sacrifices the ability to make things cool and give descriptions and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, personally, but... I like the longer combats because <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's silly, but that's where Argo, <laughs> that's where Argo shines when mm -hmm. when I can describe how gruesome he is. No, I mean, I I don't think any we should sacrifice any flavor. I fucking love the combat descriptions and everything. And I again, I don't know. I don't have any specific suggestions off the top of my head. Um, like no points noted from somebody that's ran and been in a few combats. I just like it's it just something I noted for this session and last session. It just like something seemed to drag on. I I don't know. But I I'd be down to like make it just a a sweeping thing like. Horses don't get movement. Fuck mounted combat because that sucks. Or, um, yeah. Yeah. uh, well, I mean, to tell you the truth, that is something that I just kind of stumbled into. Uh, I like, I don't think Dane or I even thought about no, it was not uh, my, not that my you guys were gonna be on horses. Like, I didn't even think about that at all. I so mean, that, I knew they were gonna be, but my brand did not connect the two. Like, oh, that'll yeah. also probably show up in combat, huh? Totally yeah, fair. That, yeah. that wrinkle didn't show up. So when when we started talking about mounted combat and rules, I was like, "Fuck!" Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, Damn! Like I don't, I yeah, don't think I've ever run mounted combat before. Yeah, yeah that's why uh, just Argo combat, but... Argo just hopped off the horse, and I pretended it didn't exist from that moment on. Yeah, yeah. 
I think uh, it's cool. It, it adds certain wrinkles and stuff, um, and hopefully be better prepared for something like that in the future. But, um, but yeah, it's just a weird thing. Yeah. Um, one thing I did enjoy that, you know, just always helps speed up and I'll praise it because I love it, um, is that the, uh, you know, saying when someone's up up the bat, like next in the initiative, it, it helps because you get distracted. Yeah. 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 And I, I think I get distracted to trying to do a bunch of different things. So Dane kind of taking over the hit points thing yeah. uh, helped me to be able to do that and stay on top of that a little more too. So uh, hopefully that just gets more efficient moving forward. Mm hmm. And like, if you want, um, uh, you can. I, f I feel like some other campaigns that I've been in that have had larger uh, player things. I uh, have been assigned or will assign like small roles to other players, like putting the little dead tokens and unconscious like status tokens on p players, oh, or like yeah. just like little stupid things like that can that can shave like um, can be like a pain for for DMs and just like shave some seconds off, you know? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't think it's necessary really to assign anything to players because we have two DMs. But I, I think I totally get what you're saying. So like if, uh, like if one of us is kind of handling those background things, yeah. I think we very easily can do that. Like this combat, I was just tracking HP um, to assist, and I think in future combats, especially me and Matt were talking about this when we were um, in VC for that very very long time. I think I'll probably end up. Control it. Like, I don't know if you remember in Abek, I controlled a, an NPC at one point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll probably do that a little bit more. Maybe. Um, we'll see uh, where the combats go, if it makes sense. Um, yeah, like even getting you as Gar might be. Me as Gar. Might save time. Uh, I don't know. At least mechanically. Um, maybe. I don't know. I like the idea of Matt doing it, but we'll see. That's true. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll, like, we'll figure some stuff out and just keep trying to improve. Really. Yeah, there's definitely ways to improve. And we're super open. Um, to suggestions like that. that i think that's a really cool one uh ryan yeah for sure oh yeah that's me thanks for being open to that conversation yeah yeah roll the dice again hey -o. oh is now that, it's is that how we're doing we're, yeah okay um or, or, am i gonna popcorn i don't know we could no let's, I'm let's trying, do one d4 we're discovering the system as we go do you want me to roll again here yeah, you, wanna, you can use a. That'd be fun if you use Google and just be like, well, "Now roll a one d four. Now roll a one d three. Now roll a one d two. We should get a wheel to do like, names. Is one. Oh, oh, a wheel. Oh, a wheel, oh, a wheel oh, would be oh, fun. I can yeah. get a wheel. It just might take. Like, it might not be there next week, but I can get that. We can find an online uh, yeah. one. The online one. Yeah. Oh, we can fuck. get one on online. Yeah. Okay, so we can have that by next week. I also love the idea of having a physical one. <laughs> <That'd be great. laughs> an just an actual real-life wheel. Oh, ready to buy I it. Did. I want one. It's, it's fun. <laughs> no, I I'm fine. You. <laughs> yeah. you have to make it look like thorns and roses, like motifs yeah, everywhere. Okay, yeah, I'm going out. I'm going all out for this. I think this is fun. <laughs> um, Trip to the dollar store. <laughs> I, oh, God, do they have one there? That would be fucking sick. I have no idea. Yeah, a wheel, but the materials, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm sure I could Etsy craft it. Fucking figure something out. Um, so we're we going up or down. Arts uh, one, I'm four. Okay, so we're going. I rolled a one. Oh, it's so, Arth. So it's Arth. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. Um, I really, really enjoyed the session. I was really looking forward to it all week because <laughs> work was gross this week because oh, of Easter. Sorry. Um, right. No, it's fine. I'm chilling. It was just super busy. Um, but I have to say, my favorite part of the session was 1000% VV and Quid's roleplay moment. It yeah. was so yeah. good. It, it felt so natural and it, it was really cute. I really, really liked it. Um, what was I? I'm. Oh, yeah. Do you, <laughs> you want me to tone it down on pulling up the role play all the time because I feel like I oh, pulled no no, <laughs> no. opposite no. keep doing it please there's no thinking about that no oh, no okay okay my I think this session was just really funny because oh, we were at the sick. tail end where we were so overtime so whatever so I'm like oh I have an extra thing I'm like okay <laughs> what, what is the end I don't know <laughs> like I, I want all the things but what are we ending I think it was only yeah. a of this session it's a, good, it's a good thing at the beginning of that day Argo was con restricted to three words at a time so he didn't say anything He's a VV and just handed her a piece of paper. So funny. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, like oh, literally mid or beginning of session, it like would not have been 
like any lulls at all, I don't think, because we wouldn't have yeah, been yeah, expecting yeah, yeah. to like be stopping at points. So you're fine. You're good. Yeah. Okay, so I, I felt bad that I was dragging him up, but I'm like, I, I, have, I have one more thing. Sorry. <laughs> no, um, right. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, super fun session. I am personally a fan of the longer combat, kind of like Matt said. I, I fully do not mind just taking half the session to do combat. Um, because you describe things super well, Matt, and your combats are very interactive. I love them. Um, the Catchwater Sisters, the popcorning was so fun. Oh. And just like the, the split of personalities, I was so tempted to be like, so you guys aren't twins, are you? <laughs> <laughs> they were so different. It was so good. It was fun. Oh, um, yeah. And I think that's it. I don't think. I had any thorns for this session. I just I just felt bad for going overtime, so I'm gonna try not to go overtime. But uh, yeah, that or, was it. It was really fun. Just play for an hour longer if you think about it. <laughs> we did. No, but we did Matt today. Blair, yeah. Like, oh. Dead. Oh. yeah, I felt bad because I was cutting off every RP. Like I'm like, uh, well, I mean, it's time. We've been talking for so long. It's time. <laughs> yeah. Um, I probably yeah. real quick just just to butt in for that. I do feel like in the future. I would prop I regret. I feel like I should have asked, like, hey, do we feel like okay going a little bit further? Uh we kind of just announced it because it we did go super long this uh session. So just apologies for that. I would like to ask in the future. Um and also I feel like we could have just ended um early. I thought there were very solid RP bits and we didn't need to get to Iris Dead like this session. You know what I mean? I get you. Yeah. But anyway, that's my little bit about that. Chief, oh, you're up. Oh, yeah, I, oh, the, the, the I was allowed to scream. I was, I was. <laughs> that is so right. cool. Okay, yeah. Maybe we I don't think... need a physical one. Oh, out the gate. This is one of my favorite sessions so far. There was just so much. There was so much great stuff happening. And uh, I think my favorite... God, it's hard to pick a favorite moment. I th my favorite moment has to be the two the two jewelries. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> amazing. And um, I loved I loved the combat. Um, I was fully, I was fully. I it was easier to accept Argo dying there than the first one, if that makes sense. But I'm glad he, I'm glad he's still standing. Um, every interaction I had was fun because it was like I feel like we had finally gotten over a hurdle. Where Argo is actually, where he's actually talking, or people are, it feels like he's they, he's their friend, if that makes sense. It feels like there was always this hurdle, and he's finally getting over that. Uh, and I can't wait for him to die of exhaustion. But uh, <laughs> no, I have I have no I have no thorns. This the session was just great. I loved it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Cool, cool. Yeah. All right, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh, it's like Emo. Uh, <laughs> me! Yeah. Winner! I think everyone's said all the things Yay! in my dilemma every single time I'm near the end. The squad's bonding! Yippee! Yeah, there were so many good bonding moments. I remember Matt last session being like, yeah, in combat you guys are like super flowing together, but out of combat it could be like, you can work. This is the session where I'm like, I feel the opposite, where it's like, out of combat, we are meshing very, very well. All the hurdles are finally being resolved. Otto and Argo had a super co cool moment. A lot of Otto's moments this were really, really nice. The whole, like, should we kill Argo? <laughs> took me so <laughs> off guard when I realized that was what was being said. Crazy. Um, combat was really good. I feel like the DMs always do an amazing job of tying the combat back to the plot. I remember going into it, I'm like, oh, it's just like a filler combat, whatever. And then Dane put in the lore at the end, be like, no, these are people. Yeah. <laughs> this ties into your plot. And I was like, oh, fuck. That's scary. Uh, so super good job on that. A cell thing per usual, really, really good. I always love to see the DM collaboration. Uh, yeah. No thorns. I do agree with Ryan about adding tasks to the players, because on a personal standpoint, I feel like it'll help engagement. Like, I just like having shit to do in between, <laughs> right? It's always fun to, like, do the menial tasks. So I'd be really, really down for that, even if we do have two DMs. Um, other than that, good shit. Good session. You have to spin cool. the wheel. Yeah, spin the wheel. <laughs> you spin, the wheel. spin the wheel. That is. You gotta know who's turn it is. I wonder who it's gonna be. <laughs> I wonder who it's gonna be. <laughs> oh man, it's Blair. I, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, no, it didn't land on the name. It didn't uh, land on the I, name. It's just blue. I had no so It's it's Laura Blue. It, <laughs>
Um, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. I love that contribution. Uh, um, all right. Um, <laughs> yeah, the words, things. Sorry, it's me that's got two levels of exhaustion right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll just echo a lot of what was said. So, have that. Um, it was it was good. Um, in regards to combat, obviously, I think it works well when it's longer, but doesn't feel long. If that makes sense, I don't know if there's any way we can. Because obviously it's great us all being able to describe things and what we're doing and everything. But like Ryan was saying, it, it can just drag out sometimes. So I, I don't know if there's a way to keep it engaging for everyone while it's going on long. Like he said, maybe come out with the... Uh, having players do things like putting tokens on or whatever. I could definitely see reasons for that. Uh, but very enjoyable. Uh, lots of good roleplay stuff. Uh, and yeah, um, I will say uh, in regards to like the just constantly pushing on. I, I didn't mind so much this time because uh, like we were still an hour not ahead but going forward this would now be very late for me to keep going. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like starting uh, next week. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah when the clocks go forward. Um so, like, at the very least, I would appreciate, like Dane said, you know, just asking, are we all right to keep going on? Yeah. Um, but as I said, totally fine for today. It didn't bother me because it's not a problem. But um, just like a courtesy ask next week because of time changes, an extra hour sort of thing. I, 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 I would appreciate just... Uh, just a wee ask. I mean, I probably will still be good to keep going. I, I normally am, but it's not an issue. But but I just Ryan always gets a thorn in. So there you go. There's mine. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. I I'd, I'd even suggest maybe we could put a hard stop at like 9 p.m. Then just because or, or or whatever. Um, I was gonna say that's what yeah. time we normally <laughs> start. <That's> pretty, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I guess what would would have been 50 minutes ago, roughly. Yeah. Um, Five hour mark. Just because if you if you ask us and we're all like involved and maybe three or four of us say yes and we don't want to pressure Blair to no yeah no yeah. do anything make Blair answer first so he doesn't yeah know. <laughs> that's that's totally fair but having like a you know a five hour hard stop is pretty fine I think I think so too I think that going forward with yeah. that ruling should be pretty solid um, yeah. If people are right with that, just obviously sometimes just like a hard stop can be a bit jarring. Um, yeah. yeah, sometimes I think it's worth it though a little bit, like especially right so, after a combat. Like we don't need, I don't know, like if it's right yeah. after a combat, we're five hours in. I don't think we need that big of a denouement at all. Like we can just, you know what I mean? We can just be like we'll pick up on yeah. the aftermaths next time. I think we did that with the wolf fight. I know, but like say like combat drags out and we're like in the thick of it or something yeah it might be like very confusing trying to jump back in to that yeah, yeah. not like a hard hard stop but like a a pretty a pretty you know <laughs> hard stop. i don't know when we see nine we're like okay we're wrapping up we're ever, yeah. we're, we're stopping yeah. we are ending the conversation basically we can yeah. use common sense guys we yeah, got it <laughs> no no, no please, don't please. assume that no, <laughs> you don't know me. Yeah. Comment that going to sleep way earlier. <laughs> yeah. But I'm more than happy to keep going on if it makes Matt tired. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reason. That's nice. a good cause. <laughs> that that Matt laugh was. I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> <laughs> Marking your uh -huh. character for death. 
Yeah. It's fine. If they kill my character, I have a backup character perfect for mounted combat just to it really is even more awesome. robot racist. Another robot racist to show up. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's Please, the real guys. curse. My name's yeah. Grotto. I have a longer Grotto. beard. Grotto. <laughs> I'm a really racist druid, Grotto. Yep. <laughs> The, yeah. Why does that sound like a title? Grotto, the racist druid. <laughs> that, that sounds like a collector's card. That sounds, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now you gotta, right, okay, you gotta put, uh, you gotta uh, put a wheel for DMs. Do we? Okay. No, yeah. no, let's we'll just uh, uh, kick uh, the to bed. You know what? Tonight. Yeah, maybe not. It's kind of late. Okay, I'll just go real quick. Um, I like closing with Matt, especially since he has the uh, inspirations and stuff like that that he announces. Um, man, I don't, I don't want to keep us too long. You guys uh, already brought up all the big ones, the the huge highlights. God damn, this RP was so good tonight. It made my job hard because I'm like, I, I'm trying to focus on my DM things, but that's so enthralling and good. I was just blown <laughs> away um, by you, by you players. I'm, I'm very, very happy um, to be a DM for players that RP this well. It was very, very nice. Um, blown away by all the, all of, all of, pretty much all of the conversations later on like um after the combat were just so good every single one of them was solid not a single one um wasn't on a very high like s tier it was this was maybe one of my favorite sessions for that reason is what i would say um little things that weren't brought up uh i suppose real quick i enjoyed the bird situation did not expect that to be such a big thing um but it was very cool. I, I was happy with how it went uh, what did you say what was the bird, what was the bird? What the what the deal with the bird was? I have, I mean, why did we do that? I mean, <laughs> you guys. I mean, I don't know. Like, I gave I'm you all the information I'm willing to give. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm assuming the, the same goo stuff that's been coming out of all these monsters that's been molesting us is the same <laughs> stuff that was. Don't use that word. See, why is it looking at us though? What the bird? Maybe, maybe you didn't like yeah, that. I mean, I, I don't know. Anyways, that's my internal <laughs> thought. What's to say, man? I don't know. Um, but yeah, my, um, she was just still laughing at the idea that we turned around and killed a bird, and, and Argo has no fucking clue about why we did that. He has no he idea didn't what ask. I can fully read, that's what Chief's, yeah, anyway. Um, I enjoyed the, the catch water interactions a lot, it was very, very fun, um, and... Yeah, all the er earlier stuff while I was like sweating and trying to like be like, okay, God, they're both buying gifts. That was fun. I really enjoyed all of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, really enjoyed that. Uh, what, what else was the big? One? Oh, really enjoyed the um, opening up scene where uh, we got to stab Quid. That was amazing. Enjoyed that. Um, Did you? Was it always going to be me? I'm just no, curious. Of not. No. no, that was okay. Okay. Before. What yeah. happened if I if I just went like fully down the corridor and ignored that? Um, there was stuff. Um, yeah. oh. I can't tell cool. you, but there was stuff. Because it's going to happen next session. And, uh, no, because you, you didn't sleep. But yeah, maybe, actually, I... if you sleep in next session, I suppose it's possible. Um, yeah, but yeah. Well, after this cure doesn't work. Yeah, at least not right from the get-go. Um, trying to think of any other big things. Just like, I, I want to, like, I cannot wait to go back. I get DM privilege and can listen back to this right off the get-go. And I can't wait to listen back to those RP moments. Um, I was a little focused on DM stuff, but man, it was just all, everything I heard was so good, but I want to like fully listen back to it again. So solid all around, especially I, like it was brought up. The quid VV moment was super cool, especially really enjoyed that. Um, that's all for me. Uh, fantastic. One of my favorite sessions. Um, to you, Matt. Cool. Um, yeah. So going last means everybody's already said everything that I want to say. So I'm not going to say it all again, but, um, as usual, everything was fucking great. It was really fun. Um, I will just throw out my favorite part of the session. I got super excited when uh, Arth hit that nat 20 yeah. because we had literally yeah. just talked about it and had specifically installed something for if that chanced to happen. That's great. And it happened. Maybe. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it was super fun to be able to do that. Uh, the popcorn with the sisters was really fun. Um, and yeah. And then as usual, everything was, was great. Um, the combat, like I said, I think we were trying to speed through it. So, 
Um, I'm glad you guys still had fun with it. I I've didn't want to. I feel like I pulled back a little bit on like descriptions and stuff just to try to speed up. Um, so uh, glad that didn't take away too much. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's all. Just to try to keep this short and sweet. Mm -hmm. um, as far as inspiration, uh, definitely goes to Estella. I think that's a huge one. Um, that Nat 20 was huge potentially with a substitute to bristle brew like that's fucking nuts um and then seems like people's consensus is argo oh. so mm -hmm. um so we'll say yeah argo and estella succession guys it was a lot of fun <sighs> can't wait for the next one more yeah. fun stuff more yeah fun stuff. Death by no combat. Yeah. We'll never see each other again. <laughs> get, get used to me asking if we level up after every combat, because I am petrified of what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. we'll, we'll get there when we Milestone. get there. We'll ah, there we get there. It's going to be fucking killing Argo. That levels yeah. us off. It'll be brutal. Yeah. I'm yep, going by yep. my old PvP rule, guys. Everybody gets a level if they participate. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. You gotta stab him at the same time, like Caesar. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I need to do. Make that motherfucker be... a salad. Oh my god, he Argo would fucking say Latin, wouldn't he? At two, quid. At two. At two, Otto. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say. Otto. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Does a twenty-one hit you? Well, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, right. oh, now I gotta got to write a lot of daggers. It's super easy, you guys. Just do it. You know, oh, actually, man. I level up because I'm a villain now, and we level up. I'm a villain level. now. <laughs> yeah. So actually, actually, I have uh, I have action surge and two attacks and all that good you stuff. You got an action surge with the uh, the. <laughs> yeah, that surge. was awesome. That was yeah. a hype moment, man. That was such a cool way to finish that, that combat. Cool. The idea yeah. that Argo, from the brink of death, hears Estella's voice and immediately kills two people is mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. That was cool as hell, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, also, thank you for giving me all the AoE opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks <laughs> for killing the horse. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for killing the horse. It always happens, guys. Like, I, I sk I'm so sad whenever I have to give you guys horses because I know they're not going to last long. <laughs> <laughs> I Reckless know that's going to be a continuous theme. Like you're always boys and horses. Boys and horses. Session what? went to auto. Was like, hey, what do we tell Raylos when all the horses die? <laughs> yeah. Hey, does a twenty-one hit you? Oh, um, it depends. <laughs> right now, <laughs> uh, that's, that's twelve damage. You're dead. <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> You're dead, I've just, decided. Just no matter what my house said. Uh, that's it. That's the end, actually. Understand. All right. Well, I'm going to take off. But, yeah, I feel uh, like it's time for a lot of people. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, Dane, I think you and I can meet up a little bit later in I the week. I think that's more than fair, yeah. Yeah. Nah, I'm doing there. I'm probably so nah, Man, you guys have been on video chat for what, like 10 hours or something? I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a, um, it's we were planning been a for this, and we were also working on that, um, like finalizing that system a bit, um, and launching. And apparently, the next uh, owl bear too. You're ready for that too. Oh, so that's, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So just to explain that, the reason that's <laughs> yeah, 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 is sure, because sure. I can't. The one that you guys have access to, I can't work on that one because you can just get in at any time to do it. So I have a separate room with the same scenes to work on there and then that way when you log in and you see a blank screen i can still work on it without you guys seeing it right so yeah. that's why because then i switched over to that one i'm moving stuff around i'm like wait some of the stuff happened like two turns ago whatever <laughs> yeah so that's why i was getting confused it's but, the public test realm yeah 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 so no, I'm not working on fucking owl bears. <laughs> I am actually. I am working on other ones, but uh, not in the same game. Yeah. Um, just as a suggestion, I don't know if uh, I, I didn't fully follow exactly what you were explaining, but you could always put a, a, a fog cover of, over the whole thing, and then you can, as DM, can see what's going on um, under that. Yeah. See, the thing about that is, I don't like looking at it. 
<laughs> I don't. Good care. idea. I'm not going to use yeah, it. Yeah, good question, but fuck off. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> I reject the reality and substitute yeah. my own. Honestly, I respect yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, it's a good suggestion, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I can't do that. So. I am very it, terrified. Usually not a problem. At the prospect of Argo turning into a big old monster that people have to kill. Yeah, for such a combat yeah. He'd, he'd look cool. I'll give him that. He'd look cool. Yeah, man. I'm just like finishing the art so it doesn't get over by the time it comes. See ya, Matt. I'll, I'll see, see you guys later. Alright, back to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First Night YouTube. Blur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Night Blur. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Night Blur. I rolled I roll the d20 to see how that final death save would have gone. Uh, yes. No! What? Oh,